All right. What do you guys think of this trek? <laughs> <laughs> Loud? Better? It, it is. This is Pumped Up Kicks. Or I guess. What's the medieval version of Pumped Up Kicks? Alright. Enough of this. Chicanery. Enough of this yield chicanery. Oh, there we go. It's working. Oh, shit. Hold on. Alright. Hope we could get some good tracks going. Alright. Some good medieval bard, bard core going on in the background. Outrun my bolt. Is it Stones of Decay? Not yet, sir. Not yet. But it will be. Alright, let me hold on. Let me, uh... Alright, now you should be able to hear it. Hey now, you're an all-star. Except medieval. What would the medieval version of that be? Hey now, you're a man alone. Alright, let's start. Alright, so... I was fucking around with this earlier. And, um... Everything sound good, by the way? I'm in my new fucking studio, by the way. Spent, like, two months building it with my fam. So I now have a, a reasonably sized room to, in which to put all of my shit. So I am Room Lord now. And Manor Lord. Hi from Russia? Hello! Still some echo? Yeah, well... I was in the, uh, my old house the last time I streamed. This one, though, I still have yet to buy- I'm gonna buy some, um, what do you call it? Not insulation foam. It's called, like, fuck, what's it called? Yeah, cat cam is an option. All that stuff's an option. But, uh, what do you call it? It's like, uh, my wall- it's like spiky wall foam. Sound that, that makes the sound sound good. It, it's make good sound foam. Acoustic foam. Autistic foam. Wait, shit! Hold on. That's why this isn't working. Give me one moment. Shit! Forgot to manage my fucking stream and everything. Alright, I gotta stop swearing. For, every, for my own benefit. <laughs> And then they hit the ground running. Didn't make sense not to live for fun. Okay. Yeah, autistic foam. All right, so I'm gonna be putting in some autistic foam. Imagine if I just duct tape a bunch of autistic people to the walls. It'd be so loud. <laughs> I would do the opposite. <laughs> uh. Is this game fun? Uh, you will find out. I think we're gonna play as this guy though. What do you guys think? I think out of all of the- I love this guy. He's very cool. He's exactly my speed. Um, this is just binging with Babish, but medieval, so... Like, binging with Babish already kind of sounds... You know. We got Malfoy. And some- some ladies. So what I'm thinking... Is we go with this guy. And, uh... I was messing around with the, uh, so I was thinking of, like, what regalia do we take? Do we take, like, pants? Because there is a pants emblem right here. So little shorts. But then I was like, what if I make a custom one and then look? <laughs> I didn't know it would fit like that. Alright, what do we call him? I forgot it did that. I was messing around with it. I thought I moved it, but well that'll do. So what do we call this guy? This guy looks like he can fart really loud. He does look like Greasus. Greasus, we just call him Greasy? How about Greasy? 
the leader of our our compound, our village, our manor, our our manor lord. This is our manor lord. Greasus? Just Greasus, not Greasy. Greasus sounds like. Okay, we'll we'll call him Greasus. And then I like this banner, so we're just gonna keep it. We scale it at all? Nope. I'm just zooming in on the the, the balls of these. I do like very zoomed in pants though. With orange. No, we're sticking with the face. Let's move on. So here's the thing. I'm thinking of doing this challenging. Just for because I have been playing this game for like two days. Um, and I've kind of been neglecting all other video games. Because this game is, as you might expect, very fun. And uh also in early access. And I'm also under NDA, so I can't give a review whether or not I recommend or don't recommend this game. So I'm just going to dodge that topic the whole stream. But I can say when I like certain things. And very fun. I see you're confident. Yeah, not... Okay, confident might be the wrong word. But I I, I know enough that I think I can do some, sh some shenanigans. Deal? Go with relaxing. But then the, no one's going to attack us. It'll be boring. So like reactive, for example. So we'll go through some of these options. So the end goal, it's like growth, domination, or conquest. Conquest means you have to claim all the regions to win. Uh, eliminate all of their lords, which is a good goal. Because you can still claim territory anyway. Do you know what the price is, or can you not tell us at Okoye? I have no idea what the price is. Just watch Legend of Total War play this. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, this is going to be a benchmark for failure. Now you, so you've seen how to play the game. Now watch how you don't play the game. <laughs> now, <laughs> I don't know what game is this. This game is called Manor Lords. It's literally the title says Manor Lords, but played by an idiot. And also the thumbnail says Manor Lords in giant letters. Totally here for the failure. That's you know what? We'll see how it goes. Maybe I won't fail. <laughs> Let's be optimistic. All right, off-map adversary. As an AI opponent looking at off-map, he controls two regions and brings his soldiers to the main game when ch map when challenged. Off-map at... Oh, I see. What's the difference? Let's keep him present. All lords may press claims towards the player's regions at will. What do you guys think? Uh, I'm going to put balanced so they're not quite aggressive, but they will send dudes out to kill me. Or do you think we should go aggressive and just get our absolute cheeks blasted off in ye old medieval style? Styly with an E. There's no way you will regret playing the hardest one. Alright, you know what? I'll put it up to a vote because this is a, this is gonna have a dramatic effect on <laughs> on everything. Aggressive or Um Balanced. All right, and we'll move on to other options. All right, rated frequency. Uh, okay, so rating is really annoying. So what happens uh, with rating is you don't... This doesn't mean bandits will attack your camp. It just means that randomly, with no... Pre like, there's no way you can prevent it. Your shit will just get stolen. Bits of your resources will just be taken because... And you've got to either wipe out the bandit camps or... You know, I was hoping that your shit would get attacked by bandits, you know? Like, little groups of outlaws would come in and you gotta rally your militia. Aggre 72% aggressive? Alright, well, it's staying on aggressive then. No more than a single raid every two years. Uh, non medium free. We'll just, put, we'll just put it on medium and we'll have five raid or free years. Uh, we'll put two years. One bandit camp present at the start of the game. Sure, random bandit camp spawn limit. No, fuck that. We can have fuck tons of those. Why would we want to limit them? That's how you get money. We go and wipe out bandits with our militia, with our peasants. Peasant kingdom. That happens now. I saw people fighting uh, with small groups of bandits. So you can basically sally out and find bandits and attack them. But raids, raiding uh, is just where they come into your village and take your shit. And they don't even come into your village. Your resources just disappeared. It says, out these bandits took your stuff. And that's it. So there's no actual bandits coming into your territory. I really, 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 really hope that they add that because that would be a lot of fun. 
You can also trade for cash, true. But a great way to get money is by killing outlaws. All right, starting season spring. Yeah, we want it to start in spring, not in winter. Starting supplies, that's fine. Armor delivery. Yes. Or no. What do you guys think? Armor delivery just means that we'll start off with 20 spears and 20 shields. So we can have a little infantry militia force. It'll be a lot more difficult to defend our shit out of the gate if we don't have that. But what do you think? Yes? No? Winter or no balls? Guys, you're prepping me for failure here, dude. At least let me prepare for the winter. <laughs> no? God damn it. Guys, I'm just going to get fucked. All right, I'm putting that up to a vote. All right, I put it up for aggressive because I'm going to stay in this game until we lose and or win. All right, I'm going to stay until this I'm going to stay in this game until we lose. Um, and then even if it takes multiple streams, because this game is fun, dude. And that is not at all a review on the game as a whole. All right, let's put what armaments. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, moving on. Uh, approval. Approval factors have an average impact on population growth. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, we'll just put that on medium then. Uh, underground water, yes. Unconstrained. Oh, like, you can put it wherever you want. No, I like the constraint. That sounded weird. I love being constrained. Weather events difficult? Droughts may happen in the summers. Thunder strikes cause fires and rain inst instantly damages exposed supplies. Wait, instantly damages exposed supplies? Fuck. I'm gonna put that on balance because that sucks. So, uh, players get a warning if supplies get soaked, and when the next uh, rain comes, they may get destroyed. A, random, a chance of random droughts in the summers may kill crops. Uh, rare fires caused by thunder strikes. All right. Uh, yes. Oh, yes on the armor delivery. Oh, my boys got my boys backing me up. All right, good. I'm gonna close that before it gets jumped. All right, so aggressive, medium radio frequency. Aggressive AI, so that's gonna be rough to deal with, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Winter or no balls? Uh, we're, we're gonna die immediately! <laughs> what do you, we can't prepare for the winter that way. It's just gonna be winter immediately. Alright, you know what, I'll put it up to a vote, because usually it's a vocal minority. Winter. I'll put it up to a vote just because there's so many people in chat. I'm not going to get gaslit or bullied, all right? We're going to do a clear and concise vote. This is a democracy. And when this says, and if this gets pushed into yes, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with no anyway. <laughs> That's not true. Yes, my boys have got my back. Let my man live. <laughs> no pain, no content. I'm already on aggressive. They're going to fuck my ass. Y'all just want to see Okoi restart in like 30 minutes? Exactly! <laughs> Dude! No Wimpter? Oh, it's so close. It's so contentious. Want to last the stream longer than half an hour? True, true. Rigged? Hey, you guys vote with your hearts. No, vote with your brains, actually. Don't vote with your hearts. Vote with your brains. Okoy won't restart. I mean, if we get wiped out in 30 minutes, I will. Today's opposite day. That's not true at all. When is opposite day? Is there an opposite day? I'm going to Google that. When is opposite day? January 25th, which means that it's December 52nd. Would you have balls of steel, Okoy? Dude, wait. Alright, guys. I don't, no one's gonna remember this, but somebody remind me to do a an opposite stream at some point where any... I, I could do like a Warhammer 3 campaign on opposite day, but then anytime the game tells me to do something or asks me to do something, I've gotta do the opposite. <laughs> Would that just not work at all? <laughs> Would that... Oh my god. Guys, it's 50-50. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, if I stop it on 50, 
I'm going to do the I'm gonna be the deciding vote and I'm gonna vote no. <laughs> no on proposition this. Adokoi, I'll donate you to continue the stream. <laughs> it is continuing. Spin the wheel. Oh no, guys, please vote no. Guys, so many vote no, quick. So many vote no. If it goes to 50%, we'll we'll spin the wheel. There. We'll flip a coin. No, it's no. <laughs> Who the fuck voted it? It's a 51. Hit those no votes, boys. Hit those no votes. Votes. Flip the wheel. I love democracy. Fuck democracy. This is a dictatorship now. <laughs> We're going no. Fuck it all in the boat. What does it say? Ah, oh, god damn it. All right. What about random? There's a good chance that there's a one in four chance it'll land on winter. No? Alright, we'll go winter, fuck it. Alright, this is gonna be over before it begins, let's get into this. God damn it! We're doomed! <laughs> Fucking coffin dance in the background. Sick. I will say the music in this game is phenomenal. It is beautiful. Guys, if you if you play this seriously, enable keep the music on, keep the music loud. It is so good. The music is so pretty. I absolutely love the music in this game. They've done such a good job. Alright, new message. What do you want? Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press thine claims towards regions owned by thine opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be ready for battle. All right, that got progressively more silly. All right, it's apparently winter, but I'm Stop not seeing any. No, before it's too late. Wait, it's the beginning of winter, so it's about to get cold as hell. Is this guy? This guy singing? <laughs> it's Billy. <laughs> It's Billy Eilish, bad guy, but medieval. No, thank you. All right, let's get you started. Okay, so step one is to put down a logging camp. We're gonna need that. Where's the most trees? Right here. Uh, ah, shit. There's animals. Um, this sucks. This is a really bad layout. Um, we got rocks nearby. That's not super. What's this? Clay. Clay. All right, well, we need trees down first and foremost. Uh, I might put my tr stuff here. No, that's the border of the map. Ugh, there's animals right where I want to get trees from. That sucks. All right, let's just go on the assumption that they're not going to get scared. Adokoi, say your prayers for this match. Hey, you never know. Maybe we'll... Persevere and it'll be fine. All right. Well, first of all, we need a worker camp so everybody's not homeless despite them being homeless anyway We need a storehouse now And a granary so let's get a storehouse down uh, Let's just do it like here and a granary a Granary I'm just gonna stop building shit out the gate. So burgers plots marketplace. That's what I want All right, we'll put a big ass marketplace in the what's going to be the middle of the town, and I'm going to pick right here. What's it playing now? What is this? 164 market store locations. Nice. All right, there's already a market store location. That's good. All right, let's get some roadways down. So we'll do like this here, like this. Uh, wrap up the, like, just a, like, a market square type deal. And then, extend it back to our stuff over here. Like this. And then we'll have two wings for our departments over on this end. Kind of like that. Bring it in here a little bit. Around here. We'll just kind of, like, this will be the outline for our city, I think. 
you know like that and then we'll connect it back to the the marketplace like that I'm just gonna quickly round off this side as well I don't like that it's like a hard edge and then we will add our an area for our manor at the end like that and then I like a little pathway going to it so we'll put the manor here facing forward and then I like it also let's get rid of this road here really quick no shut up stop giving me a tutorial right yes and then remove this one no this one this this road right here oh my god this okay this is a little buggy it's just alt then left click and then remove no my the side of my road Ew. All right, what do you guys think? Good layout for a town? You know, you got the, the manor up at the the front of the area. Now let's uh, round a little bit here. And then we can have an area, for, how about an area for housing here? So this will be a housing area. I wish I could mock these somehow. So we got marketplace, manor, houses and then our trade can be in these two areas oh let me connect these up really quick and go all right cool they need to put all right storehouse is highest priority right now although it can't oh this is also really high priority and then a granary has got to be pretty high, high priority did i miss a dono by the way i just realized I gotta go way back up. Oh, Dowie, stop the count, vote before it's too late. It's already too late, dude. We're screwed. Thank you for the donut, Dowie. Oh god, love the accent. Where are you from? I am from Ingerland. But I sound weird and American. And nasally. Then we'll put a... Uh, Alright, so we got a storage over here. <laughs> this is sick, dude. It's pumped up kicks again. Hold on. Creep. Oh my god, medieval creep. Let's go. I am thine weirdo. <laughs> I am a peasant. All right, no tavern. Marketplace, well. Put a well. Okay, we can only... Well, well, well. We can only put it here in our entire village. That sucks. We, this is the only if we have a fire over in our housing area in the shaft the lower shaft i mean the lower mid ring of our city uh did you mute the medieval otst ost no oh oh wait the uh the actual soundtrack yes it, uh just just to have this stupid music playing <laughs> oh shit all right I gotta focus. All right. Uh, no farming. We're not gonna do yet. Not for a long time. Industry. We can basically chill on. Maybe put a tannery in. But let's focus on getting a meat area down. All right. Hi. We need these done like now. Same with the uh, the locking camp. Do we have any berries? I'm pretty sure we're in a berry list. Nope, we have berries. Nice. Yes. Okay. We'll put our berry thing over here. Not enough goods. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Yeah, see, this is important. One out of two. Two out of two. So they can build their storehouse immediately. Logging camp. I've heard of your renown. I see that <laughs> you built a mighty, a mighty, mighty frame for your township. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor. Okay, this music is so distracting. God damn it. I need a... I just need quiet background noise. What's this? No. Ah, oh, here we go. Perfect. 
Giorno's theme? What's Giorno's theme? Oh. Oh, from Undertale or whatever? No, that's not right. What is this from? Why am I drawing a blank? That's so embarrassing. All right, let's write back. Oh, it's, oh my God, it's from fucking that anime. Yo, yo, okay, it's about time we ogres had a place to call home. I have this game on my wish list. Dude, this game is very fun. And I can see this becoming a big name in the uh, RTS scene, as long as they keep developing it. The only downside that I think isn't going to make it huge is um, it's single player. So there's not going to be any competitive scene, probably. Oh, people could still make it competitive if they're doing them side by side. Also, speed running could be good. All right. You have no rightful claim to celibates and half seven. Oh, we need to. Okay. Let's let's um, name our location as well. All right. Let's tell him that he has no claim. That scrunchy face. <laughs> Vivid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh man, I'm already crying. All right, let's uh, let's get our wood building area. I can't. All right, we gotta we gotta speed run this. I right, stop building. I will right, put those on high. Put that on that on very high. This on highest, and then we'll just hit fast forward and get them to build this. Are we gonna die? Running out of food. Oh no, it's happening. Oh no! Oh, we got no food and no firewood. Are we just gonna die? Oh, approval is dropping quickly. Alright, just skip all the future tutorials for this one. Alright, come to the salt pit. We need. Alright, logging camps up. Let's get some people chopping wood. And let's get a woodcutter's lodge. As soon as we can. Right now we can put this on highest. Very high. We can get to building. We need wood though really really bad. Like super 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 bad. Alright storehouse is up. So let's put somebody on that. And they can start bringing stuff into the storehouse. You are losing ground. Oh quite. I was too busy drawing my beautiful city. Alright and... Horses hut we don't need right now. There's plenty of trees. We can build that way down the line. Soil pit, we're not going to need timber for a little while. Uh, planks, I mean. We need a woodcutter's lodge. Really bad. I'm actually going to double up on our wood just so we can get that so we can start on all of our crap. Because we only need really one family to start building things. Alright, high priority. Let's get some houses going so that people can not be dying. Don't need rocks. Uh, mining's not necessary right now. Gathering could be good. Forager's hut will get in a little bit. So we're gonna need meat. Pretty badly. Pretty soon. Because we're starving to death. And berries are a really good source of food early on. And just, just kind of pad your uh, your resources. You could have paused the game, you know? For what? Oh, while I was drawing a town? Yeah, that's true. Hey, I'm not the one who put us in- <laughs> Look at the little guy's face on the top right! <laughs> oh man, I wish that was I wish coat of arms were on shields. I don't know if that's how it is right now I've never uh, seen usually it's just you just color your shields Even in winter we might be screwed because we got no food and no Stuff and our approval is dipping quickly We have no houses. All right, let's build our, our housing estate Also or the half and half there Here? Oh, we can't. We just need more wood. All right. Yeah, let's triple up on that wood. <laughs> Please, we need it. Really bad. Got no timber. All right, these guys are putting the wood away. I did not mean to buy a second ox. Whatever. I guess we got two oxes now. That was a misclick. <laughs> it's all falling apart. 
Okay, you don't stop us now. Oh, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna stop renaming the, these guys to you. You motherfuckers. How do you do that? I forgot. Alright, Ott. You're gonna be... Sarko. Fuck. Sarko. And... Puro Max. And this lady is gonna be... Hey. And this guy is gonna be... Dawi. This woman is gonna be... Dave. This guy is gonna be... Chronico. Alright. Now you have stake in my lands. You d I, I hath not wished for the downfall of my empire now. Or some other medieval bullshit. Alright, pathway, pathway, pathway. We're good. Uh, this needs to be connected to the main roadway. Good stuff. Alright, we should be getting a lot of wood. We've got three timber so far. That's enough to make some stuff. Let's get that berry shack up and running. That should be pretty... i say the highest priority, actually, because we need berries, and we need them fast. And also, I can't use them in winter! I just realized they're seasonal! Fuck! Alright, let's get some meat going. I forgot they were seasonal. Guys! Guys! We're gonna die. Can I be a Fletcher? Uh, we don't have arrows right now. Um... Maybe put it on the, on the requisition list, and we'll see about that. All right, all of our food is out. We're good. We got our hitching post going. I'm gonna connect that both ways as well. All right, we got nobody to build now. Let's take one of the people out of the woods. We just need this to be built very quickly, and then I can dump people onto that. Come on, build, 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 build. Alright, that's built. Let's get double on that. Take, take people off wood, put double on there. Actually, I can only fit one. No! Do we go down to people? Oh, those are assigned. Four assigned, one unassigned. Five in total. Dude, our... Oh my god. Negative four for hunger. Church level too low. Not enough cloth in the marketplace. Not a Cloth in the marketplace? I'm sorry. Alright, let's get that firewood sh thing going. That's what we need right now. And then that's high priority. Well, it's just gonna be whatever priority because we don't need this anymore. God damn it, use one of our logs too. Is there cannibalism? I wish. Because I would start eating whoever. Oh, we're dipping into the red. This is really bad. Whose idea was this to stop the winner, dude? <laughs> Who did this? How, how could you have done this to me? How could this happen to me? Oh, we got plenty of wood. Nine timber this early on is plenty. Um, but we need more because we're gonna it's going to be turned into wood. All right, build this. Come on, build, 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 build. And a sign. All right. All right, stop building that wood. And then we got to stop building houses too. So how much have we got? Ten? Ten timbers enough for us to get our first houses down. So let's try and do that before we die in like 30 seconds like this like that and then make sure it's facing the right way yes bam or we got our villages down okay cool i don't think we're building anything else this can be the absolute lowest we're not going to need berries until we make it out of the summer which is still up in the air we probably won't make it out of the summer so all right, and as soon as we've got houses built, I need five houses because we have five families. So we'll slap in some more. We can right here. Nope, need the wood. All right, let's just fast forward our building. We got plenty of logs, so it shouldn't take too long to get these houses up. I got no families available for building though. God damn it. Uh. Right, we got no food to put in the storehouse anyway, so wait, not enough stable space. Oh shit, really? Why would it let me buy another one then? Crap. Um Put a second hitching post in. 
uh, low priority though. This though, on the other hand, very high priority. Let's get our houses up. We'll rescue this. We're not gonna die. We're only on negative 17. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad. The longer people walk on the dick road, the girthier it gets. What are you? T what? What are you talking about? Let's uh, survey our empire. I wish it would show the other empires, because there's no way that they built theirs in such a fortified position. You know. I love that they've optimistically got a food stall built. <laughs> like we have any food. <laughs> oh, ah, adorable. Also, this layout isn't actually bad at all. Can I just be, can, can I just like make a note? This is actually kind of a good layout for a town and I'm going to use this again uh, when we inevitably die to the harshes of winter. No tax is one thing, but what about small gift? <laughs> no taxes is good tactics, it's my motto. We can't even afford to get, we don't even have a manor right now. I don't go, send a spy to be, uh, to being diplomatic relations. Oh, you know what? If we could establish trade with our neighbors. All right, we got some uh, firewood going. Our houses are under construction. Let's uh, get that on the go. Dropping off all the logs. Seven timber, that's going well. Let's just get our basics. Oh, wait, we, we jumped up to 41. We're still starving to death, but for some reason we jumped up to 41. Let's see if we can rescue that. All right. Requirements not met. Not met. For what? For this? What requirements? This thing doesn't have any requirements. It's a fucking worker camp. It's just a starting zone. No maidens? We have plenty of maidens. Look, there's one here. That's a guy. Conrad. I wonder if we have anybody with the funny name. No, we've got a maiden right here. This is Margareth. That's an old lady for sure. That's an old lady name. Do you think that old people, people with old people names, like um, Margaret or Margareth, or Gretchen come out of the womb that are, and they're already like an 80 year old woman and they just get taller you know like a Benjamin Button baby and they come out wrinkly like a raisin and they're like well oh, it's a Gretchen all right that's fine or was that I guess that name back in the day was like poppin Benjamin Button baseball boy Is this, you spin me right round? When's the chorus? Oh, here it comes. Dun, 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 dun. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Uh, yeah. You spin my head right roundeth. Wait, what about our meat? Wait, rich deposit of meat? Oh, we've got to put so much emphasis on that. That's I've never had that before. All right, let's get a pathway there as well. It seems like it's moved, which is going to be really good for us. So let's get a pathway just so it's, it's easier for them to hunt and we can move the woodcutter lodge. Actually, you know what? It's fine. I, I'll just leave, leave them mining whatever they want right now. Spin me right round, right round. All right. Uh, wood's getting up. Let's get those other houses built. Like this. Like this. All right. So we can have them facing up or all the way down. So I'm gonna opt for this because we can get a crafts location here. And it's just one big mansion. Also, our approval isn't high enough right now to put in multiple. Uh, to like get any extra people. You have to have about 50% to get new villagers. So we're just gonna go into survival mode right now and try and rescue what we can. Uh, we don't need a pack station. We've already got a storehouse, already got a granary. We're gonna need more people though, for sure. For sure, for sure. So. 
This fucking t Africa by Toto now. Uh, dude, I am so into 80s music right now. I don't know why. I'm just, just madly into 80s music. Okay, we've got enough fuel for 10 months right now. So I think we can chill on the firewood. Although we do need a, a marketplace group. All right, well, we almost got our first house. Let's go. It's up. All right, nice. And it's got no food, no fuel, no church, no water, no clo- Wait, what do you mean no water? There's one right- Oh, it's not built yet. All right, let's get that built really quick. That'll take like no time at all because it's already got logs. Come on, somebody get over and build this. Whoever builds this is gonna get a funny name. Oh, it's you, Conrad. Con- Can I- How do I- Can I like- Oh! Can I get your- Unassigned? If he's unassigned, he'll be in here then. Let's find Conrad. Conrad, there he is. Let's call him Rad Cunt. That's such a deeply British name. Lamau, I saw your live stream title. I thought Okoy is too hot on himself. He's a smart guy. And then I joined his stream and saw your road structure. <laughs> Look at my empire and my really long pube. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? This is a, an 11 out of 10 road structure, dude. Comrag? Ew! Comrag's a gross name. Where's his wife? Let's find him. <laughs> That's a gross name for his wife. Comrag! Comrag! <laughs> oh, is that their child? Um... <laughs> Acoustic. Fuck. Alright, these names are ridiculous. Alright, hunting camp. Ah, uh, Africa by Toto is so relaxing. Wait, negative one food. Alright, we got minus one meat somehow. Don't even know how that's possible. It's January instead of December, though. Alright, so there's no way for us to get any of this crap. Um, and I also accidentally bought a second... Alright, I'm gonna increase the priority of this too, because I don't want that other ox to leave after I spent money on it. Which it might have already done. Where is it? Where is it? No, we've still got two... Stable space, two out of two. What are you talking about? There's not enough stable space then. Uh, it might be because it's right there. Now focus on this one, and then come back to this one after. Alright, we got three houses. Our homelessness problem is, is going away slowly. Once we got five, remind me to delete the worker camp and then we're good. They ate the forbidden meat. What? Oh yeah, like they ate, it's negative well because they ate somebody's kid. Okay, something with your title is wrong because I don't think you're an idiot. Oh, it's just a little bit of self-deprecating humor. Could an idiot create such a magical town shape? Township? Alright, this is bothering me. It's so unimportant, but I'm just gonna... Oops, wrong one. Oh! No! How much of that did I build? Oh my god! Shit. Shit. Sh crap. Crap. Dukey. No. Gosh darn it. That's fine. There we go. We connect it there and then we just bring it in. Like that. And then here. This is heavier than it looks. Let's leave some space here. Oh my god, one of the balls is huge. I mean, one of the uh, flanks of the town is huge. <laughs> oh no, it's so misshapen now. <laughs> It's, no! It's so bad! It's so bad! Oh, sh crap. Alright, I gotta redraw the, um... The area. It's so... <laughs> the little nut. The tiny nut is awful. Oh, jeez. Get... Come on, let me... Oh, shit, crap. I keep clicking on the wrong button for that. All right, here we go. And then we just... Shoop. 
Then we go shoop, like this. Then we shoop. There we go, we're back. We're back, better than ever. All right, that's what I get for correcting. All right, we got, okay, stable space one, stable space one, we got two. They really like going across this little area here. It's like, much like real life, um, they create pathways, but then people will not follow the pathway. They'll just take the, the, the short, have you ever seen that where there's like, there's like a stone path and people walk on the grass so much that it gets padded down into like mud? Oh, good, okay, can you connect to the King's Road with cum ropes at the head of the town. Ew! Also, no, this is, it's just, it's just nutting an entire forest. It, oh my God. It's really looking good while it gets filled up with um buildings though. All right, I think we're gonna have to jump up our, we have to ditch something. Also, I just realized we need people at a granary, so. Let's take a chill on the wood. We're good on wood, so we'll retire our wood guy for a second. We'll have him keep making... Wait, wait how much? How long we get? 22 months of firewood. Yeah, we're good. Let's get our food up. So we'll double up on the food, and we'll get somebody in the storehouse. And that'll allow us to keep building while we regenerate uh, some food. And hopefully we won't die. All right, let's speed this up. So we should now have people going out hunting like crap. Let's leave... We can have that pretty low for the hunting limit. And okay, we're almost out of winter. No, we are not. Uh, we gotta wait until March. It's uh all the way until February. We're we're midway through winter right now. The seasons are long, my friend. The seasons are long and hard and straight, with an area for a manor at the tip. Uh, all right, let's... let's... What else can we build? So we're good on manners. Administration. We don't need a settler's camp. We could set up a trading post near the head. I want to keep it in the, the lower regions of the city, the nether regions, as they call them. Though... So. Uh, tannery will be good for clothes, so I'll get one of those built, just because why not. We'll leave that on medium. Both hitching posts are down. Alright, so this is super high priority. Get this built, and then we should be good. Oh, we got one food! Oh, we got one food! Let's go! We're rich on food! We're not gonna die! The elements will not kill us! Wild animals are still going. Look at all of these deer, dude. This game is so pretty. This game is so pretty. I know I'm just making a mockery of this incredible game, but look how pretty this is. Is there a button? Hold on. Is there a button to disable the HUD? I need to know that. Camera shake, camera smoothing, edge panning. I do love edge pa uh, edging, edge panning. Control C. There's got to be a better button than that. Uh, I'm going to bind it to my home key. I can go, bah. Look how pretty that is. And the camera smoothing. Look at the cinematic camera work, guys. God, this game is so fucking gorgeous. Look at that. Really nice. Seriously, we're such a pretty game. Oh, stones could be good as well, but let's focus on not dying. All right, church level too low. I'm, I can't make a goddamn church. Cloth fuel, uh, fuel. All right, let's just keep going. Let's zoom. Get the burgage built, burgage plot. Here we go. Set up a level increase. All right, this is going to be good for us. Berry deposits are not that valuable. Uh, beekeeping. Bees could be cute. I do like bees. I'm a fan of bees. I'm not a fan of forest berries, though, because they're not usable in 
Is this getting demanding on your PC? Uh, I don't know. Because it, I've had absolutely no issues with FPS, but I have a very good computer. So let's get trapping. Because we've already, because we've got a rich, dense, uh, wild animal deposit. Oh shit, wait a second, hold on. We didn't even name our location. What are we doing? Guys, what are we calling our zone? It, right now it's called Juayu. Uh, oh, there we go. What do we call it? What are we calling our, our region? How about Fuckburg? Fuckburg is good. Fuckburg is good. I like the name Fuckburg. That's my go-to. This is my number one. This is my go-to, my usual go-to for my towns. Phallus Town. The Shaft of Life. Pretty good. Phallusland. Edge Town. Edgeville. Montemore. Ugh. Schlongington. I do like Schlongington. Schlongington. Schlongington? What do you guys think? Ballsburg? <laughs> Ballsburg! I like Schlungington so far. That's my front runner. Birmingham? <laughs> no. Fucking. We'll call our town Birmingham. Call it Birmingham. Ugh. Nutland? How about Sch Schlungington? Like, Schlung. Wait. Schlung. Somebody put a. Uh, an Somebody put an umlauted O in chat because I can't do it. Schlungington. I need a, I need an O with an umlaut an umlaut umlaut like brutal legend. There you go. Thanks guys. Now let's copy paste that right in. Oh, oh it'll be Schlungington. I like it. Uh oh, Schlungington. <laughs> Schlungington. That looks like some. Deep, deep, deep. Uh, oh, a strong militia is paramount to the survival of any cinema. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived. Yes, and you will now be able to create your first militia banners to help serve protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equal all of the people as the cinema grows, either by making them or acquiring from other lines. Yes. So, let's look to see if there are any villages at uh, brigands. There's one over on the left. How many brigands are we dealing with? Oh my God, the camera. I'm getting ahead of myself because we, we might die right now because we're only at 13. Ooh, these guys look tough. Nothing our, a retinue couldn't take uh, take handily, though. The downfall of Schlungington will not be happening soon. Wait, all right, we got five houses built so I can disable the worker camp. Get the, uh, the supplies back from that. Uh, the spear should be straight in our uh, storehouse. Nice. All right, let's look into what else we can be doing. Uh, we're coming out of winter slowly. But right now, it's meat town. And we can't get any more people to gather meat. And it seems like the gathering is going very slow, though. So, food stalls are doing okay. We just need a lot more food. That's, from my experience, meat is not very reliable. What, all right, what if we built into the back of this so a chicken coop a goat shed for hides all right chicken coops are good so what about can i fit a chicken coop in any of these no i cannot all right so we, we only have one so let's just get a chicken coop going and they can be developing eggs for us it's high priority one's in camp all right we're good we're, we're getting, we're getting, you know, this is going really bad, but, um, it, it will, it will make it work. Governs the chance of crime occurring as well as citizens permanently turning to banditry? What? Alcor, your town is now Scandinavian. Um, a, a, a Norwegian friend of mine was we were talking about Norwegian food and uh, one of them was a soup called shotkaka or something like that but it's it's pronounced like shitcock so I was <laughs> so 
Shitcock soup? Uh, so we can just eat shitcock soup in, in Schlongington. How do you delete? What do you mean? Delete what? They eat food? Yes, we eat food! Jeez! Oh, our fuel's gone down to five months. I guess we're burning through it. Um... Oh, boy. Uh, oh, a good amount of meat's being made. We only have one cart right now. Uh, and are we burning through them? No, not even slightly. Oh, boy. Um, I'm not really sure what else we can do to get out of this food hole right now. If we can start gathering berries, that'll at least keep us alive. There's no way we'll be able to do farming right now. I should probably start making wood, though. Planks. If we put on a saw pit, just so we can be making planks. And we'll, leave, we'll have a forester's hut ready to go. But that's going to be low priority. Saw pit, decent priority. But we're good right now. We're good for wood. What is this song? Oh, it's Smoke on the Water. Take on me? Oh yeah, good, good stuff. Uh, why does that have to be so far away? I don't quite, can you pause the stream? I gotta pee. Yeah, okay. All right, I mean, that's, that's, that's enough pee time. Watch the stream on your phone while you're peeping, peeing. Ooh, you know what? If we expand the living space in here, does that mean that multiple people will be in charge of... Oh, wait! <laughs> this house is owned by our best family ever. <laughs> it's owned by a red cunt cum ragged acoustic. <laughs> Flattening ground right now. They're unemployed. They're, <laughs> they're unemployed. And they have a chicken coop. The unemployed family with a chicken coop and the longest yard of all time. Alright, we're back up to 33% though, guys. Our food's going up. Our approval ratings are through the roof right now. Much like most countries, uh, we can have high approval ratings because our citizens are just about not dying. Um... Can we get a couple more houses built? Nope. Oh my god. Really? Can I move this? Whatever, I'll just get this built prepped, right? Like that. Then... Which are ugly diagonal houses. Alright, we need 10 wood. We'll figure that out. We're gonna need more houses when our approval rating gets high. And okay, can you pause the stream for like 10 minutes? I have to go pick up my breakfast. What? Get it delivered, dude. What are you not? Did you, what are you, dumb? Just get it delivered. What are you, not lazy? I am delivered. I ain't gay no more. All right, that was a deep cut reference. Another ruler's army was sighted. Wait, are they seriously coming to kill me already? Moving. Brigands for hire. He hired some mercenaries already? Alright, well, we currently have no manor. No Wait, I have two zones? Oh, that's his zones. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, man. Uh, also, it's weird that we are red, but the AI is yellow. Like, it seems almost a direct reverse of the usual color scheme for the player. You know, red enemy... And why not? Am I getting screen tearing for anyone else? Hold on. I'm not. V-Sync is off. That's why. Sharpening. Quality. Oh, they added an FSR. Quality for sure. DLSS. I didn't even realize the game had DLSS. Then have DLSS on. Put on quality. V-Sync on. 
X frame rate 120, cap it, high sharpening. All right. Oh, the game looks even better. Oh, look how much better that's running. Am I still getting screen tearing? No, the screen tearing is gone. Oh, sheesh. Yalla, sheesh. Oh, look at the textures on this house. Look at these textures, dude. That's crazy. Tell me the te- Look at these textures. Are you kidding me? What? How is that? Look at the quality of these textures close up. That's nuts for a game that you're looking at from the sky like this. There's absolutely no reason why this the texture should go this hard. Ugh, so impressive. Like, wow. This game goes is so unnecessarily pretty for a game that you're going to be like in the sky for for 99% of the time. And it looks like a triple A third person title. Can you walk around the town? Yes, we can. Oh, that's definitely what we look like. Why am I a little beanstalk man? Oh, the codpiece underskirt. Look at this. Hey, what are you guys doing? Oh crap, he's gonna lock me inside. That axe really needs some sharpening. Chad Schlongington Mayor? It's just the AI, the mayor of Schlongington. Schlongington. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am. I am your lord. Hey, ma'am. I am your lord, ma'am. <laughs> Please. Respect me. Now wait. I am the Lord Schlongerton of she's ignoring me. You saw. <laughs> I love being able to run around the town. Dynamic walking simulator. God, this is pretty. This, this genuinely looks like Kingdom Come Deliverance, but it's it just happens to be Skycam. It's crazy. Oh, let's start renaming some of our citizens. If we have to wait here, our approval's going up. We're getting some meat. Is this Darude Sandstorm? It is. This is Medieval Darude Sandstorm. Oh, it glitched out. Oh, oh well. Elves. All right. You know what? Can we rename some people while we're waiting, then? Git, Jacob, let's call some more people, some people in chat. All right. Lord of Dew. No, Dew. Lord of Dew. Nora. Schnee. 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 Helen Friday. I think I'm naming men with women's names and women with men's names, but that's fine. Abe the man with a fire. Oh wait, I wonder if this is gonna read it out in the Plankton voice. Ooh, I might have to set that up again. I think that's why I've been missing donos, because the uh, the dono voice doesn't read it out. Abe the man with a five dollar dono. Love the stream. You're absolutely right. The building texture is incredible. It makes me wish. Wood was real. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame it's just a video game thing. Oh, you can heart react comments now. That's cute. Hell yeah. Oh, and you can like them. That's actually cool. Adokoi, can you see the ho what house the starving family lives in? Um, currently, all of the families are starving. So... That's cool. And also, our approval ratings are so low that we actually don't have enough to Love get new people. You're absolutely right. The building textures oh, no, are it incredible. Works. There it is. It makes me wish what was real. <laughs> it makes me wish what was real. I missed the plankton voice, dude. Thank you for the dono, dude. Uh, Abe the man, thank you. All right, should we go on a bandit killing adventure then? I mean, it might cut our productivity slightly, but. We could get some money to be able to do stuff. 
Although we only have 20 militia right now. And also, I don't see the mana camp anymore. It used to be over here. Maybe it got killed by uh, this guy. Yeah, I, I don't see any, any bandits right now. I think it's because we put them on that two-year timer, so they'll show up eventually. I don't know, has Lady Dave died yet? Um, let's check. I don't know. Nope, Sarko and all these guys are doing fine. Nope, Dave's gathering. Dave's out gathering here. Oh, this is Dave. Oh, oh, Dave. Oh, my God. Yo. That's a Dave for sure. All right, we got a tan our tannery going. Hmm. Saw pit coming along. All right, requirements are not met, but they're not starving to death anymore. Currently, it's an issue of food. We can get our food up. February, we're almost out of... Uh, we're one month away from being out of, out of winter. So let's just keep getting meats. Keep hardcore getting meats. Just to keep our guys alive. What else can we do? Let's have a look. So there's more houses, which I'm going to need more wood for. Which I don't have enough guys! I don't have enough men! More men! I need more men. I actually need more people. I right, just, I'll tell you what, let's hammer through these buildings because they're almost fully built anyway. Forester Hut is not necessary right now. I love the buildings. This game is absolutely, just like Kingdom Come Deliverance, nails that, that medieval vibe and visuals. Alexi, Dave, Near a maypole, if you catch my drift. Isn't a maypole the thing from uh, Midsummer? Like the iconography in that? That movie was nuts. All right, well, we got a lot of. Okay, you know what? We got eight meat going on. We're actually doing all right. Yeah, we got three months of food, four months of fuel. Speaking of which, we need to get our wood stuff back on track, but we need to get our approval ratings plus fifty percent. I can't do shit about a church. Stop asking me about a church. What the hell? So we need cloth variety, clothing variety. All right, which means I need a tannery. What the? F this is supposed to have no. Wait, the, the me channel theme, but medieval. Okay. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Okay, game looks amazing, but what I'm really looking forward to is the potential modding scene. Imagine a vampire mod and you play Vlad Simulator. I feel like this game would be better for smaller mods that change it through like periods of history or something. Like, it would be cool to build a medieval village, like a Bretonian medieval village or something, I guess. Or like. Uh, if they added in like an eastern faction and you could build one in the desert and it has its own challenges and stuff or build it in like a thick jungle or something There's plenty you could do with this game mod wise. It's a good foundation for it, but smaller mods that add in like new units and new Just types of stuff Bear in mind this game's still in early access So this is just a foundation for what the game that they're going to build and it's already so good Like a lot of this is like the uh, current functioning parts of this are great Approval critically low. Families may start leaving town. No, don't leave town. I need you so bad. All right, let's get that wood back up. Food is how is is about as good as we can get it right now. We really need this to come out of winter though, so we can start gathering berries, and then we got our food up hugely. So good. Did I hear a review? I did not give an hearing review. I commented on parts of the game. A happy peasant is a lazy peasant. <laughs> Let's lower that approval rating. <laughs> K 
Can you create a cannibalistic society? I wish, dude. That would be such a good... I hope that when they develop it out, there is ways to go in evil directions and, like, make your village messed up in different ways. Like, having intimidating spikes around your town, or, like, having uh, an area for executing criminals and, like, making your guys evil and making your society, like, have a weird morality. Isn't commenting on parts really just a miniature version of reviewing? I think reviewing is like, I give this game a whatever out of 10, and I fully think that you should buy it, or I fully think that you shouldn't buy it. Saying that you like something isn't a review. Or saying that you like the game isn't inherently a review. You have to give it a rating, and a hearing, like, talk about the negatives and the positives, weigh everything. I think it's the, it's the whatever out of 10 type thing that makes it a full review. Like I have reviewed this full pro this as a product. Oh, the snow is melting. Let's go. We made it through winter somehow. All right, we need to figure out how to get this up fast. We're going to need less fuel as we come out of winter. And and then when we get our wood up, all right, I'm gonna ditch out of the granary for a second and get the guys back to chopping wood. We only have six timber right now, so that's not enough to build too many houses. Okay, how is our approval going? Cloth variety, yeah, okay. So we really need a tannery thing going, actually, more than anything. So let's get that going. Get your wood up, Okoy. I am sort of struggling to think how we can get our approval rating up. Because we've got enough food. We're getting actually a reasonable amount of food from the deer because it's a rich source. Uh, rich... Uh, I've never seen a uh, rich deposit of wild animals in the two or three games that I've done so far. Hmm... Also, maybe we could like beeline for a church just so it makes them happier to raise that approval rating so we can start getting extra people. So what if I dump just enough people in the saw pit to start cr uh, making that timber into, into some stuff? Because we're sort of good on wood right now for a couple of months. So I'll stick them on the saw pit. No assigned families to guide the ox. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Because we need an ox to bring logs to the saw pit. Ugh. These things kind of have to work in tandem. Dude, we're kind of... We need more people. Look at the lighting, dog. Hmm. We're really down on some people right now. So we've got people on the storehouse and the granary, which is how meat storage usually happens, is the people that take things to the stalls, which directly affects our happiness. This sucks, dude. It's going up, I think, though. 29% and rising. Oh, they, oh my god, I can just press tab to tell what people are on. God, that's so useful. So, down on church. Church would be huge. Alright, so, right, we're gonna take somebody out the storage thing, and we're just gonna have somebody chop wood for a bit. Get our timber up to, like, I think 10 timber would be enough to make the amount of planks that we need. Yeah, so that's full. So we put somebody on that. Like this. And they'll chop that log storage down. There we go. And then now there's five logs. And then we put them back on this. Take them off that. 25%. We're raising slowly. Is this toxicity? This is toxicity. By system of a down. But uh, it's bard's toxicity. 
It's ye old toxicity. Dude, look how green this looks. I love this little bit of bits of snow still being around, showing the transition into spring is so nice. So pretty. My lord is... Okay, we're freezing to death this winter. I We probably could have had a good start good, not going into winter, but I feel like we're going to start getting established and then we're going to get killed by <laughs> the, the other guy and his totally working uh, city because he doesn't have to worry about half this crap, I think. All right, five logs. All right, that's, that's up. So I can put somebody in back in there and then we'll have 10 planks and that should be enough, I think. 10 planks. Wait, is it 10 planks or is it 20 planks for a church? Uh, it is... It'll be on residential, right? 20. Damn it! That's fine. No! One of my families left town! Fuck! Which family left? No! <laughs> It was the meme family! No! 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 I'm screwed! They bailed! You piece of shit, comrade! Uh, rag cum, whatever their names were, they left! Pathetic! Alright, I'm taking you guys off of the cloth. And we're gonna build a church. All right, we need to go back on that. Take somebody out of the logging camp. There we go. Let's just speed run that. Let's take one of the people out of the food, actually, and then put the other one back into the tannery to develop that cloth. Keep that going. I think we need... Oh, no. I think we need somebody in the... I mean, they're making leather. We've got a little bit of leather going. Leather, wood, eggs. Eggs? Some egg? We have some egg. We can get our burgage people back, all right? It's fine. We'll be okay. We don't need them anyway. Oh, berries also. Berries will be good. Because then we get we can use that to bloat our food. But we do have eight months of food right now, so I'm not too worried. And also, lots of meat. So yeah, definitely take one of the people out of the meat station and... Ooh. All right, that's out. Go back to wood. Fast forward that crap. We're up to 15 planks, just five more. We can build the, we can build the uh, church. 10 stone, five logs, five wood. All right, go take them out, put them in there. Cut that log and church. All right, there we go. And now we can take them out of the wood completely and put them back into the granary for a minute. Oh no, I can't, I actually need them. All right. Church is going to go front and center, right here in the middle. Right in our... Wait, not enough goods? What? What do we not have enough of? Five... Oh, crap. Okay. Chop some wood real quick. Chop some wood real quick. Six. All right, we're up to six. All right, let's get down. There we go. Nice. Uh... All right, and now we just high priority this, take them off the wood, get them to speed run, build that. That'll improve happiness. Hopefully the negative eight to church level too low will disappear. And we can... We just need to speed run the building process. Meat's going good. We got 10 months of meat, five months of fuel. Car, regional wealth is bad, but that's fine. Market food and clothing is going up. Church level is not gonna be a problem soon, which means our approval should just start going up. All right, we're figuring it out, guys. <laughs> we're figuring this shit show out. Also, how many people do I have infantry-wise? Like. Eight? <laughs> no, no. I can't even use all of the fucking spears. We have eight guys. 
We have eight men. If we get attacked by the enemy army, we're going to be able to field eight men right now. The Schlongington. Look at the guy's little face on the shield. The Schlongington Spear Militia. Four manners win. I mean, it would have to be something like... I can't make a doomstack for this game. Maybe I could just do archers. Or something like that. Or just call all pole arms. Or, or just... 20, or nine, uh, 12 retinue, something like that. We can get our people back. We just need to get way over 50%. Church level is too low. All right, speed run the church. Go, 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 go. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. We're going to take all of our planks, all of our stone. The timber is already there, so it's just a case of getting that one family that's unemployed to build. I can't believe the comrade family left. Okay, bad news. The DMV is closed for 40 minutes, so I'm cooling in the parking lot until then. Have you invented arrows yet? <laughs> no. We don't even have... My guys haven't even heard of wood, barely. They are very uh, talented in creating shafts, though. As, as is evident by the outline of our city. Ew! I don't like these houses on the balls. That does not look great. Right, we need a family back in this place because we're not we're currently not getting eggs because the people left They were tired of lounging around with no jobs making eggs. I guess Woe is them. Woe is they Those lazy bitches You're so too low. Come on make the church I haven't what is the unemployed family doing? How do you check on your families? I forget it's uh what are you guys doing? You're waiting, transporting. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Thank you, understand. Making eggs in the balls. Eggs are created in the balls. Pea is stored in the balls is such a good meme. Because some guy out there believes that now. He thinks P is stored in the balls. Oh my god, they're so slow. Alright, what's this guy's name? Who's taken a really long... Who is this? Taken Fritz? I don't like that name. Alright, well, let's rename him. Fritz. Alright. Cynical Wall. Cynical Wall, we will call him. And... Who else? Mr. Paninus and Pohis. What else? Uh, we got. I think everybody's named that for people in chat now. Yep. All right. All of our four families are people in chat. Ooh, it's rising. Approval is rising. We need carts or something. I don't know why they can't get a cart or a giant cart full of crap and pull it with the uh, ox. You think that'd be possible? Church? We need a church for happiness, dude. P is stored on the balls, my guy? That's true. You know what? I don't know my anatomy well. Sorry, forgive me. You know what? Nothing like a good church at the base of the shaft. The town shaft. New mystery companies available. We might have to bank on that if we can get some treasury. But what we need right now is regional wealth, which we can get from wiping out a bandit camp. What we can't do is wipe out a bandit camp with eight freaking guys. Eight freaking guys. There's no way. There's absolutely no way we can do anything with the amount of people we got right now. We've we've lost one we've lost one stupid ungrateful family with hilarious names. Oh, it's under construction. There we go. It's they're actually building it now. We just need two more stone, nine stone, ten stone. There we go. Now it's just a speed run build time. Our food is going up. Fuel is kind of mediating right now. Uh, once we get the church built, I'll put them straight back on firewood, and then we should be okay. Is this a fortunate son? 
Is this medieval fortunate son right now? Dude, yes. <laughs> There's a guy singing. And when the bar plays hey to the king. <laughs> to put the trebuchet in you. Tisn't me. I ain't no nobleman's kin. That's sick. Tisn't me. <laughs> Tisn't me. Oh, I love Bardcore, dude, so much. It fits this game so well. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know, we can finally pray to the Great Shlong. True! Can we rename the church or something? Nah. Tisn't me. I ain't no baron skin. Can we connect it at the back here? I'm assuming we'll connect. Hmm. We're almost there though. Let's get this crap built. All right, church in three, two, one, and... And, oh, we're good, let's go! Church built. Let's uh, get you straight back onto that woodcutter's lodge. All right, good. Hello, Koi. Can you change it so that I'm married to Hay like IRL? I... <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I cannot be bothered. Oh, we need wood actually Why is there just bushes here in the street? You can delete bushes though Like that. See? That looks better. Any more bushes that are just kind of in the way? No, it's all good This is looking a bit crap. This is looking a bit, bit, bit shitty Got all these roads on my balls All right, that's nice. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna make this aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got our village built. Oh, approval rating is increasing, guys. Church level too low. Church level too low? There's no way the church level too low. I'm not making clay. Clay, rocks, more planks, more wood. That's, I suppose that's doable if we beeline for that. All right, two level two houses. All right, let's, I tell you what, let's reward the people that have done good stuff, and let's get that up. We just need regular wood, too, so I can bail on that, get these guys chopping wood, and then we can just get a bunch of timber, and then take them off it and just stop building houses. If we can get these two houses up, we can get another perk point, and I can put it into, like, advanced skinning or pelt extraction, or we can go down the route of plowing for we start making grain... I'm thinking short term though. Also, I might just fully bank on the fact that we have a rich deposit of wild animals because this will re refill itself over and over again. And they might migrate. They, they sometimes the animals migrate, but I'm pretty sure we can bank on that because we're actually getting a lot of food from it. We've currently got 12 months of food and we get, we're getting a good split between. We're somehow still getting eggs despite nobody living in this goddamn house. All we gotta do is, we just need a population back up, because we're gonna die the second the bad guy sends his armies at us. Put Victor Salt, Salt Spire in the church. How? If we get another family, um, there's no reason to, uh, oh, we could pick up, pick up church noise. That's boring. I pitched. That's loud. <laughs> is that a cowbell? I'm going with a cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell. Alright, well, this is good, this is good, this is good. It keeps telling me that the generic storage is full for salt pits. That'd be a good thing for them to patch out. Alright, four. We're currently at two timber. Right, let's get that fast forwarded. Berries could be good as well. If we get two types of food, that'll actually make them really happy. Uh, church level too low. We've, f we've fulfilled all of the requirements for a level two house, though. Currently. Uh, 
Church level too low, negative four. Church level plus two. So that's offsetting it, so it's only a negative two now. But that seems like it's going up. They're really enjoying the cloth market and the market food variety. I think that's because we have egg. We have a small amount of egg. God damn, why did our family have to bail on us? I can't believe they left. Ding, 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 ogres, my lord. Look like, looks like meat's back on the menu. Uh. Here we go. God, that's aesthetic. Can look weird though from above. I don't like this. What is this? <laughs> it's attached to the town. All right. Oh, approval is up to 40%, guys. We're getting good. We just need to get it over 50%. So it's in the green. And new new uh, village people should start joining the village. So somebody will come back and join this. And they will hopefully come into our residencies. What do we need wood for again? Oh, yeah. I was going to upgrade some of the towns. Bam. And then four more. That's fine, though. We don't need anybody to build that right now. Oh, yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, we do. Oh, they're building it anyway. Oh, you don't need a free town to, to build upgrades. That's cool. I guess the people that own the house do it. Oh, a bandit camp was sighted. All right, how close is it? Oh, it's very close. Oh, man. If we had enough dudes, that would be a perfect first mission. Wiping out these banditos. Alright, we just need a couple more houses. We can go slay the banditos. Life good. Miss wife. Attack the bandits with what? Eight dudes? Alright, look. My militia right now is eight people. And I don't have any money to hire mercenaries. Look. I would hire mercenaries. And we can hire the green caps or the ravenous vultures. But 90 treasury? This is treasury up here. And we currently have zero plus zero. We're not getting any taxes. We're about to get our first level one uh, to town building. Which means that we'll start, we can start creating taxes once we get a manor. We could build a manor, actually. Because then we'll get a retinue. And that'll help us... Ooh, you know what? That's a good idea. A manor with a retinue would be really helpful. A retinue is super, super strong. Okay. Let's do that then. Let's get our two those two. First of all, let's let's first things first. Let's let's get four timber and upgrade our second burgage plot. And then we can get our first our, another settlement level. Oh crap, wait, level one. Oh, I need to build two more houses. Uh, where do we put houses? I want to build them in the... Oh, I'm going to have to free up some space. Okay. Alright, and then... We put... So that, by the way, the house building for this is so nice. So you can build a point, you can, you kind of do it like here, here, and here, look. Like that, and it'll put in houses in like custom shape. And then you can turn it, and then bam. You can get two houses just like that. And they'll be different shapes, and they'll have different textures and stuff. It's so good. All right, we just need four timber. Just fast forward, get four timber, build this. And then we'll worry about upgrading that second house. Plus more houses. More available houses is good because that means once we get our approval rating up. Why has it gone down? Lack of entertainment? What entertainment do you want? I can't provide entertainment. Your lives should be at not enough supplies. Oh, crap. What are we down on? Fuel. Ah, oh, man. No. All right. I'm taking you off of... No, I can't because then you'll lose your cot. Um... 
All right, what do we got people on? We got people on storage. Need that though. What happened to our spears since you- Oh, they went into the houses. Oh boy. Um, I really needed that fifth family. <laughs> that totally just undermined everything. Um, I'm gonna have to sacrifice the clothing and have them build woodcutter stuff for a little while. Because right now we don't even have anybody to build anything. So when I get four timber, I wish I could hire people and just buy them. Okay, okay, if you're short in cash, my cousin says he knows a guy who's willing to pay cash now and all he'd have to do, we'd have to do is star in some movies for him. That sounds very ominous. It feels like, it sounds like my, my lungs are going to get taken from me <laughs> if I agree to that. My kidneys. Lungs? My kidneys. Is this medieval Katy Perry? It is... Teenage Dream? I don't know what that is. I guess that's Katy Perry. Iron Man? No way. Bardcore Iron Man. <laughs> that's great. Alright, we got our first level 2 Berg. Ooh, yeah, we're not getting enough fuel for this fuel supply. So that's gotta go up. Okay, doesn't know Katy Perry would have scrub. up. Katy Perry, the, the pop music, bad and terrible and, and bad. That's factual, dude. Oh boy. Is it gonna keep whining that we're, the, the requirements for this town are not met? Because I know. Oh, like, okay. Yeah, you know what? Upgrading might have been a mistake. <laughs> we can barely, <laughs> we can barely uh, functionally take care of our village as is with with our level one houses. So we need a mining, not a mining pit, a stone cutter. Damn, that's it. Low priority though. Low prio. Also, we have no people to build that currently. Are we still on four timber? Why are we on four timber? Why is that taking so long? Oh, there we go. All right. We got our four wood, four timber. Let's get these two houses down. Like that. There. Is that one or two? That's one house, damn it. Uh, how about that? And that, and there. Oh, whatever. What is this layout? <laughs> what is this? That's one house. That's the only way I can get two houses? What is this house? What is this? Um, can I build it there? How is that one house? God damn it, I need to build it in the balls. I demand ball house. All right, you know what? All right, how about this? Just to conserve space. One house here. And then we can like manually do it. So... And then, nope, damn it. God, it really doesn't want to build what I want <laughs> at all. <laughs> there we go. 
Uh, Alright, there we go. Jeez. And then high prio. High prio. We got one free ha people right now for building. They're not getting any wood. We're down on timber. That's fine. Then we got a stone cutter. No, you used some of my timber, damn it. I think that's fine, though. All right, two houses down, and then we just need one burgage leveled up thing. So four more timber after these are built. Wait, church level too low, negative 11? Oh no, wait, it's because I have level two houses? Wait, did I fuck, <laughs> did I fuck up? I might need to delete the level two houses. I don't think we're ready. I think I'm gonna make my fan my. Oh no, no. Apparently it's fine. It has higher requirements. I know that. Wait, why don't I just upgrade? I could just do the thing, upgrade it, and then I'll just demolish them and build level one houses. I'm gonna do that. All right, we'll build these one down. God, I love how these little houses fit into these zones. It's just, it's such a fluid system. It's so cool. All right, one down. We just gotta hurry, man. Oh, crap. I don't think we have the timber for this. Okay, your first battle, I recommend trying out the give ground command to your melee once they're engaged. This will allow you to get your archers position quicker from the side to shoot. What archers? Dude, I, I've lost one of my people. We started in winter. We have barely enough families to, to <laughs> run. <laughs> we got like 10 guys running an entire village. Send this stream to your parents. What? How dare you? You trying to get me? You know what? My my fam support my my streams. <laughs> Hard focus food variety. I could get berries. That would be huge. That'll be my focus after I sort out this housing situation. Also, yeah, I've never seen anybody get archers within three years. I don't even have archers on my main campaign, and that's, I'm like four years in. I mean, in, in my defense, I've been building pole arms and nothing else, but you know, I'm a fan of pole arms. What can I say? All right. Build, 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 go, 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 go. Build house, build house, build house. All right, so we build house, house build. All right, and then we go back. So we got two we got two spare houses now. Nobody's living in them, but we have them for when people inevitably move in and they better move in. Make your parents make your peasants watch your stream if you're a true man or lord. Wait, did you say peasants and not parents? No, you said send the stream to your parents. Yeah, okay. Send the stream to your peasants, dude. Is that a boat? What is this? Somebody tell me. Oh, it's a cart. There's wheels right there. Is this a boat? <laughs> We're never talking about that again. That's never being brought up. Unassigned family scope. Yeah, I don't need this building right now. It's fine. It's low prior. I want that four wood. Ah, four timber. There we go. All right. Now, so we upgrade this like that. Make it extremely high priority. Take them off wood. Fast forward that. Get this built. That'll give us our, our uh, village level up thing. And then we can work on food variety. Although this is being dragged down by lack of entertainment and not enough cloth variety. Which means, because I, I think we don't have anybody in our tannery still. Yeah. Which means our clothing. Another ruler's army was sighted? Oh god, where are they going? 
36 dudes, 18 brigands. Oh, wait, they got brigands. Brigands? Brotherhood of the Forest and the Brotherhood of the Forest. Oh my god, how many is this? 36? 36 archers and 18... Oh god. Oh, jeez. They look like they're coming towards me, but they haven't, like, declared on me or anything. So I'm going to assume they're not coming here to kill me. Alright, looks like our firewood is up. We should have lots of... Yeah, we've got nine months of firewood. So I'm going to take them off firewood. I'm going to put them onto... Uh... Yeah, tannery. Put them on the tannery. Get that up. Build this. Build this and the stone pit. And then I'm going to put them straight on the forager's hut to get food variety. So we should have- we got 50 months of food right now because of our meat situation is great. I think. Seven. Yeah, we got eggs. Somehow we're still making eggs. I don't know how. The, the residents of this house moved out. I guess somebody's taking care of it. Well, either that or it's automatic. What scenario is this? Um, aggressive and a bunch of other crap, I forget. It's it's difficult. It's very difficult and some things are slightly more fair. Like a mix. Like I got, I got spears and shields, but then we're on, the AI is set to aggressive and it's gonna suck. Ooh, boy, boy Zynga. Alright, let's get that cloth variety up, and then we can get our food variety up. Come on, build the fucking house! Build the house! Please! What do I pay you for? Why are they not... Oh, we're missing a lot uh, wood, right? That's why. What happened to my wood? Yeah, that's fine. Just get, the, get one wood. Just get one. Everybody gets one. Come on. I just need one timber. Just a crumb. Just a crumb of tip. There it is. All right. And then we take them off that. All right. Approval is hovering around the middle right now. We need over 50% though to recruit people, which I think is a little... <laughs> That's really difficult. When you start off and everybody gets really mad and everyone leaves your city. There we go. Set them a level increase. All right. Shlongington is a new level up. Okay, guys, so we could go heavy plow. Uh, we could double the uh, our capacity of berry deposits and actually just not do plowing for now. It's going to be a long time before we can do that anyway. So I think the best thing to do is forest management. Doubles the capacity of all berry deposits. And then we can just harvest shit tons of berries. What do you guys think? Okay, you have a spammer in the Discord? Oh, crap. I uh, let me ban him real quick. Alright, I got him. They're gone. I'm just- Alright, you know what? Actually, good segue. Um, join the Discord. <laughs> That's a good segue. Alright, you know what? Development is done. Let's get this stone cutter thing built really quick too because why not? It's already got the wood, which means we don't need to get the wood All right, we're good on, we're good on fuel and on food Hopefully our food variation being higher hunger is uh, For some reason a negative Build the camp Come on, cynical. Pohees and... Who is this? Pohees and Panini. You guys are f slow with this crap. Alright, there we go. Build that. Nice, 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 nice. And then straight onto the berry hut. Alright, now hopefully... 
with our church variation on food clothing and everything else 88% food variety we get eggs meat and then once we get berries that's three food varieties plus a bunch of extra food firewood is gonna slowly go down because we don't have anybody on it but that's fine we got clothes we got food two variations so we should be able to bank just a crap ton of berries now and then we should be good right maybe also i'm tempted to just delete these two houses i know we spent a lot of some resources on them but can i, I can't downgrade them and they have higher requirements and this is going to be drag approval will fall if not fulfilled right so there's no tavern there's no church level two i can't i don't have two types of clothing or three types of food so maybe I just, shall I, what do you guys think? Shall I demolish them? Look almost to make people homeless. All right, that is true, but there, we, we do have five houses. We have enough for all of our four villagers, but I can just delete these and then rebuild them as, as lowered. All right, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna downscale. I'm making a judgment call. Expose goods. No, no! Rescue the spears and the shields! Rescue them! Alright, we got somebody in our generic storage that's selling firewood. That's good. Hopefully, they'll take these inside. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Grab those. And these. Grab them. Yes, please. Use a cart. Yes! Alright, they're, they're cleaning them up. Good. Now they just need to get these spears. Put them in your house. Put them in your house. It's fine. Take them and put them in your fucking house. Oh my god, please don't leave these here. I need to build. Please. There we go. Alright, we're good. What is this song? Jesus. I need four wood. Alright, so... Berry's going good. Pantry stuff. Berry caught. Something variation something something i might need people in the granary though all right we're to 41 there we go so our church level is up lack of entertainment is the only thing that's down which means our morale should just start increasing now and we have a our public order is 90 percent because of lack of administration buildings which means we need a manor oh dude if i just had one extra family i just need one extra family that's all i need Forty-four percent. Oh, it's climbing, and apparently it's going down. But that's mediating. Why does this look like an average midwestern town? This looks like an average midwestern town. I think it's the the wood, the lacquer wood church. That looks very Midwest. Is the what about the town shape? Does this scream Midwestern town? The town of Schlongington. I don't know, you should just start dancing in public to amuse the peasants. Yeah, maybe if I go into the town and I... F you, sir! You, sir! I'll do a funny little dance for you. Got a little twitchy dance. Ma'am! What if I just creep around my town? <laughs> I just like start standing like this, and just looking at people. Sir, come back here. Hey, hey, no, come back. Oh, God damn it, ma'am, ma'am. I'm here to entertain you. Oh, this sounds really weird. I don't know. You know what? I don't like this energy. 47% <laughs> it worked. Yes. Yes. Dude, I'm telling you. We're so close to, to being plus 50%. We just got to keep our stuff up. All right. Food is going well. I think the variations in food are helping a lot. Let's see. We got any berries in the markets? Yes. Berries, eggs, and meat. You can use that to make the weirdest pie of all time. 
Dave? That that was Dave? <laughs> was that Dave? Actually, can we check that? Dave. Oh, Dave is in the house. Can I look in the house? Nope. I mean, oh, I guess there's a reason for that. <laughs> Giant camera comes in through the window. Dave. Dave, are you in here? All right. I need a little bit more wood now. Uh, I'm gonna bail from berries just for a minute, get two more wood, and then we'll go back to berry town. Also, we might need some firewood. Seven months so far, that's fine. How many boots have we got? Or not boots. We've got 38 leather right now. But this guy, oh no, he doesn't need to do run the car. Apparently that's fine. He's just creating hides. All right, we're up to three wood, one more wood, and we can build a house. The last, build the two houses back. Oh, wait, why did our happiness go down? No! Church level too low? Is that because of our, like, settlement level? It was so close to being high! We were so close! Come on! It's hovering around the 40s. I don't know what I can do to get it up. How do you actually entertain your people? Weird music. This is Minecraft Sweden, but it's medieval style cover. What else, what else we got? Big Bang Theory intro. Really? <laughs> wow. That show sucks. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's that Skibbity by Scatman. Forty-nine percent! Oh, we're so close! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. More food, more food, more food, more food. Forty-nine percent, come on! We're so glad- Oh, not 48, 49! 50%! Yes, let's go! We need to be above that, though. We need to be- Yes, 51%! Okay, please, please, another family. Please, another family. Please, another family. We're bringing it back! Let's go! 51% approval rating! All right, we need to build a manor. That should be our next step, right? So a manor is... We're gonna need five wood, 15 rocks, and 20 lumber. How many rocks we got? Zero rocks. Right, let's get the rocks first then. I think we're good, good on berries. I feel like berries, you get a lot of berries very quickly. 21 and four. No, you know what? Never mind. I take that back. We don't got a lot of berries. Ah, oh, we just gotta keep it at 51%. Church level seems to be outdoing everything. Market food variety is giving us that bump that we needed. We got plenty of cloth. Not enough fuel on the marketplace. Ah, damn it. Uh, that would help. Well, food seems to be going well. Let's go back into firewood for a minute. And then I need five logs. Oh no, requirements not met. Why? For what? Fuel. All right, yeah, we need, we need more fuel. 54%! Yes, dude! We're bringing it back! We were approaching! No! No, not again! No! So close! No! Oh man! Of course, small market by the church for the distribution. Oh, you think I should build another market? Like another marketplace? So what? Like here? Like that, or something? Maybe a smaller market in kind of like the middle of the town would be a better idea, or the one that's this far away. And everybody can get their stuff faster. Hmm.
But they also the market is by the houses. It's literally right there. I want to build that manor. I want to get that manor going. That'll be huge. For administration and everything. Oh, we got to build planks, which means we need tons of wood. Sheesh. We need that extra family to- 57%! Alright, the food variety is doing us wonders. Let's see if we, can, we can't get another family moved in. No! Why did it drop to 39? No! Oh, that sucks. Not enough food variety in the marketplace. From what? It seems very arbitrary, the way that it selects this crap. Still only eight dudes. Yeah, we need more families. It's away from the storehouse? Oh, so what if I put it, like, here? Okay, how about this? What if we build a little track? And then... And then like so and then I'll put it I'll put the marketplace here instead can I delete the old one like if I put it here that's more than enough 41 stall locations and then if I delete this will that mess it up though I feel like all the resources will go on the ground which is the worst thing that could possibly happen right now I guess I'll just see what happens And winter is approaching as well. Dude, no way ga the fucking Game of Thrones theme just came on when we were talking about winter approaching. There's no way that just happened. What the hell? What in the fuck? All right, app approval's gone up again. Ooh. Would it be a real problem to just demolish this whole thing? Construction resources will be refunded, and then all of the stuff from the market will be dropped on the ground. Alright, shall I delete all this now? It stopped raining, it's nice and sunny. Fuck it. Get the resources, get the supplies! Alright, I need to put somebody in the market really quickly. Just for one second. And then they'll go collect all the food. Alright, they're collecting it. E all the requirements will go down. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. It's fine. It'll be fine. And we have all this space now, hopefully. Here we go. There's the food. I wonder if this game has mod support. Imagine Manalord's Middle Earth. Yeah. It's not even out yet. Yeah, this game isn't even out yet. It'll be... It'll be out when it's out. In 26th? I forget. I don't actually know the release date of this game, but I got it. we've got it way early. Did I just screw everything? Everybody's so unhappy. There's no markets at all. They got. We gotta build them. Again. How long is it going to take him to build them? What mods are you using, Okoy? <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no messages. Raiders near. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby land. Should we track their steps? Track their movement. Prepare for the attack. What? Oh no! <laughs> We're so screwed. They're going to attack us in one year from now. There's no way we're going to be on our feet in a year. Impossible. Do I have to take people off of everything to get them to like build... Marketplaces? 
What if I take them off and put them on? You have a year? Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I have a year until death. Dude, deleting that shit might have been a mistake. They're not building markets again. Oh, there's 41 free stall locations and they're just not using them. <laughs> they're, they're not doing anything. No, they stole my berries. Fuck you guys. You douches. Dude, I'm never gonna get more dudes now. How am I supposed to get more dudes? Pray, train the spearman, Okoy? I mean, I'll be able to summon eight dudes, but I'm pretty sure they're gonna attack me with like an actual real army. Oh boy. All right, how do we prepare for this? Well, it's winter too, so that sucks. And we got 10 months of fuel. That'll do, I guess. But no marketplaces. And they won't build marketplaces. Can I, like, force them to do that? Guys, please! Forage for berries while before it's winter. Oh, it's seasonal. Well, we're out of berries now. Which means we're probably gonna lose our three food things. Do they just not build marketplaces during the winter? Send dudes, I need more. Oh, donut. 100 days music with a $5 donut. This game makes me wish for the good old days. Nobody on their phones, just people living in the Okoy moment. <laughs> living in the Okoy moment. That's actually, I, I watched a, um, thank you for the donut, by the way, my dude. Wait, nope, they're super unhappy. We fucked it. It's fucked. There's no way. They're not building a marketplace. That totally fucked it. Because they're, they're not doing it. How are we split? Isn't that fucked now? That might have killed it. People are leaving. Approval low. If everybody leaves, I'm screwed. Low approval. Everything's going down. Build marketplaces then! I can't build them! They, they won't let me manually build these things. If this is on this you, guys. Makes me wish for the good old days. Nobody there on it their is. Phones, just people living in the Okoy moment. Restart. I'm gonna have to just wait until I'm- if I lose another family, then I, I'm- I have to restart. I guess I'm fucking screwed. I'm totally screwed. Oh! Wait! They're- they're happier? Why are they happier? Cloth market supply? Did they build a market? For cloth? No? No, they're suddenly way happier, but for no reason. For no reason. All right, we're good on food. We got plenty of food. We got actually so much meat. I'm honestly almost like kind of not worried about meat. But we need that that market set up like now. Huge L moment. We may have to re uh, we may have to remake Schlongington. Because they're refusing to build a marketplace. Damn it! Alright, well at least I know to build I should build my marketplace much closer to my storehouse. Damn it. I should have saved before I did this. Not enough variety on the That might be a good um piece of feedback to give the devs that you they need to manually like have some way of manually getting your guys to build markets or something because i i literally don't think i can it's not in my power what if i build more around it maybe aka here guys marketplace please build here it would be cool if you were to build here 
Yes, please, guys. We're screwed. F. Massive L moment. They're not even that unhappy. With, I don't... This is... God damn it. I don't go restart on no balls. I'll... I want it to fully fail first. Apparently, they're still able to eat. They're just... You know... They just won't make stuff. And we've got 295 days left to prepare. <laughs> Can I see the enemy army? No, I can't see the enemy army. Damn it. Can I diplomatize with the outlaws? That would be useful. Yo. Hey guys, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. That was a letter? There's no diplomacy screen? I just sent him a letter saying it's super nice to meet you. Thanks for stealing a bunch of my crap. Give me back my berries, please. Delete and replace. I... We'll try that. Go. Please, please build here, guys. Oh! No, she faked me out with the cart. Alright, I'm gonna try one last thing, and then I'm going to delete this. I'm gonna try rebuilding some of the buildings. Is this... Poker face. So I build this and then take this guy off, demolish this. Because we can survive without meat for a minute. Get them to build this hunting camp. And then put them back on the hunting camp. Will they then build the marketplace for the meat? Because it's after the fact. I don't know, just assigning them to jobs to distribute the stuff and they will build the wall souls. That's not how that works. Look, they, they're already as, uh, like assigned. Maybe if I assign them to the granary? But the granary isn't where... So, for example, there's a shit ton of leather in here. Alright, what if I take them off the tannery and I'm on a granary? They're just gonna wait. The people that build the stalls are the people that are in these things. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Nah, L. Huge L. Schlongington is doomed. Doomed! You sent them to the storehouse? I've had a guy on the storehouse the entire time. And a family that I just put on the granary. You need them for that, for them to collect uh, food from places. Did we get a fifth family yet? We haven't even had the happiness in the right area to be able to do that yet. <laughs> Definitely no. no. Hugely no. Damn it. It sucks because we were there. Everything is, is on track too. So if I had just kept the uh, the marketplace as it was, we probably would have been fine. I love the ominous cows and oh, they yeah. This is my hitching area. Ah, <sighs> hmm. Maybe now that we're coming out of winter, maybe they'll build. It's it's the, the vague possibility. Oh, oh, fuck you! Please come to the market area. Please. Is that guy sick? He looks sick. Is he part of this family? He is sick. Oh, this is you're sick, dude. You don't have any herbs. Great.
God damn it. Uh, what do you guys think? I'll, I'll put up to a vote. Either we'll try and wait this out a little bit to see if they make it or we'll restart. I'll put it up to a vote. Adoka, use Google to find how to make stalls. This game isn't out yet. There's no information on how to do anything. I've just been having to ask people. Reload an older save. So the it the only saves are uh, auto saves, and then this one from my town of my own game. Uh, so I would be able to load the auto save, and that was three minutes ago. <laughs> so we're doomed. I was literally thinking I should try and save this for in case this marketplace thing doesn't work out, and it didn't. <laughs> should have saved. All right, at least we know now. You know, slowly learning more about this game bit by bit. But I think we're fucked, because they just refuse to build marketplaces. Which I should submit as feedback, if I can. So I'm... Oh, hold on. Whatever. I'll look for like a, a feedback section later. I think that's an important thing they should know about. That if you delete your marketplace, you're basically fucked. Because your guys won't build new stalls. And they will all starve. And be very sad. Make the next one butt shaped. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to rem remake our cock village. But maybe slightly bigger. Or longer. You know? We can extend the length of the shaft. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a restart, boys. All right. Let's get our boy back. What do we call him again? Greasus? Gre this is going to be his brother. Greasy... Greasy Greg? No, Greasy... I'm just going to remake Greasus. Greasus is fine. All right, what did we do? We did, oh, I think it saved it. Template difficulty, demanding. All right, I'm not doing it on winter this time. Let's just start in spring. Army delivery is fine, approval. Medium penalty, approval factors. Underground water, that's fine. Weather events balanced. This is what the settings are on for anybody. Domination, eliminate all of the loads by claiming their blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's f do it. I don't think the Rolling Stones painted black translates well to medieval. <laughs> it's a hardcore. Take on me. All right. Unite these lands under my rule. All right, let's get right into this. All right, let's... First of all, let's pause and look at the surroundings. So we've got... Stuff in every direction. So we got stone in that direction, iron deposits, regular berry deposit, regular wild animals, and a clay deposit. I kind of want to restock because a rich iron and rich stone sucks. That sucks ass. These <laughs> you don't need a rich of either. Okay, send legend, uh, save my disaster Hamlet, but it's not it's not a save my disaster campaign. It's more of a um, Because uh, that's not the problem It's it's a bug that prevented it from going forward. So it doesn't really matter who I send it to I don't think he can dig it out of, of a, a, a A bug like that, you know New Schlongington Try a tavern if you don't have one taverns are way down the line. You got to build hops and like beer and stuff It's really difficult all right, this looks pretty good. What do we got rich of? Iron and clay. That sucks. Also, the wild animals are so far away from our starting. What are these maps, dude? This sucks ass. <laughs> Why is this happening? All right, I'm going to do the last one, and then we're just going to stick with whatever we get this time. 
Give me, come on, rich, rich berries or rich. We want rich berries or rich food. All right, let's see what we got. Hey, wild rich animal deposit. Oh my god, everything's so far away. Why is everything so far away? Damn it. Goldhoff. No, thank you. All right, I need that Schlongington. Schlongington 2. 2. Schlongington 2. I need that umlauted O, though. Ah, oh, I still got it. Schlongington 2. Here we go. Oops. All right, Schlongington 2. I will unite the lands. All right, so we got meat real close. I kind of like this layout, though. This is kind of cool. All right, so step one is... Will be... Meat? No. Step one is wood. And then build over here to kind of like demolish the forest and stuff like that. So, oh no, wait, so what am I doing? <laughs> Fool. First we outline our settlement. Of course. Let's build it on to the surface of here this time. They squish it up a little bit. And then get a nice, some really good length on our settlement. This. Ah, damn it. All right, and there we go. Right? And connect the center again. And then we can have our cross thing here and a spot for our manor house as before. And we can put a build a wall around it too. Let's look at it from above. That's pretty, <laughs> that's, yeah, that'll do. And then, ooh, God, this is, everything's so far away, that is rough. Uh, let's find that crap through the trees. So, screw it while we're at it. We'll prep. And we got rocks all the way down the road. All right. I think we should be good. We got supplies, ox carts. All right, so let's do this properly this time as well. We'll put the... Oh, God damn it. Oh, my God. The, the water is so far away from all our crap. Right in the taint. We'll go to the taint area and we'll put a well right in the taint. Well in the taint. And then, hmm. Wait, where's that wood camp? Where did I put the wood camp? Did I already build that? No, I didn't build it yet. All right. Logging camp. There we go. Super high priority. Literally priority one. Well, kind of the also important. You'd be the worst mayor at Okoy. What are you talking about? Look at my town. How could you not appreciate its regal shape? And <laughs> the lines are a little too straight. <laughs> the water is tainted. Ew. All right, I don't want to build any of these yet. We're going to need our, our firewood. And then... I'm gonna have the storehouses next. Perfect. All right, storehouse right here. Granary right here on the other side of the taint. And then marketplace right in the middle. Like right here, like that. Right near the storehouse, right in the middle. We can build our houses like down here, or like around it, maybe. 
And also, this needs upgrading. Damn, I don't have to out of wood. All right. Good to go. Okay, will cannibalism be mandatory or just encouraged in this in that town? There is, will be no cannibalism in Schlongington 2. Alright. Come all right, no tavern, no thingy. Corpse pit. What if I just put like a ton of corpse pits? They're free. No construction cost. Oh, we can just put it like right here underneath the 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 newts. No. You know what? No. Ooh, hunting camp is huge. Did I build one already? No, I didn't. But that is huge. Usually important. We'll put that on this part of the nut. That'll be very high priority. Great. Make some roads, save some time. Ooh, that's close. Ooh, I kind of want to move the ox carts too. Relocate. Can I get in the middle? No, God, that would have been so good. Right here. Actually, you know what? Since we already have the wood, technically, no, we don't have the wood. Zero out of two, zero out of two. No, we do have the timber. It just doesn't say because it it's not in any of our buildings. All right, storehouse, super important. Because then we can get people into the storehouse. Alright, so push it. If you're playing this game legit, even if you're playing it stupid, it's still so fun, dude. Oh man, worker camp. We definitely need that because we're super homeless right now. Oh! I heard you're now, and I only seek to defend my rights and honor. Right, right back. What do we send this guy this time? This melty faced red gremlin man. You have no rightful claim. All right, good. Oh, we're literally next door to him this time. That's not good at all. He owns all of the territory that's touching us. I don't want to be near that guy. He he's super weird looking. I played the demo for hours. It is. Very addictive. I don't know how long it's come, how far it's come since the demo, but uh, it's tremendous, tremendously fun. Oop, logging camp is almost done. Storehouse is done. Put somebody on the storehouse. Put somebody in the granary. Somebody in the logging camp, and somebody on the hunting camp immediately. Nice. What's our second resource that's got a is rich? Rich stone. Uh, I guess that's okay. We can trade stone for stuff. Some of the electric counts declare war. I <laughs> that's a little bit early for that. I definitely think we will do a lot better this time though. Like enough to actually be able to build an army and take on some bandits without losing all of our guys because of sadness. All right, homelessness is the number one next thing we need to take care of. And I don't like this currently. Wait, you can't delete it? You have to upgrade to a worker camp first? Okay, priority numero uno.
Okay, do you edge to skibbity toilet? That is the dumbest literal question I've been asked all stream. That's <laughs> the dumbest shit I've been asked the whole stream. Congrats. <laughs> That's so fucking bad. I'm literally just gonna flank the village in the middle with houses, I think. The market in the center. Like this. We just need a lot more wood. Six wood. Is that a tr tuba? Oh, it's Daft Punk, get lucky. Okay, are you going to name the people of your, ta uh, of your town your lordship? I have, these, they are the, the members of Schlongington. Oh wait, okay, you mean actually, okay, this is a good time to do it while we still have the worker camp. Uh, yeah, let's, Conrad, that's a nice hat, Conrad. I love hoods with the little tassel down the back so much. They are so cool. I would absolutely wear one of those hoods with the long little pointy bit. Even now. Alright, what do we, uh... I'm just gonna name the people in chat. Getty, you're getting put in as this guy. Why not? And then we'll have... Getty's husband, apparently? Pohees. I see Pohees again. I see... Thomas H. Congo. Uh, comrade, comrade Rumham. Uh, John Mayers. Daniel Durland. Potato salad. These are some of these are actual names. Nora Schnee. Uh, play const. Elden Lean. All right, we've run out. All right, every time a new family joins. We will, uh, re we, they will become a, a, a family of people from Chet. All right. It's house time. I think. We should have enough timber. Nope, not even close. All right. Markets are going up, though. <laughs> the trumpet. The soft trumpet from this song. <laughs> it's endless. <laughs> What a good song. All right, I'm gonna double up on wood briefly because I think we are done with constructing currently. We got, we got a hunter going, which means meat coming in, worker camp. So we'll double up and then grind through a bunch of wood to start building houses. We're at four right now. I think I need eight. What we need is five houses. Four houses right there. Nice. There we go. Ten. Ten wood it is. I don't know, what's the name of this playlist you're playing? This is a death. They, this is called Medieval Covers. No vocals. And they spelled medieval wrong. <laughs> it's medi... Medieval covers brackets no no vocals. I like I just looked at one that didn't have vocals because the singing in the background was distracting. Oh, everybody's homeless and so sad. I right, went to nine timber. Nice. Twelve timber. Dude, shiver me timbers. Right. There we go. Just rotate it and bam, five houses up. Nice. 
I don't think I need to improve the priority of these, but that's fine. We got enough fuel for 15 months, apparently. 18 firewood is apparently a lot. Got one cart guy. One ox, I mean. Let's get that approval up. It's like priority number one. Berries would be a good pull, actually. And we can actually get them because we didn't start in fucking winter this time. I'm gonna put it here. Why not? Aesthetics. Somewhat priority. I think not losing our families is gonna be the biggest boon here. Alright, church is a big priority too. Okay, when there is not enough room remaining in the current model, how about drawing additional models touching tips in a circle? I don't understand what you mean by that. Free housing and land, what a time to be alive. Does anybody else have the like like the the urge to go start a medieval commune with a bunch of people? I know that's start that sounds super hippie-ish, but I mean specifically using medieval techniques. And like LARPing as a medieval village with a bunch of people. How, how fucking cool would that be? Do people, has anybody done that? Have like people done that? Like 50 people, you just go out and start a village, you like chop down trees, build shit. Occasionally, I do I do for real. Well, like everybody's just watching this from their ye old laptop. In Poland. <laughs> That's just what it's like living in Poland. You guys are still medieval Polish knights. The Amish? Yeah, true, the Amish. They use a lot of modern stuff, though. It's, they don't use electricity, but they use a lot of modern things and tools. You should make that a TV show, except too many people get injured, okay? I mean... <laughs> Do you want me leading a medieval- oh shit, I paused it. Me leading a medieval compound is a recipe for lots of dead medieval peasants. Build, build my peasants. Faster. Do we stick with medieval medicine? Oh, dude, imagine if you had a toothache and some guy had to rip it out with pliers and no numbing. Whoa, that real medieval dentistry crap? That is terrifying. Do, 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 do. Build quickly. Another ruler's army was sighted. Already? What are they doing? Are they gonna go in out killing... Killing stuff? How do they hire brigands this early on? Like, they're, they are expensive. Like, to put that into context, I have zero money right now. The only way I'm gonna be able to start earning treasury is by taxing my guys, which reduces their regional wealth and makes it personal wealth. What the hell is that background music? It's his Metallica Seek and Destroy Medieval version. <laughs> Metal doesn't translate well to, to uh, uh... It's just somebody I used to know, but it's bardcore. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is kind of perfect for it. Dun, 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 bah, 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 bah. Eww. Oh, a goat farm. Uh, you know what? Egg was good last time, so let's re-egg. 
I'm gonna go for egg again. Egg was a great way to get like triple uh, food variety. Here the commune in the houses. Let's go. Hurry up. Only 250 space in the storehouse? Yikes. Hey pal, you, you got enough families not working on stuff so they can build your buildings? I mean, I got one family not working on stuff, I, but I need to- Oh, you know what we got? Actually, we got 14 timber, so I'm gonna take them off chopping wood right now. And that should hopefully speed up production of building. Although woodcutting would be good. After. Build! Hurry! There we go, nice, 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 nice. Nice, speed run the building. And... Demolish the camp, let's go. Demolished. Homelessness has been eliminated. I see we go, we do trapping again because that helped work really well last time. You get a consistent supply of meat. On top of it being rich deposit of wild animals. All right, we're sub happy. We got to get that church built up. So it's time for assault it. Did I build that? Oh yeah, yeah I couldn't. All right, I have priority. Oh, uh, berries would be good though. Strong militia. Oh yeah, nice. Sweet. So we have a bunch of spears in our storehouse. Let's get that. Militia unit going, so we got 10 right now. And if we focus a retinue down, is this beta? This is early access. I think the game is in alpha, technically. I think, I think the game is in alpha or something like that, or an alpha state or something. I'm not entirely sure, but it is still more than functional in its current state. I'm so excited to see what they do with it later down the line. Okay, we need that church up because that was super helpful for happiness last time. And we've got the stones for it and the wood. So it's just a case of making planks. So let's get that soul pit built with our two fans and also the forager hut. And we can be getting berries to increase that food variety. Because right now we got bread and, bread and meat and not a whole lot else. So at the 26th they're releasing beta? I think so, yeah. What's it like? What's it on Steam? It should tell you on Steam. It is yeah, early access. Uh b -b -b -b. yeah, either way it's early access. So it's it's alpha or beta. You know, it's got everything here, system requirements, all that kind of stuff. I think the important thing is, is the game good now and playable in an early access state? I'm not, I can't review it. That, I'm, I'm not, I, yeah, so it's, it's in a review capacity. So that's the only rule with this. I can't like say it, you should buy this or you shouldn't. Just look at the gameplay and decide for yourself. I cannot make an informed decision, an informed uh, suggestion until the 26th. But I will say, the building is very cool in this game, and so is the combat, and so is the development, and so is a lot of stuff. You should buy- Stop trying to cast me out, goddammit! You get me in trouble? Slavic Magic, the developer of this game, is gonna kick down my door and beat the heck out of me. I told you not to review the game! Be lying there with a bloody nose. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Fuel, oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. Oh no, oh crud. Alright, Woodcutter's Lodge. Let's go. We need some of that wood. We are in summer right now, which means we got another two months to winter, which is good. We're on track though. Happiness is doing okay. We just gotta stop making that sawmill stuff soon. Hopefully we'll get a new house also actually you know what i should start making more houses uh yeah 
Even if they're not being built, it's good to have a couple of houses ready. Perfect. Just leave them on medium. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. They're making... We just need 20 planks so we can bail on that. A lot of sand families need for construction work. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. I need fuel right now. Don't worry about it. 10. 10 planks. We're getting there. The city building seems cool, but it lacks competition. The other Lord NPC doesn't build uh, up any towns, but feels the occasional army and that's it. Needs more ammo. Well, again, it's in early access. As far as I understand, that's something that they're working on. Is uh, live enemy settlements... Uh, a lot of stuff like that, like other parts of the functionality. This is early access. I'm pretty sure this game is an alpha. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. So it's getting developed. You know what I mean? Like that, this is just the base foundation and the base foundation, um, like the building. I really like the building. That's not a review. The example of a thing in the game that I like. What, you know, what's here currently that I am playing right now individually, the individual element. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm gonna I'm gonna accidentally say something review style. What did horse are gonna put their hoods on? Sneak into my house, kill me with an X. How much food do we need? We got 35 meat saved up, bunch of bread, which is probably diversifying our food pretty decently right now. Get food diversity. I'm trying, son. We're gonna need some of that. All right, we got 10 planks. Like I said, when we get, um, when I have 20 planks, that's when I'll switch. Because then I can build the church immediately. Immediately. Where are we putting the church? Right, how about here? Should we put the church like right here at the base of the, sh the uh, shaft? What do you guys think? Shaft Church or here? I think it look more symmetrical right in the middle. And I do love a symmetrical shaft. Church. A symmetrical church. Shaft. This type of thing. Why can't I build it? Five. Oh. Alright, well we got enough uh, logs. We need way more wood. And firewood is going up. Four months. 13 months of food. Uh, we need berries though, really bad. So chop a little bit more wood, get some whatever. Approval's decent. We're working at it. Faith was stored in the balls last time. <laughs> Faith is stored in the base of the shaft this time. There we go. I think we're going to need more wood for firewood. More timber for firewood. The next storage is full. Oh, that's just a saw pit. That's fine. Arm is not met. What requirements? All right. You know what? We don't have any spare fams. Wait, what are all our fams locked up in? I want to say that we don't need a granary thing right now. Oh, no, no, no. We do because that's what's running the uh, marketplace. Damn, um, I can't afford to get rid of food right now. Or wood, wood cutting is only four months. Oh, we need a new family, dude. All right, you know what? Beeline this. I gotta take somebody off something. How are we doing on meat? Because this guy's not running. All right, you know what? Meat will be fine. We got 15 months of food right now. It's all about variation, so let's get this thing built. Hello, Koi, can you walk around the village? Uh, yeah, I have a couple of times now. Look, check it out. 
And we in it. And this is uh, super early right now, but I'm excited to see what... Oh my god, imagine if they added in a way for you to fight as a manor lord. Dude, like this, like hack and slash third person style as your lord. And lead your guys on the battlefield. Oh my god, that would be crazy. This game is so beautiful, amount. It seriously is. Honestly, this game is gorgeous. Also, the textures... Can I just say the textures blow me away? Like, you think like, oh, this is gonna get all pixely, right? Because it starts to kind of like lose definition at a distance. You zoom in, look. Look at the f Look at the goddamn textures. They're so good. Look at the wood. And like the paint, the lacquered like uh, stone areas. It loses no visual fidelity when you get up close. Look, look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's so good. It's so impressive. Banner Lord and Manor Lords. So, Mountain Blade. Mountain Blade, but with city building. Don't act like you don't want a live action, uh, like, that would be a great addition to this game. Being able to control your, uh, your, ba your Manor Lord, so to speak. Bro, Rise and Fall was the shit, Lamont. Dude, Rise and Fall Civiliz Civilizations at War was such a good game. Rise and Fall Civilizations of War, by the way, for anybody that doesn't know, was a, uh, it was like a standard RTS with like Persia and Rome and like, you know, all these, these, uh, different factions, Egypt, and then you would, uh, and, but like the kicker is you could go down and physically play as your hero, uh, you're, you're like melee hero or ranged hero or whatever, and there was different ones for different factions, and you could, and it, it just turned into a third person hack and slash, you just cut your way through waves, wave after wave of RTS infantry. God, it was so fun. You could like mount boats, do boat, deploy boats, and have like boat battles. It was really, really, really fun. Is early access available to purchase or is it invite only? Um, I'm pretty sure on the 26th the game will release in early access for anybody that might want to buy it. Uh, I have advanced access as a content creator though. For like streaming and playing and, and whatever else. With the one condition that I'm not allowed to give a full review of the game. Alright. The outline's looking good. We got a good core going. Alright, meat's going, hunting camp. How was the build going? Very slowly. Come on. I might take them off a couple of other things to kind of fast track. Like, ah, they both got a market stall up. That's really important. Damn it. Not enough food variety, not enough fuel on the marketplace. Church level too low, not enough cloth variety. Oh crap, that's something. We need to get a tannery. Really bad. And I'm just gonna put it right next to the hunting camp. And that's going to be medium prior. Okay, pronounce your town name. This is Schlongington 2. Schlongington. Or Schlongington. I don't know. I don't know. How do you say that O? Oh, I'm sure there's some guy in there whose language actually uses the umlaut over the O. It'll be like Schlungington or Schlongington or something like that. Wait, Thomas H doing work? Oh, I wish there was some kind of AI that automatically named people from chat as they joined. Beatrix? Wait, did we get another family? We kind of got another. Who's Beatrix? Oh, do they have a kid? Lawrence? Is that somebody in chat? I think they had they like they had like a kid or something. Be Beatrix. That's gonna be the Jesper.
when you have so little resources that are being used up right away, you can pull workers from the stockhouse. Oh, yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, why not? There's nobody to run the resources to the cot. What if I just take them all off of their shit really quick and then fast track, fast track build the church? What? No! Are you fucking kidding me? They left? Why? No, you're fucking kidding me. Come on, I've never had this happen before. Why? Son of a bitch, dude. I have nobody to do anything now. Oh my god. Why did this happen? Hardest difficulty does that? Oh, I guess so. I did, uh, my successful campaigns I did on, like, normal. Whatever the normal average is. And then I got annoyed by the rating. I wish that I turned it down, because they just arbitrarily steal your shit. Which viewers left? I'm not sure. Whoever was in this house. I don't know if you remember. Oh, of course it's the fucking chicken house again! It's the fucking chicken house. Every time these chicken wielding motherfuckers don't want to get chicken. Unbelievable. Ungrateful. You know what? I could take them off of the, the wood camp, I think. I think we got enough timber. Uh, then they can go back on the granary, I guess. Wait, there's already a family in there. No, I'm gonna take them off. I, I need this church built. Like now. Come on! Oh, son of a bitch, dude. You know what? We're in a better setup. I can get those people back. I'm actually fucked. I'm actually- HOW IS THIS MORE DIFFICULT THAN STARTING IN THE WINTER?! How is that- WHAT THE FUCK?! What was the timing on that?! They just left! The second I said that, they fucking bailed! They waited for my si the single fucking syllable, and then they bailed! It is not that difficult living here. They're not even starving, they're just fucking being bitchy. Approval critically low? Yeah! Okay! What do you want from me? I can't do anything else. I'm so... What am I even... I'm set three families! I have six fucking spear militia! What am I even supposed to do now? That's a real question. What do I do now? I don't even need to build these houses. There's no point. Church level too low and marketplace cloth variety. Not enough fucking... Yeah, fuck. Okay, right. I'm taking these guys off. They're going to build that really quick. Tannery goes up and then we can start getting leather, I guess. Maybe, maybe that'll raise it. We got a church now. So that should offset the unhappiness just a little bit. I'm fucked. Boys, I'm gonna dig myself out of this hole, but we're fucked. And okay, does building the houses make them more demanding? Would waiting on the church to build homes help? Uh, nope. They will leave regardless, as long as your approval is low enough. I don't even understand why they were that unhappy. Would it have helped if I just got more berries or something? I guess I'll set up a tannery. 
and then leave these guys to sit up. There, nobody's stuck in the food stalls right now. I don't have enough people. Well, I gotta stop making firewood, which is fine. Oops. Oops. Oop. Oh my god, what is happening? What? Jesus Christ. All right. Granary. Put him back in the granary. We got one guy in the. Okay. We don't need a guy in the storehouse. That's fine. And then nobody in any of this crap. Can I just get my approval up by making extra berries? Leather. Guy in both of the things. We got plenty of food in the in the uh, in the granary. We got 44 food to Vancon. Oh my god, the bad luck. Oh, a bandit camp was sighted! Oh, goody! Ooh! That's what I wanted! Thank you, game! Very cool. Schlongton 2 is going worse than the first Schlongton. I don't understand how. How? Food is good? Food, I got 24 months of food, but apparently the variation of food isn't great. Church level is nothing. Not enough fuel on the marketplace. Not enough food variety in the marketplace. Not enough cloth variety in the market. Cloth is the, the issue, the main issue here. I need to set up a leather thing because everyone's walking around naked. Apparently, everyone's walking around naked, and that's not good enough. 27%. I The problem is I, there's too much shit for too little people to do now, and it's not like your town gets happier when there's less people. They just get sadder and sadder. Yeah, okay, it looks like cloth variety is the main issue. Because they've got everything except the cloth stall. So I need a cloth stall built. Hopefully they'll build one, but I that's out of my hands. Do I have to have somebody in the storehouse to, to, to put the resources there for them to build it? What if I take them out of the granary and put them in here? I don't care about building extra houses right now. Chill. We don't need cloth. You do need cloth. Quite literally, you need cloth. Not enough fuel in the fire. Not enough food. Not enough cloth variety. Am I seriously going to fucking fail again? What's happening? Oh, that's such... Dude. That sucks so bad that they bailed. That's so bad for us. Why would we need cloth? Because you need I, clothing variety, I guess. It's not cloth, it's tannery, it's for leather. But there's no uh, thing for it yet. It doesn't even matter. There's a food stall and a firewood stall. They have both of those things. Look at all that food variety too. All right, apparently food variety means fucking nothing. No, market food variety plus three. So it is helping. But it's not enough. I need cloth. I need a cloth bender. Oh, man. So bad. Cloth, not enough cloth. Not enough food. Fucking food. Not enough fuel. There's... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Honest difficulty, major unhappiness factors. I don't think we set that to being extremely difficult. I think that's all set on average. I'm like, I'm, I think the only difference is we made the AI aggressive and tweaked a couple of things. Yeah, they won't. They they just won't build a cart, a uh, marketplace for cloth, uh, for leather, for clothing. So the hides, I guess, are just going to the storehouse, and then they're there. The, the hides and leather. No, the the leather. I mean, leather should be going to a, a thing now, like a, a store. But they, they won't set one up, which means they're just perpetually unhappy with the fact that they don't have cloth. That seems to be a real problem. Not being able to manually build marketplaces seems to be a huge problem. Because it's kind of just up to them what they do. 
and they're complaining that they don't have stuff but they are the ones that build it I don't know, you have to wait to set up housing in the beginning well like build up resources and then set up houses so that they're not super unhappy about all the shit that they don't have you think they'd be happy to just not be fucking homeless Houses make the peasants more demanding. These fussy bitches. That would make sense. I did wait a long time to build houses prior. I wanted them to not be homeless. Is that so wrong? I guess you have the camp though for that for that starting bit. I don't want to start again though, dude. You're not leave my eggs alone, you sons of bitches! No, are they really just not gonna build this tannery thing? You need a class system only a few houses and peasants and tents. I mean, there's one per family. Yeah, I think I might be fucked because I can't I don't have enough people to do enough things to keep it functional now So it's just They're just kind of chilling on low approval until they inevitably leave For some reason they just won't Build markets damn it, dude, that's so annoying Yeah, and winter's about to hit. There's no way, dude. It's gotten worse since the start. There's, <laughs> there's no way. Approval critically low. Oh, man. Check to see if you need a cloth manufacturing building. You, you don't. So there is technically stuff like that eventually, but that's to make shoes, which is a separate clothing item. And then there's like helmets and armor stuff. So this, you got like weapons stuff, cloaks, cloths, gambesons, and shoes are all part of the uh, uh, the next echelon of clothing. Because they're commodities. Uh, like shoes, like whatever. They're not necessary, they're just commodities. They make your guys happier later down the line. But to start, you just need uh, a, cl a, a cloth. Thing, which is leather crafting materials for commodities once again Oko dies to a bug is this a bug I mean I think it just didn't go good <laughs> I didn't just didn't do it right and they're refusing to build a uh, fucking cloth thing so I just I literally can't improve their happiness they're perpetually mad that they don't have cloth but they won't build a cloth thing so I'm kind of fucked God damn it, dude. All right, I think I'm gonna do my last crack today and I'm not gonna build, I'm not gonna build a fucking, that fucking <laughs> stupid little face. All right, third Greasus. I will right, we'll put Greasus the third. Greasus, Greasus the third, Greasus three. Yeah, so present, rate of frequency, medium, strength. So standard. Oh, residential requirements demanding. Requirements triggering loss of approval are shifted by one level to be more demanding. Oh. Oh. I'm putting this unbalanced. <laughs> I'm putting this unbalanced. Balance, balance, standard, spring. I'm leaving the Aeon aggressive. Oh my god, that makes so much more sense. That's why I, w I was fucking getting absolutely ass clapped. All right, you know what? I'm gonna get a drink and then I'm gonna do this for real. Wait, do we get a good map at least? Yes, wild animals rich deposit. All right. Do you guys think about- wait, it's the same map. No way, it's like exactly the same, but slightly different layout. We're, we're even touching. 
It was meant to be. All right, so. Schlongington three. Schlongington. Oh, God damn it. What? Oh, it's too long. <laughs> of course, it's too long. <laughs> uh, Schlongberg. This one will be Schlong Schlongberg. All right, all right. This is the one. This ha this literally has to be the one <laughs> because you buy well. There's nothing else. All right, I'm gonna make the layout a little different too. Also, there's rocks right on my shaft. There's iron, a rich iron deposit right on our shaft. Screw it. All right. Oh, God damn it. It's not perfect. The longest town of all time. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is the head so... <laughs> god damn it. No! Why is it going weird shaped? Alright. All right, here we go. Oh, all my crap's over to the right. Whatever. I'm still going to build all my stuff here. Also, we've got no ball cleft this time. And that's fine. We are taintless. Now I have to add a taint. Talking about. There we go. What does it look like? Yeah, that's fine. All right. All right, so logging camp. Tain logging camp. Saw pit. I'm just going to build these ahead of time. No, because you... Ah, God damn it. Every time you build something, it gets rid of your wood. All right. Let's build the bare essentials. That, that, storehouse. Granary. Storehouse. Marketplace. Is this fucking Smash Mouth? <laughs> this is definitely Smash Mouth. Where's the parking lot, though? You mean the, the for parking carts, right? All right. Oh, crap. We need to build a well. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. All right. Good stuff. If I end up with this game on my first time, it will 100% be a uh, dick butt shaped. Oh my god. Imagine spending just a really long time making a, a beautiful outline for your city and then end up working. That's what it feels like right now. What is this song? <laughs> I want to break free. Oh, okay, alright. That sounded nuts. I'm just gonna leave, I think I'm gonna leave it on permanent fast forward. Wait, where are berries? Alright, we got wild animals and berries pretty close by. This is literally the same layout 
For sure. What do you want, dude? All right. Give me a rifle claim. Suck my medieval taint. Is the music a little bit low? I can turn it up. There we go. Alright, so fuck building houses. You guys are just gonna be homeless for a while. Exposed goods. Alright, granary, storehouse, wood. No wood critters. Cutters for now. <laughs> They're struggling with that bazooki. <laughs> this is the best cover for this I've ever heard. <laughs> it's coming out of tune. <laughs> Holy crap. That's so bad. In the best possible way. Alright, berry hut. Honey camp, berry hut. Oh crap, honey camp. Oh crap. Oh crapola. Let's build them across from each other. And before I get screwed, a tannery. Oh man. Oh, none of goods, right. Make a child sweatshop? I wish. I will take any workers I can get right now without everybody bailing. A blind or perhaps a blind did I build a well? I did. Good. Yeah, homelessness seems to be <laughs> apparently very low impact. They don't really care that they're homeless, which is kind of hilarious. I will use that. Upgrade the homeless camp. Oh, crap. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Well remembered. Also, I'm going to get some foragers. And then a hunting camp up as soon as possible. Not bad. Going good. Get our last guys there, and then we're good. Now we just need to develop resources and stuff. Get berries, get meat. No on side families to guide the, guide the ox. Do we need the ox, or is that just for wood? Or logs? Adiko, do not delete the workers camp this time. I, t I actually, the first time I played this, spent a long time and never deleted it. You have to delete it to get rid of homelessness. You have to. Otherwise, this counts as them being homeless. Like, everybody that's living in here counts as homeless. Like, all of these families. So you eventually do have to delete it and then you'll be fine, but you gotta have the infrastructure to support housing first, I guess. Jeez, these needy peasants in there requiring of infrastructure and housing. Pathetic. All right, what else? Oh, wait, I was gonna build the... Oh, I can build it there now, nice. Nobody to build it, but it's there. Wild animals have migrated? No! Oh, they moved like two feet. That's fine. It's not much of a migration. <laughs> when they move three feet north. 47% approval. 49% approval. We're going up. We're going up. We're succeeding. Oh, wait, I'm going to rename my people before I delete this camp as well. All right. What should we call them this time? Just people in chat? All right, well, we'll call them Jim. Or Jim in chat. John Mayers. 
Might as well do this in the background. Mr. Fuck! Not Mr. Fuck. Vintag, Mr. Vintag. 33. Oh, god damn it. Hands. Orhis. Orhis. Horus again. Andrew White. Can I get a woman named Chad Channington? All right. Chad Chad Dington. All right. Why not? Weird request. Free Boing. Um, Thomas H. This is this one's gonna succeed. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it in my not having the highest difficulty for for negative negative effects on your uh, settlements. Comrade, run him. Isn't that a reference to um uh always sunny? Lorgar Enrique Theorek Bartholmes? Is that Bartholomew or is that Barthomes? Alright, who chair swing? Who else wants the name? Who wants to be one of these sons of bitches? I don't quite build a church before houses, and then you should be good as long as the marketplaces are passively keeping up. Good idea. Sig Sigismund. Perkin? I think I already put you in, dog. Nope. Alright. Perkin. There we go. Alright. Our boys are set. Jim. Mr. Vintag. Boris. Comrade Rumham. <laughs> so woman, this poor woman called Comrade Rumham. Alright. Approval is at 50% and climbing. Which means I am going to build some other shit. Saw pit. Should be huge. Can I fit that in anywhere else? No. Saw pit. For making logs. I take uh, the forager hut out just for a minute. So we can build some stuff. Boney Am Rasputin. I love this song. Build three huts. But it's five families that are homeless. Why would I build three? Wouldn't it make more sense to, to bank build? The fact that they don't give a shit about being homeless, I will take versus all of the negatives that come from having um, uh, people in houses. Apparently homeless, <laughs> the homeless are happier than the non-homeless. I don't think they can benefit from anything though. Like they can't benefit from the costs and stuff. So there's no positives, but for building a foundation and generating resources and stuff and then building houses is probably a good idea. Let's get that saw pit going. Only six timber? Jeez. Alright, develop the saw pit out. Finding out Boney M are German was wild. They're German? What? I don't know why, but I assumed they were American. I don't know why. I've never heard them talk. I've never seen them in interviews. Man, that's so interesting. Good 
51%. We can't get any extra people though. Wait, we're benefiting from what? Food variety? Market food variety. All right, good. We can still benefit. All right, 10 planks. All right, where are we putting our church? It's gotta be here, right? Base of the shaft. Fifteen planks are actually really easy to make. And we're good. Alright, chill on the salt pit. And go back to berries. Get me that food variety. I need it. We need one extra family. Alright, church. Oh, damn it. It's gonna overlap with my metal. Shit. Alright, um. Let's put it in the middle. Like, what about, like, back here? Like that. I'll just, I'll connect it. Put houses here. Another ruler army was sighted. God damn it. Alright, we have nobody to build it. I already forgot what I was doing. God damn it. Oh, I put them on berries. Shit, berries could be good. I don't think we need wood right now. We've already got all the resources to build it, I think. So just... We're chilling. We're chilling. We're doing it. Purple rains will be high enough to get families coming in. Yeah, but they got nowhere to go. I'm pretty sure you need empty houses. You need plus 50% uh, approval and a bunch of houses. No! Fuck off! Dude, they just absolutely ransacked my food. My wood. Dog. Yeah, fucking bandits. What the fuck? Alright, we gotta do something. God damn it, I gotta chop fucking wood again? Uh, screw it. Alright, fuck berries. Sorry, we're taking you off berries. Berry patrol. We got a line storage? 16 in storage, that's fine. Build the church. Ugh, oh, bandits are the worst. At least they didn't have egg to steal. Eggs, though. Part way through summer. 56% and counting, though. And we once we get that church up, our approval should be, like, massive high. Okay, can we have more cat picks? Ew! You're indirectly asking for pussy images? Yeah, fuck it. I'll put one in the general chat on my Discord. Actually, I have a pets channel on my Discord now. There you go. Cats or toes? Ew! <laughs> That's I'll put ogre toe picks on my uh, ogre fans. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't connect this to the roadways at all. Fifty six percent. All right, we're going up. We're doing good. Church is almost done in a couple of seconds, and that's choice. Dope. Uh, I think we're good then. Need more people for tannery. All right, I think it's house time, right? Now it's house time. High approval ratings. Uh, I want somebody on the tannery first. Develop something on the tannery. Clothing stall. There we go. Oh my god, finally we got a clothing stall. See? Good. Now they should shut the fuck up about clothing. <laughs> god damn it. Alright, it's we got a big build bergs though. Okay, way more wood. All right, plenty of fuel. All right, we're getting there. I want to get my infantry up so we can go and attack something. I want to kill those goddamn bandits. They're right there. All right, that should be the goal for today, at least. Build up enough that we can get our spears and stuff. And then we're going to kill some bandits. Prio getting the houses up so you can boost numbers and wipe out those bandits. Yes! Let's go get our state-funded housing back. For a kind is. <laughs> Uh, I wish I could name the houses so I could just give them really shitty names. Uh, this is Imagine Dragons. Yuck. Take on me, take you. Wrecking ball. It's crazy how like actually listenable pop music becomes when it's put through like a medieval MIDI filter. All right. We just need more timbers. Timbri. 60%! Happiness, though. Plus six market food variety, three church level, cloth, cloth market supply. That clothing stalls, once you get them up, are really easy, too, as long as you keep a tannery going and the demand isn't too crazy. Plus, once I get my first per my per first point, you can get trapping and then maybe even health extraction or advanced skinning. I have so much leather though. In uh Um in my other town, but I, I built a ton of goat pastures in my houses. Eggs and goat pastures. Okay, what are the village's opium laws? Asking for a friend. Oh, I should look that up. I'm pretty sure opium not allowed. Is it did they have opium in the medieval era? I mean, they probably did, but did they know... Was it as widely used then? Alright, I think we have enough.
No, we're one off. Come on. Why is it taking so long to get wood? Here we go. All right, how's time? Bam. 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 <laughs> All right, we gotta leave the tannery alone. I could take him off meat. How are we doing for meat? We got 15 months of food. Uh, 50 meat. Yeah, we're good. Let's take them up meat for a little while, and they can build. As soon as we get these houses up, 55% rough approval rating means that we can actually get new people. Is this game, uh, multiplayer? It's giving me medieval black and white 2 vibes. Dude, I... Black and white 2 is literally pretty much my favorite RTS of all time. I would legitimately kill, like, at least six people for black and white 3 to be made. Lionhead Studios are in the dock though now. I'm pretty sure they were disp they're disbanded or whatever. I I, I think Peter Molyneux is still knocking around and he's making that new Fable game. But man, oh man, if I wouldn't cut my right arm off or my left or whatever for a new black and white game. So good, especially uh, black and white too. I love that game, dude. I wanted to stream it and I did a full install of it and then I was just like, I just want to play and I just played the crap out of it. I really should reinstall that though, as uh, figure out how to reinstall that and just do a uh, a stream of it because it's such a good game. It'd be an amazing stream game too. It'd make a good chat interaction game, I bet. You know, I think you can do this. A lot of the stuff you can in this, like rename people and all that kind of crap. Like two meat. All right, they're running the storefronts. They go to we got food, a firewood. One still going. We're good. We're good. Houses are well on their way. I don't go Phoenix Wright streams when? What's Phoenix Wright? I do not know that game, sir. Alright, I think I should delete the worker camp after it's built. I know I shouldn't, but the homelessness... I, okay, actually, I should do it if I'm suffering the negatives of these things not being here. But they've got water access, they've got a church, they have fuel, and I think a good amount of it. Fuel, 23 months. Food is good. They have a lot of food. And then clothing. I've gotten on that early, so they have enough. So they should be fine, and we should start getting new people, I hope. Objection? Oh, the court objection game. I've never played it. It looks a, like a lot of fun, though. If not a little bit, like, limited. Oh, Schlongberg. And also has a skill field later in the forest, we've given passive code. We're already getting a lot of meat. So I might go a different direction this time. Like get berry deposits early or go down the route of something else. Charcoal burning converts one firewood into two charcoal, making refueling twice as efficient. That could be good. Especially for winter coming up. Shall I just get on early and build a charcoal burner? Foreign suppliers, new building firewood car permanently. A permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of firewood as long as the region has enough regional wealth. Region does not pay the transport fee, must be placed on the marketplace. And food carts, a permanent market stall, which provides a passive income of bread as long as the region. So as long as we have enough regional wealth, we can just get firewood and bread in exchange for money. Ooh. I wonder if that's worth getting. 
What do you guys think? Just more meat, or should we go down that route and try f suppliers? Build a total of seven houses, you can get two families per month. Ooh, true. Money, money can be exchanged for goods and services. Money? I wanted a peanut. Why is the name like all weird capitalized? It's like all in uppercase except for that O. <laughs> it looks fucking nuts. Get an orchard? Increases apples, early apple harvest happens early, blah, 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 blah. New upgrade? I'm pretty sure you just build that into a house though, and it's just another food type. Three years to grow? Oh yeah, fuck that. I'm gonna try foreign suppliers, fuck it. A steady supply of of stuff sounds great and we got a little bit of regional wealth firewood and food you know what I probably should have put them there but whatever Five houses, one extra house. All right, can I or can I not delete that crap now? All right, new message. Yes, form the militia. All right, so we should have all of our weapons now. For my my spear militia, twelve, which feels higher than usual. Wait, did I get an extra? Wait, did I get an extra family? Dude, I think we got an extra family while I was in the menu. I have four assigned and two unassigned. I think I got a person. Oh shit. I think we I think we actually grew by one family. Man, we're deforesting the crap out of this though. I need to put it back on the camp soon. Wait, abandoning? Abandoned, under construction. What does it mean, abandoned? <laughs> what is, wait, <laughs> that's gonna be right. I had to step away for about 20 minutes, what did I miss? You missed the fallen birth of a working empire. Cut off for that song. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Plus one. Firewood. Negative one. Wait, oh my god. Wait, the, whoa, whoa, whoa. The exchange rate for that's way too fast. I'm gonna run out of shit so quick. Damn. I need to get some more regional wealth. You can pause it. Ah. Yeah, we'll pause that for now. Until we need it. Until I'm like low on firewood and then I can just like chuck that into the, the ringer. Alright, I think it's time to, to destroy the homelessness, right? Because that's giving me negatives. Also, I went up one family. Which means... No, I still have 12. Damn it. Where's this extra family at? Because they're not there, and there's only four buildings here. Oh, you know what? I don't think it'll show them in here. Nope, they're definitely in here. And they have new names. Bab Pig. John. Wait. 
high lander. Who else? Offensive otter. Just got here with thoughts so far. Oh crap. What I just do? I just oh my god. Game I can give my opinion on certain things. I can't give like an a review of the game, which counts as just giving a an opinion on it as a whole. Which is a little dumb, but that's just how it is. Alright, I think we're good on timber. I'm going to put these guys back on woodcutting for a little bit. And I need to put somebody back on meat. Also, I should try building my manor. Twenty lumber, fifteen rocks. Ah, oh, crap. I don't think I have anything else to build, so we'll just quickly ram that out. I don't got more houses. What? But we've got 11 living spaces and like three have, you know, families. Three, four, five, six. We got six houses. All right. Bam. Four houses. I guess the amount of houses doesn't really matter as long as they're they have enough stuff for the people living in them. The cots are still making money. They're not making money. Are they taking money still? No, I don't think that's gone down. Or maybe it has. I'm so excited for this game, Kama, to play it. She's very fun. This has got lyrics! This is literally a no vocals list. Lincoln Park in the end. Okay, why not? It starts with thou. All right, more house. All right, more house and then we're good. 68% approval. Let's fucking go. By the way, it still says we these guys are homeless entirely because of this worker camp because they reside within it, which counts as being homeless. Oh, then we just got another family. Yo, yo, let's go. I'm gonna leave them on. No, wait, I gotta put them on Hunter Camp. So then we got berries, stuff, tannery, woodcutters, logs, saw pit. Okay, now we definitely need to do houses. Oh, we're getting rich, dude. We're getting so many people. We can kill so many bandits. 14? All right, houses, uh, carts are good. Tavern is way down the line. I'm definitely losing regional wealth, despite these being paused. For sure. Ah, oh, hell yeah, I love it. How life, Papa Okoy? Uh, pretty good, dog. I just got a, uh... 
said at the beginning of the stream, but I finally moved to my new house uh, and I've been building a studio at the back of the, of the house out of this old shed. Like old kind of like small shed structure type thing attached to the house. And I made it into like a serviceable little studio area to build my PC and shit. So I'm set up. I got my own office now. I just got to put some sound. I got to put some autistic sound foam in here. Autistic sound panels, whatever they're called. Have you had a chance to try the combat yet? Yes, I have in my main campaign. I have like, I have 12 heavily armored retinue guys. I have a bunch of polearm infantry, like 25 polearm infantry, and then 20 spear militia. Okai has an ogre hut. I wish you could customize your manor down to like its shape and stuff, because it's such an important building. That'd be really fun. Alright, how are we doing for wood? Good, but I'm not gonna bail on that. Alright, we need more wood. Super bad and these things. Oh, I know I should be building. Alright, fine, fuck it. We'll pause it for a second. Oh wait, I keep turning the them on and off this as the log storage fills up. Oh, we just got another family, I think! We got we got eight families! Let's go! Well, they can run this. Love. They're already doing it. Oh my god. We're, we're developing so quickly. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, what can be done when you listen to shit and then also don't do stupid shit and also um, put the difficulty down for approval stuff. I recommend you guys put that on balance, by the way, and not on, on difficult because that it really is very difficult. Is this through the fire and the flames? Hell yeah. I gotta keep this shot fast forward. What's the game about? Um, it Manor Lords is a top-down city builder thing where you build an intricate city like if you just look over here this is my city of uh schlongberg and i've got my field area out here my manor section and then the the, the girthy main section of my um settlement and then you got like an enemy factions here in this yellow territory and you build armies and stuff with your spear militia you can run around your city, around your little town, you just develop it out, and then eventually you develop it into a functional village that can develop an army and troops, and you fight other people and stuff. Adokoi, add easy diversity to food with mix of farms, chickens, etc. to the houses, leave some houses open for crafting at higher tiers. Yeah, I'll... I'll I can always build more houses though also, but uh, I'll build uh, stuff here. I, just, I don't have any regional wealth right now So I'm trying to get my money up. I can get a lot of regional wealth by killing ba these Stinky little bandit mud. Oh wait, there's no one here Wait, did they get killed? All right, I'm gonna go loot that. Hold on. Hold on I'm gonna go loot that Hold on, I'm gonna save <laughs> I'm gonna save for anything rash. And we're gonna call it Schlong Schlongberg. Alright. So this is how you develop infantry. You send them out like this, your guys pick up their spears and their shields. They get prepped. And you send them to their objective. And we're gonna send them down the road. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the the militia part of it, like the mini, like whatever. And it looks really nice, see? It has very heavy Kingdom Come Deliverance style vibes. 
Damn, look how pretty that vista is. What is this building? Oh, it's my stonecutter camp. <laughs> oh, we're going this way. So they'll be on their way. And while they're on their way, we'll be building up our town that is at 70% approval. Yes. And also we need stone. So I'm going to drop a family into here really quick while we have no buildings. And then fast forward that shit, which means we should be getting timber and planks. I can take these guys out. Put them on logs. And then switch them back to salt pit when I need them. Like now. Take them out of here. Wait until that log storage is built. Take them out. They go back to there. Let's see how the militia are doing. Are they there yet? They're almost there. They're in the midfields. Going to the objective. I'm pretty sure the bandits have abandoned this location or been killed because they're not here. Now, they could be hiding, which would really suck because 16 militia are not bad, but still. Loot goblin deployed. All right, you know what? We're gonna we're just gonna run. Get there quick. Hopefully, we won't get ambushed. Yes! Gimme, 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 gimme. Get in there. Take it. Steal it. Yes! All right, here we go. So send resources to the nearest town. And now we have 212 regional wealth. And we can send our guys back to the village. I'm just going to let them run because screw it. They're probably not going to fight. So we just picked up a lot of regional wealth there, which is great because now we can go to these locations and chickens. For example, because we got 160. And then we can go... Go shed a small source of hides. So screw it, why not? They won't have like a full committed uh, thing to them as well because they're not artisans, which is a thing later on. But we are rich. Filthy, stinking rich. All right, we got to figure out where the rest of these stinky, disgusting son of a bitch bandits are, and then murder them. I refuse to let these guys live. I guess I'm just gonna keep this homelessness for a while. Apparently they do not care if they're homeless. And it frees up more of my, my building, so why not? And we can use that regional wealth. Wait, did I just get another jump of regional wealth? I got 330 now, and I just spent a bunch of it. Thy treasury overfloweth, my lord. It really does. 79%. Oh, we're so happy. Oh, these are almost all... Oh, wait, yeah, okay, they're right. I'm gonna take them off the planks as soon as they have 20. All right, there we go. Then we just leave them on woods. And take them off logs for one second, let them build these, and then we can go back to it. And then we can get our mana. Once we get 15 rocks, 15 stone, and 5 logs. Nice, nice. We got goats. Oh, these guys are back. So we can disband them and then go back to work. Hell yeah. <laughs> it sounds like these guys are singing. It's kind of disturbing how well this fits this game. Don't forget to disband the militia. Code. I did, I did, I did. Have you played Dawn of Man? It's similar to Bandlord except Ungabunga. I have uh, 
A friend of mine was playing it the other day. Um, so I, I saw it a little bit. It, it seems like a good game, but just very old. Oh, crap. Do you think it's worth making another goat thing? How we doing on hides? Oh, a lot. We're good. Oh, you know what would be good to get now, actually, would be Forester Hut. Uh, just as soon as we have enough timber. Oh, we just got another family! Let's go! Nine! Nine families. That wasn't me speaking German. A new family started moving in. Should we, we just get 10? Dude, 70. Oh, we're getting. We're growing at an exponential rate. Just give me a hammer and some we just got two full families in the space of like 10 seconds. What do we even do now? Well, we can double up on logs. Get a forester going. Just to see. What, what's with our timber? All right, we're gonna stack timber for a minute. Work area is empty. Ah, it's winter. All right, well, we can take them off. Hopefully we have a lot of berries saved up. 55, let's go. Keep somebody on the woodcutter thing. Saw pit. I'm good for now. Meat. Damn, our cup overfloweth. All, right, all these are filled up. We're just down on these. Apparently, for some reason, keeping this homeless shelter is fine. Which is wild. They're not even using these houses, which is, for some reason, massively beneficial. God, I wish I kept the worker... I might just build a worker camp in my other campaign. Because that's crazy. 77%? They're so happy. We're excelling. Maybe we can actually go attack that dude. Let's fast forward, get some timber, and build a manor. The manor building stuff is interesting because you can give manors walls and towers and all sorts of crap. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? Manor at the head of the thing? Right in the middle? I think right at the middle, looking back like this. Yes, and then if you want you can build like gates. How about this? You do that Like so And we build it Yeah Yeah, and then there if I can oh This is a buff. <laughs> Why is this a buff? What's happening? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, did, did that just delete my fucking wall? No, it's still using all of the wood. Can I get that back? No. Oh, son of a bitch. Whatever. Okay, apparently I deleted the wall. Whatever, we'll come back to that. Dope. Village got circumcised? What do you mean? We got a man of the head of the snake. Just popping by. I hope you have a fantastic stream and everybody watching had an amazing day. You too, dog. How wholesome.
Party Rockers in the manor tonight. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. You know what? We could be gathering good iron here for trade, maybe. Iron being right there means that we'll be able to get a lot of iron since it's rich. Like, when we can make weapons, we're going to be able to make serious weapons. Because we can build a bloomery and all sorts of crap. Especially with how well it's going. 10 things, 80% and counting. Hell yeah. And we would only need to get two small houses up to the next level. Man, what is the... Where are they getting wood from? Oh, they've like deforested this whole area. That's why. Yeesh. See, that's why you need a forester hut. It starts to get more and more difficult to get wood. I tell you what. Will be a good idea. Limiting their ability to chop down certain places. So, I think it's advanced, yeah, limit work area, and then you can be like, uh, work in this bit. And then, crap. All right, force her up, nice. That's the Pirates of the Caribbean theme. <laughs> Dude, boats in this game will be cool. Also, like a feudal, Jap uh, feudal Japan mod for this game will be cool. Like way, you know, along the line. Oh, more houses. Amazing. Our cup literally runneth over. Well, Actually, I'm running out of shit for these good things, the stuff for these guys to do. How much stone we got left? All right, we don't need stone. I think we're probably good. Oh, 19 stone? Yeah, you know what? Dog, I don't even know what to put these guys on. Bloomery, Smithy. Stop making metal for weapons and shit? Okay, can we go to war? Uh, I hope so. We're getting a lot of people very quickly. Oh my god, we got another one! <laughs> Dude, let's go! We're actually going very quickly. Like, kind of scary quickly. Like, I might run out of houses quickly. We're gonna have to build some more houses. Like, now. Like, right around here. We're also getting a lot of wood, which is good. I'm gonna leave that on the triple, the double wood thing. I'm gonna put a family in the forester's hut, though. So they can start... Growing all this back. Build more houses in the shaft. Oh, crap. I forgot about shaft houses. There's plenty of spots for houses. We're good. Oh, 
I want to build the houses mostly near the, the marketplace. Also, once our manor is built, we get a custom retinue of dudes, which I definitely want to do. You basically customize your little retinue of guys, and you get given five out of the gate, and you can keep buying them or upgrading them with resources. I wonder when that guy's army's knocking around. Also, there's like no bandits. Apparently. I can't believe how well this town's going. This is going better than my normal one. <laughs> it's my actual regular one that's like on the same difficulty. Doc, we're unstoppable with this. They don't even care that they're homeless anymore. I guess nobody's living here, maybe? They have to be. I mean, some of them are definitely living there because they have the spears and shields for the militia in there. Which means that's their home. And you fa another fucking family?! And you even started in winter? I'm pretty sure we started in the summer on this one. Although, narratively, I'm just going to say we started in the winter, because it makes this look even better. Oh, the manor's almost done! Nice. Manor customization would be very, very good. Like, further manor customization? I'm sure they're going to do it, but... Another dude, we're unstoppable. Wait, family joined one of the settlers. Oh, okay, that's just the stud, which they moved into a house, right? I don't even know what to put these guys on at this point. Oh, you know what? Upgrading the granary and the st oh, the storehouse is almost full. Yeah, we gotta get that upgraded. Uh, ten. Stop it. Nice. I hope the tip burns off. That's really messed up to say. Why would you say that? So mean. Come on, build that crap. Build that crap. Did you seriously just carry a single rock over here, you douche? Oh, here they come. Here they come in times 12 speed. Let's go. Build it, build it. Yes. We unlock policies. We got our manor. We can have a castle planner too, so we can build our whatever. All right, and then... All right, we can build a terror. I'm assuming they'll go to the gate, so just... Here? All right, and you can close that and build it later if you want. You just open the castle planner again and then build your crap. Commit to it. But, the cooler thing is we now have a retinue. And we can rename them and customize them. What should we call them, guys? What should our five boys be? Our town, our, our boys, our main men, our fellas. Hmm. The Schlongers. Huh? Dick Defenders. Schlongers. Schlongers is pretty good. Or like... The Schlonger Guard. The Schlonger Guard? Jackson 5? There's gonna be more than 5. Eventually we're gonna have 12. The Sweet Kissers. That's pretty good. 
The Schlongman. The Schlongerman. I like the Schlongerman. And we can individually customize them and or upgrade them once we get the stuff for it. So we can buy locally to upgrade our stuff. Also, we can make them wear different stuff. I kind of want them to have funny cone heads. And dress in PP yellow. I like that. Also, this one has a dope ass looking. Cool. Then we got this guy, Jorg. We name them. Oh, we can name them individually. All right. This has got to be people in chat that are big boys. Actually, no, let's name, let's give them names. Let's give them like big, strong names. Hognuts. Call friends. Ew. Bulk Brogan. Yeah, Bulk Brogan will be one. Bulk Brogan. This will be Bulk Brogan. Next, we will have this guy with a um, sword funny outfit, funny PP jacket, and then PP shield. Yellow on yellow on yellow. I like the big PP shield. Then X's are cooler than. Ooh, the chainmail looks good. All right. And then this guy will be Jorg the Flaccid. Mega Peasant. Archaeon. Boy Seaman. Looks like a Bob for sure. Bob the Eviscerator. How do you spell Eviscerator? Eviscerator? How about... Oh my god. Uh, how about Bob with two O's? Kronk is pretty good. Alright, I'm calling him Bob. Wait, like, what? I think it's censored. No way you can't put boob because it's censored. Oh, you can put boob. Alright, next we got this guy. Oh, I'm keeping that hammer. Pink jacket looks good. All right, I like the pink jacket. I want his cone hel head helmet. There we go. Herman. Mitch the Ditch. Moobs. Moobs is the name for him. Wait, where's a relic around his neck? What do the other guys do have? Comes from a peasant family. Who does it? Boob traveled to many sacred sites. Uh, and then where's a relic around his neck? What's the relic? Vermin. Ratman. Let's call him Ratman. We got this guy. I like the big jacket. We got so many guys with two-handed weapons. This is awesome. Big, wacky cleaver man. I like the big curvy boy. All right, this guy's gonna have a big piss jacket. Big pee pee jacket. And then I want to have them all in matching cone hats. I think. Cone head. Cone head. Cone head. Oh, I already did this the same thing with this guy. Half pink, half PP jacket. He doesn't even look pink. Yeah, right, that's fine. And then last guy. Another polearm guy? Dude, awesome. So we have four polearm guys and one obsessed with cleanliness. Alright, we'll call him. Jean Parmesan 
That's so French. All right, how about Boris the Clean? Boris, what's a B word for clean? Boris the Wiped? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, God damn it, you gotta click answer. Boris the Fresh, Freshly Wiped. Nice. And, ah, oh, God damn it. Tormented by the sins of the past. Oh, jeez. Boris the Bathed? Oh, that's good. What do you guys think? Boris the Freshly Wiped or Boris the Bleached? Boris the Bleached. I like Bleached. Boris the Bleached Boy. All right. We have Boris the Bleached Boy. This guy who will be... Um... PTSD man. PTSD Ron. All tormented by the sins of his past. We got PTSD Ron, Boris the Bleach Boy, Rant Man, Boob, and Bulk Brogan. Sounds pretty good squad to me. So I'm gonna give this guy a slightly different outfit. This one in PP color. Do we have any other guys with that? No, he's unique. All right, cool. And then we'll give him a... God, that weapon. these weapons are so cool! That one. Spear leave thing. Nice. Pinhead? They're all pinheads. They're all cone heads. Now we gotta tell him a pot. All right, cool. And we can also buy more of them when we get a bit more money. And if we go wipe out another uh, troop of bandits, as soon as bandits pop up, they're dead. Second we see bandits, boys, we go and kill them. Oh, it shit, it's paused. We can also call out these fellas whenever we want. So we can be like this. Let's see the boys in the flesh. It's the boys. Look how cool they look. I love these uh, pole arms so much. I want to start making pole arms as soon as we can. I just have like 80 units of pole arms. Pretty good. The cone squad. Only one guy brought a shield. We got the Schlungerman. Sounds pretty, seems pretty good. Oh, this is the Schlungerman when they're not working. God damn, PTSD Ron really is tormented by the sins of his past. He's just leaving. <laughs> Hulk Brogan, Ratman, Boob, and Boris the Bleach Boy. Nice. The boys. Squad looks sick. Well, once we get more money, too. We have a lot of uh, regional wealth, but we don't have much. We have no treasury, which means as soon as bandits show up, which will hopefully be soon. Wait, how many? The plus three, I think, is how many extra houses we have. So once we get these three built, we'll be good. Alright, we got a guy planting trees, triple logging camp going, 28 timber right now, we'll take one of those off. Our burgage plots are getting built real fast. Oh, dog! Look how fast these are getting built, let's go! But then on high priority, because the more houses we get, the more potential families we get. And then I want to stop building metal too, so we'll put these on high. Especially with the amount of people that we're getting in. I think we definitely afford it. How are we doing for food? Only eight months of food, though. Chickens. Chickens. I don't see the benefit to upgrading your houses so far.
I don't want to chase away my people by making them make more ch more egg, but eggs seem to be a good way of getting vari uh, variations in food. And we're getting a lot of people very quick. Berries, bread, berries might be running low, maybe. Nope, we got a dude. We got so much. Okoy, will you travel across the map to beat some bandits? Yes, I will migrate to kick some bandit ass. It's just there's no camps on the map right now. Unfortunately, there's not enough bandits to kill. Which sucks. Oh wait, I need to start taxing. All right, 10% tax. That's going to make people unhappy, but we do need to start earning treasury. Actually, no, there's no point because it'll make them unhappy and I won't gain anything because you only get taxes from uh, level two burgage plots. I think. I might be making that up. I don't go ahead, try and evade the other faction. Ooh. Yeah, well, let's build up a little bit first. Like, I want to get my smithy up and running and a bloomery and all that crap. Right? We want to get some good armaments before we go and invade. Wait, what was that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Abandoned camp was sighted. Yes! How far are they? They're right there! Let's kill them! All right, we're going to kill them. It's bandit slaying time, boys. All right, how many we got? We got 20 spear militia and 5 schlungermen. Let's deploy the boys. What do you guys think? Deploy the boys? Amass the army? We're amassing the army. Let's go. What are they building right now? I got three unassigned. Na -na 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 -na. Alright, we're getting a good amount of planks on the side too, which is nice. Herb garden could be good for Wait, did they move? No, the the animals will eat the berries. All right, well, we're coming out of... We're in February now, so we're about to come out so I can get my berries back. So that's something. More houses. More houses. Just fill up this whole area with houses. New message. Raiders near. We've received reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby land. Should we track their steps? Oh shit! It's wartime. Uh ooh, I don't know which one to do. 365 days. That's big. I forgot we were on aggressive. That's huge. Anyway, let's go to this camp. No running. Alright, my big boys, I think, are gonna be the flankers, and then. The main forest, I guess, will be my hold. So I'll put them in stand your ground and then flank around with the Schlungermen. And the Schlungermen will slam into their ass. Sound good, guys? Okay, still streaming after my meetings. Must be my birthday. I am just streaming because I'm enjoying the crap out of this game. And also, I have no prior commitments today, only content. Watch him lose. Don't say that, man. Don't jinx my sh my stuff. All right, everything's going well. I'm gonna put two on the fire.
Also, I definitely need to bank the uh, money, the this bandit money into my treasury because we have a lot of stuff we need to buy with that. And potentially we can hire some mercenaries uh, for when we get attacked. So when we know they're going to be close, we can hire the flock of crazy geese. The ravenous vultures are the green caps. Empire rework looks great. This is not the Empire ring, you know that. Alright, build the metal up. It is time. A new family moved in. Yes! Let's go. Alright, build all these houses. We'll have plentiful house. How far are we? Okay, they barely moved anywhere. They're not going that far, though. How many bandits are we looking at? Ooh, that's a lot, I think. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. 16 that I can count there. So 16 versus our 20 Spear Militia plus 5 of the Schlunger men. Adokoi, can you hire some Ogre Mercenaries to help you? That would be awesome. I, as far as I understand, they're going to be adding in cavalry. What the, 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 what the hell? What the, the battle brothers? Oh my god, they got like armor and stuff. Oh, damn. Yeah, these are actual spearmen, not just militia. I gotta be careful of that. Because that might be what's attacking me, and that's scary. Da -da 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 -da. All right, looks like meat's going all right. I'm gonna double up. Hey guys. Oh wait, we're in March, which means I'm gonna bot. I'm gonna get the herb garden upgrade and put people on it. Oop, crap. So we can stop people from getting sick. We got a herb garden now, and some people on it to go and get. Berries? Oh, they're growing. There's actually zero. Oh, man. Whatever. They'll collect them when they can. Oh, Bloomery's up. We need this up more than anything. Apparently, we're still homeless and still trucking. Also, because things are going well, I'm gonna fucking save our Schlongberg game. All right. Oh man, only 39% effectiveness. Let's look at the Schlungerman boys. Man, they look tired. Doing good though. They will taste blood. Enemy blood. Oh, are they? Oh, they're marching through my lines, good. Alright, I think I might- is it- do you guys think it's time for me to upgrade two of my buildings to get the perk? Just two of them? The problem is the requirements for the upper houses will drag down my happiness until I have like a brewery and stuff like that. So I'm a little worried about that. Although it worked last time when I upgraded them so I could get my perk point and then I just like descaled the houses. But I, I need to create a blacksmith so I can get weapons. Because you need an artisan to make blacksmith stuff. Hey, okay, how are you finding the game? Um, I'm not allowed to give a, uh, like a review and I'm a little worried about, and sort of like hazy on the exact specifications of what that means. So I, I can't give you like a do or do not buy, but what I will say is that I am enjoying 
the military part of the game. I'm enjoying the city building part of the game. I think the game is beautiful visually, as you can see. I think it's well optimized um, and other things also. So you can make your own summation. But I do enjoy a lot of things about this game. <laughs> Reporting to the desk for giving out opinions. Stop it, guys! I don't go. I left for 90 minutes, work meetings, and now I'm back. How many times did you restart while I was gone? Three? Uh, Schlongberg, the first Schlongberg did not go so great. Oh, shit, 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 Hold, 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 hold. Hold, hold, hold. Uh, the brigands are coming. The brigands are coming. All right, prepare, prepare, prepare. All right, get into position. All right, so we need to sit for a little while. I'm going to put these guys on stand your ground. 104% effectiveness. These guys are only at 57% effectiveness, but that should be rising quickly as they're resting. These guys are moving, so hopefully that'll be a little bit... No, 101%. All right. Oh, I don't think I stopped in time. Oh my god, our first fight! Oh, jeez! Oh, boy! Oh, Bazinga! Oh, they have cool-ass clubs. I want some of these studded clubs. It's basically just a studded baseball bat. I tell you what, let's move here slowly. Oh, it looks like they're charging. They're charging, they're charging, they're charging. All right, let's get around them. Schlongerman, flank! Schlongerman, flank! Alright, prep, prep, hold, hold. 38% effectiveness, why? Alright, hold, get your stamina back. They're only at 98%. 78%, 79%, and charge! Get in there, boys! Yeah! Look at them go! Get them, Schlongerman, you're dueling over here on the side. Come on, I, I don't remember. What's this guy's name, guys? I don't remember. Get him! Beat his ass! Fuck him up! Kill him! No, 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 no! Come on, he's gotta win. He's wearing armor and everything. Oh! Ah, oh, come on, you got this with your funny hose and... He's, he's beating the crap out of him. Come on. No. Oh! Yeah! Oh, get you! <laughs> Woo! He got him. We didn't lose a single guy. Massive W. Massive W. Not a single man down. We are infinitely effective. Hell yes. Decisive victory, boys. Actual decisive victory. Unstoppable, untenable. How's the village doing? We're doing good. No homelessness issues, apparently. Despite that still being a thing right here. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. Shameful display. Our men are running from the battle. All right. Total War be like close victory. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And I love Total War. Are we at policies available? I don't think any of them are that good. Wait, actually, I think they will be good. Wild animals enriched the deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% less yields from crops. So we should have that on right now. Because there's no re we, we don't have any crops. So we're not waiting on that for anything. What are you doing here? Gerhaws. What are you doing here? Are you coming for a communal? What are you going in our night house for? What, 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 what was that about? The hell was that about? Jorg? You guys are suspect. Why are they not building this? Ah, oh, there we go. They needed a log. 
All right, construct, 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 and bam! Get one of our guys in there. Uh, another ruler's army was sighted. Yeah, 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 they're here on that their territory, whatever. Oh, all right, here we go, and access the bandit camp. Yeah, sire. All right, we get this now. Belong to my treasury now, and we got 135 in our treasury. That's not a lot, but that that's a start. That's a start. That's enough that we can, if we need to, hire mercenaries. So we could hire the Ravenous Vultures, which is a, a full army of light swordsmen. Uh, or we could hire some or some archers, spearmen, and then infantry, or some archers and two units of infantry, or whatever. 90. Yeah. Get the lead belchers. Hmm. If you could get monstrous units in this, that would be kind of amazing. All right, we gotta send the boys back. We gotta bring the boys back. Perfect this. Wait. Destroyed windmill? Disabled? Can you, like, rebuild these things? That's kind of a really cool little change. Like, actually being able to use the, the bits of rubble buildings that are on lands. Turn them into shit. Adelcoy, will you make an ogre mod? I am i wouldn't make an ogre mod, but I would definitely play one. If somebody made a Warhammer reskin for this game. You know? Alright, so a smithy... Uh... God, they are really slow on the building, by the way. Maybe we need a second ox cart. That actually sounds like a good idea. Get another hitching post down. Uh, here. We can, we can afford two, actually. Why not? I want to get us our blacksmithing up like really fast though. We can rebuild. We got the technology. 345 days, then we get attacked. It's gonna be spooky. One year it goes very quickly in this game, surprisingly. Where's the Bretonian Knights? Uh, they are riding in Cav, so eventually they will be in. I'm pretty sure they're riding Cav anyway. Like eventually. Unless I was lied to posthumously. Nice, nice. All going well. Yeah, I might... Uh, I'm so on the fence about upgrading these to level 2. Because unlocks new extensions, including artisan, uh, artisan workshops, uh, residential requirements will increase. So basically, it the requirement for the stuff to maintain a happy society goes up, at least for these two houses. Like, they'll want a brewery and, like, for, uh, multiple types of food and all this other crap. But I'll be able to make um, blacksmith, which will allow me to make uh, tools, spears, sidearms, and stuff like that. So if I build a, two blacksmiths, or one blacksmith at least, or a blacksmith at a bower's workshop... And then I can start making infantry stuff, like like tools for infantry. Like pole arms are the best in my opinion, because it's planks, planks and iron, and then you get an infantry unit that's just good at killing things, and you don't need shields and also weapons. But they don't have shields, so they're weak to archers. You just need to find a pond with a lady distributing swords. I don't want. I don't want some watery bints throwing to, uh, watery. I can't remember the quote. God damn it! Watery tart through a sword at you.
The triumphant return of the boys. I'm so proud of these guys. Not a single man down. We have an extra 12 dudes as well. So if we can make polar polar militia and archers, I think that would be a good good move. They're not near. Raiders near, prepare for the attack. Oh yeah, they're near. They'll be here in, in, a, in a short and speedy entire year from now. It's cool that they give you um, time, though. Nice. Take some hard-earned rest, fellas. What do you guys think? Should we risk it and just build two of those buildings? We can get another uh, uh, development point, which we can put into something. Maybe heavy plows or... Oh, basic armor making might be good. Enables production of helmets. After uh, unlocking advanced armor making and master armor making, enables the production of male armor and plate armor. So we can build a blacksmith and then a basic armor maker. What do, you think, what do you guys think? We might need cloth for that, though. They spell what? What wrong? There's a couple of typos here and there. I feel like heavy plowing is probably a better bet. Alright, screw it. Requirements not met. Why are the requirements not met? Food stall supply? Is this not connected to the roads or something? Ah. I think that might be why. That has to be why. Why are they not getting... Everybody else is. Just this guy. Okay. Weird. That kind of sucks though, because I wanted to turn these two into uh, to other stuff. Whatever. Screw it. Let's upgrade this. Let's upgrade this bitch. So I don't know what else they're working on that they're not working on the smithy. Did I get him to change lanes to do some other bullshit? Forget. If they're still- I have these paws, man! What? We love heavy plowing. Oh, true. Truing. Oh, hitching posts, right. That was it. Uh, another ox. And... Oh, I can't get another one. Ew. Massive L. Alright. I guess check back in 30 days and I'll get a third ox. Alright, Smithy's done too. Smithies are not that useful though. From what I understand, they're... They make tools, I think. They just make tools. Yeah, they use iron slabs to craft tools. And that's it. So, this is what we, we need the bloomery going on. Bloomery make, honey pick make ore, ore make into bloomery for make iron, iron and, uh, iron and planks make Man, how do I only have five planks? I think they might have run out of trees and shit. I think there's an issue with the logging camp. Uh, I'm gonna take them off the limit. Unlimited work area. Hopefully that'll help. And they'll just pick whatever they can. Oh good, you have uh, you have charcoal yet? No. I have 141 firewood though. 
We have enough for only nine months. Wow. I guess because we got so many houses. No, and we don't have charcoal burning yet. Yeah, they're really slipping on logs. I feel like this is bugged, right? Like they're the same distance from everything else. All right. Blacksmith's workshop, it's gotta be. See, I had this issue with my other campaign where they just wouldn't produce planks no matter what I did. I just couldn't get them to do it. Uh, I think I assign I think I manually assigned livestock to it. And then that fixed it. Move log clamp camp closer. What? They seem to be fine. There's just like not enough pitch, not enough oxes to get all of the logs around required for building and shit. All right, so we got a blacksmith, so I can have him start producing full arms. But you need, oh god, yeah, I'm in exactly the same spot where I don't have planks. Ugh, and sidearms require a shield, which means I need a shield blacksmith. Like a shield maker. I'm just gonna have to make pole arms. And then as soon as I get figure out how to get planks, I'm good. There you go, now they're getting logs. So that should turn into a... Uh, Thanks. Yeah, we're good. We need a donor for plankton. <laughs> Wanting a dono just to hear plankton's goofy voices is, is hilarious. Twenty-seven iron slabs. Let's go. Oh, our medieval production line is going swimmingly. All right, do we have any spears yet? Yep. Currently zero pole arms. Whatever. I'll leave that on. Retainer. Wait, 17? I've only got 17. Recruits missing. Oh, another family. Nice. Oh, there we go. Can upgrade that to level 2 now. Sick. God, look how good this looks. This looks like a legitimate, like, housing area. It's so well done. It's actually so insanely well done. I love how the houses work. And then you upgrade them, they turn into wooden houses. You get a little bit more more steez going on. This one still has like a weird roof. Oh no, that's a level, that's because that's a little, yeah. So like, this is the level two houses. Look at the shininess from the rain. Ah, oh, this game is so graphically nice. I like how this game sped up is looking like a time lapse. It's super satisfying for building as well. When you have a lot of people that are available for building and you're just building everything at once. Nice. All right. 
We're back to our good production of planks. Yeah, see, assigning a car, an ox, just fixes it. And now we got a spare ox too. You can assign an ox to the uh, logging camp permanently. Nice. All right. There we go. We're more functional, and there's, they're not all super pissy because of the lack of everything else. So they want a tavern, an upgraded church. At least a small stone church. Getting ahead of this and upgrading our um, church could be good. If there's no downside to upgrading our church, and it'll provide hopefully more happiness just because of the church level flat out, even for level 2 buildings. And we only need 10 um, clay. Clay pot, 10 uh, clay furnace stuff. Where's the clay thing? Oh man, that's really far away. All right. God, we're so functional. All right, it's clay time, I think. Clay mine. Fuck it. My priority. Already got a pathway that goes to it. Man, this game is has satisfying oh another family <laughs> we're getting so big we might actually be legitimately ready for these raiders at this rate and okay play the house books oh the fucking music stopped oh it just paused the playlist it's playing the real slim shady amazing amazing Okay, how long till the raid? Uh, 288 days. And I'm gonna give it another save because I am paranoid. All right, we got good iron going, plenty of iron slabs on the move. I might actually double up on storehouse. Oh crap. We gotta up, update that, like, now. That's why there's no storage left. I completely forgot to upgrade the storehouse. Uh, how's our granary doing? Nah, we're not even close. So many families living in the balls. That's where families live. Families are stored in the balls. Literally. <laughs> Families are literally stored in the balls. Alright, we can upgrade this as well. Cobbler's workshop will be good, then we can stop producing shoes, and all that's required is leather, so that's an easy way of getting that for level 3 houses. Or I can start producing bow stuff. What do you guys think? Bows or shoes? Shoes are good. Because we do need that. So one of the requirements, look, is level 2 clothes. And we can just make shoes for that. Bows, though, would, I guess, give us... I don't know what you require to make bows, though. I was told that war bows are crazy. Alright, screw it. Let's make a bow. Let's make a Fletcher shop. Wait, who wanted to be a Fletcher? I feel like somebody wanted to be a Fletcher. Wait, what did I just... High prio? I shrugged off the mining pit for something else and I forget what it was. Oh yeah, storehouse. It was the storehouse.
Dude, this society is so absolutely cracked. 78% approval. God, we're, we're such a good town full of people. All right. So we could go down the, the route of armor making or plowing so I could get stuff for beer and whatever. What do you guys think? I'm either going to go plowing or armor, I think. Plowing? Armor, armor, plow, plow. I'm, I'm actually gonna go plowing because farming would be really good and farming, all, all, uh, having a nice sh farming setup on, a, on our shaft would be really good. We'll put it low priority. Oh no. Oh no. All the lands are bad. Oh, the lands are really bad. Looks like this is the best place for one over here. We're gonna have to build outside the balls. Damn, the shaft is not a good place for, for a farm, it turns out. Screw it. I'll put on low priority for now. And I'm gonna create a couple of fields ahead of time. About one Morgan. Two Morgans? Yo, sir, that's one too many Morgans. I right, will create one there. That can be... Wheat for bread. I feel like barley is more valuable right now. And then also flax for cloth. God, that the fertility is so bad for barley. Like, I might as well... Not. <laughs> That's so bad. That's really bad. 16% for Bali. We might have to just make wheat just because it's the only thing we can. Damn it. Farm in the taint. Could farm in the taint. We could do taint farming. I don't think we're going to farm anything that we want out of the taint, though. I think that's going to be mostly gross things. Oh, we're up to three polar militia. Exciting. The Fletcher shop's ready. Which is a... Does it just make bows? I don't... I can't do anything to it. I, it doesn't even show me, like, the... Wait, did, did this get a Fletcher? Fletcher shop. What? Armaments? That's, that's their armaments. Market supply. Dude, what? Can you take over next to you? I can, but I'm I'm building up to survive the raid. And then we'll go we can go and attack Austin Huftston. And then Selbits. And whatever else. Ooh, also, we could up upgrade our Schlongen guys. What do you guys think? Okay, so here's the choices. We could either recruit an another man at arms for 50, keep our money for mercenaries, or spend just a little bit to upgrade one of our guys to like big heavy armor. Which I think I'm going to do. Oh, it looks slightly different. All right, what else can I... Oh, definitely that. And then... Oh, look at that. Actual helmet. Let's go. Can I do... Hmm. Keep this guy in pick. Not bad. This looks doofy to me. This is a, like... I don't know why slightly less goof goobery. Who you call him Pinhead? What do you guys think, Bassinet or Hound Skull? Bassinet or Hound Skull? Or funny weird cap? I guess we could. 
Ratman looks like the kind of guy that would wear a hound skull. Slightly rat's rat shaped. And that leaves us with enough money still to uh, hire mercenaries when the time comes. Oh, you can hire them for just 30? Brigands. Ah, that's why. Two small units of brigands. A large pack of baddies. <laughs> led by the biggest and the toughest of them all. That sounds like the fucking mall. That sounds like my clan in Bannerlord. Just a bunch of brigands. Led by <laughs> a big fat guy. The Wayward Sons. Ooh, heavy mercenary archers. And they're only 45? Paid up front for each month of service. Right, so you only get them for a month. Yeah, let's save for mercenaries. That sounds cool. When we get attacked, we can uh, save up money and then hire mercenaries right before they attack us. Grimgore? Orcs? That, they're basically orcs. Or ogres. The biggest and the baddest. Oh wait, the biggest and the baddest, the meanest. Yeah, you're right, that is Grimgore. That's quite literally Grimgore. I'm gonna get more chicken coops. Because our egg supply is dwindling. According to our food thing, it's not- oop, oh, shit. According to our food thing, it's not great. So we got lots of meat, lots of berries, no vegetables, no eggs. Bread would be good. So if we get this whole field thing going, we'll have one, one year of fallow, one year of wheat, crop rotation, keep an eye crop rotation, high value. This can just be low, but I think we've there's nothing else for us to build. And we, we know how to plow now, so. Are there sieges in the game? I don't even think there's enemy buildings right now. The only, the closest thing to a siege is, I think when the enemy attack your city, you fall back to your manor, and uh, you can go into your little fort thing like this. Because it says here that the outer tower provides 10 garrison space. Garrison units and villagers shoot projectiles at, at uh, approaching enemies. And then there's like garrison tower, increases the maximum retinue size by 12. Limited to one per region. Oh, wait, so I could put my retinue from 12 dudes to 24 guys. That sounds amazing. Your retinue is your strongest unit, so... And then your walls, which, uh... Kite enemies to you, I guess? I think you can build... You can keep building them out as well, like this. And... Ooh, can you build them just straight out? Too far from other mo modules. Okay, so you have to build it in this little region. Okay. But we could put two towers in, like that, and then when they come to attack us, hopefully all of our peasants will just shoot the crap out of them. Build a maze. <laughs> just build like the worst, blockiest crap ever. I think it would stop your guys from getting in. Also, if we get some more planks, we can commit to this, because this isn't actually that much to build. The problem is right now, our planks are being used for... Let's double up on the saw pit. Get some extra planks. Mining pit is finished, which means we can get... Oh, a new family started moving in. Let's go. Oh, wait. They started moving into the Fletcher shop. Ah, the Fletcher shop didn't have anybody in. Maybe that's why I have no options for bowyers. Did they just stop making bows then? I don't understand. What if- what happens if I just put archer? War bows. Or crossbows eventually, that's cool. Only six pole arms right now, but we're built- we'll go in there. Can't find a storage, excess weapon storage. Wait, what? Can't find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. Right here. With- with 2,500 slots in it. Oh, the stonecutter camp is full. Why are they not moving it? Eh? Do I need a closer storehouse? I don't understand. It's got 65 stone in it. Is it like per thing? Uh... 
Nope. I do not understand. Oh, maybe we need another guy on the storehouse. To start, like, bringing stuff. Oh, crap. Uh... Gangster's Paradise. Yeah, I should take people out of the stone thing, actually. I don't need any more stones. We have two, 124 stone, and we've kind of run out of storage anyway. So, screw it. And you, to put that into context, I only need 10 to build everything up for this, like, thing. A lot of planks, though. I <laughs> regret its location so much. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. Come church upgraded? No, the church is not upgraded. That would be a good idea, though. We needed... Ah, that was it. We needed 10... We need this building, the clay furnace, to, to build, um, right. Well, I just took them off the stone cutter. Can I put them on here, maybe? Made another firewood stall. I don't understand how this, uh, warbow crap works. It does the, like a Fletcher... It said that a Fletcher could make bows, right? But there's no crafting menu, there's no requirements. It's just there. I don't even know what I need. Do I need cloth? Do I need like string? Like cloth to make string? I like I don't know. Honest Oop. No, but I need planks. Sheesh. Looks like you need a tavern at a church level two. Now that will drag down my approval rating a little bit, but because it's not got an exclamation mark over it, it's not ne uh, necessary. It's a requirement for leveling up to a level three building though. So I need like shoes making. So I need to make like a cobbler and all that kind of crap. All right, I think we got more than enough iron slabs for now. I need to kick this blacksmith in the ass, though, to get him to make shit faster. He's making pole arms so slowly. What are we up to? Ten pole arms, three... Ah, oh, we do have bows! Ah! Oh, huge! We got bows! Three Archer Militia, 10 Polearm Militia, 14 Spear Militia. For some reason, that's lower than it was. I guess it's being split evenly because we don't have enough men. Equipment missing, equipment missing, recruits missing. Yeah, so I guess it's splitting the 36 between the three evenly. We need more boys. I might take off the shield guys then. And just commit them. Now, I need them. Damn it. Whatever, we'll just lit. Oh, although I am getting pole arms very quickly. I'm committing full pole arm, dude. We got 260 motherfucking days where these guys show up, and I got enough money to hire a mercenary group to help defend. We're gonna whoop these guys. Once again, with the excess weapon storage. Oh, they're putting b war bows in here. 
And apparently there's no room. Oh, clay furnace, nice. Adokoi, don't be wasteful. Wood doesn't grow in trees, you know. <laughs> yep, yeah, definitely not. And it's not like we're surrounded by literally millions of them. Oh, we got another family. Dog, we're getting so many families. <laughs> Oh no, that's not what this is. Climbing up there. I think archers, polearms, and then our schlongermen are gonna be really strong. Damn, I want there to be more bandits. I should have toned down the lack of banditry. Like, yeah, it's kind of annoying when they steal your shit, but also, once you get a military going, there's so many of them for you to kill. It's worth it. Dude, we're barely scraping by on eggs. Damn, dude, Fletchers seem to be cracked. They, they, I don't even know if they need resources. It just seems like they're making them. Like, they don't even need resources to craft. Or planks, maybe? Because it's creating your... Is it just planks? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? It's just playing the cure. <laughs> what the fuck? They added Nude by Radiohead and just a song by The Cure at the end of this fucking medieval cover playlist. What the fuck? Instrumental Vodcore, here we go. Dude, I am thirsty. I'm gonna drink while, we're, while I'm waiting for this. Guys, if everything bursts into flames, then, then yell and I'll, I'll, I'll see it. Did everything fall apart? The whole village fall apart and for now? This is a five hour stream. I don't give a fuck. We could go for 10 hours, dog. Okay, has a drinking problem? Okay, if you consider drinking soda a drinking problem, then sure. Well, we'll say I have a drinking problem. What kind of drink is that? It is... Zero sugar Dr. Pepper. I had to stop drinking the full sugar Dr. Pepper because it was fucking me up. <laughs> and my face and body and teeth and my, you know? There's a lot of calories in soda. There's a lot of calories in soda. Alright, what are we doing on? 41 planks. How many planks do I actually need to like build my castle? 57? Alright, I might have gone overboard on this little castle. The little manor. I've gone too grandiose on the manor. I am not a manor lord. Adokoi, you are thirsty, which is a problem that can only be solved by drinking. Sad. I know, I'm a thirsty bitch. We're up to 17 polearm militia and counting. I kind of want to see what the militia polearm... I mean, they're just going to look like militia with polearms. But I'm hoping the polearms are like the ones that our boys wield, the Schlonger men. Because these guys look awesome with these. 
I'm a big polearm guy. A big polearm simp. Soda is insane. 150 calories for one small can. Yeah, I didn't realize that. And that's why I started putting on way more weight. And I was like exercising a ton. I was barely eating. I was still, and then I was still, I was drinking like four, uh, like three, three to six Dr. Cans of full sugar Dr. Pepper a day. <laughs> I was like, why am I not losing weight, guys? <laughs> this sucks. My metabolism sucks now. So stupid. Like a true ogre. Alright, what are we up to? Uh, don't need anything on that. What were we building? Oh, we still upgraded the church. We need 10, and we here currently have zero roof tiles. Cool. We're getting there, though. Clay, clay. Three roof tiles. A new family moved in. Oh my god, we're getting just so many people. How do you tell how many people you have relative to... Because according to this, I would have 24 families. We are endless. We are ceaseless. Yeah, 19 and counting. We, we're going to end up with 36. 14 archers too, not bad. If we up our retinue... Oh god, please... Dude, it would be so amazing if bandits showed up right now. I want to go kill bandits so bad. Can I, like, insult the outlaw king? It's a pleasure to meet you. Ah, uh, yeah, another dog has... Wait. Minus 10 something. Negotiation declaration. Rhetoric. So, no influence cost, but minus 10 to hands? What's that little hands icon? Uh... Should I just do it? Should I just call him a bitch? Should I yield the call him a bitch? Maybe he'll like come and attack me. Ah, you turned the dog has crawled here. All right, I send him a letter that says you're gay. You're our gay, spelt wrong. And this guy with his ugly face, war surprise, needs silver. Request funds. <laughs> Wait, that only costs five influence to request funds? Declares surprise war. <laughs> surprise! <laughs> we got you this thing you like. Oh, crap. No, no, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. This place has no reason to be level 2. I'm just going to get rid of that. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I really don't want to waste resources on that right now. This is fine. This is fine. The old classic surprise war, just like Poppy used to do. Just like all Total War factions do, the second you turn your back to them and you're and they're near your, your nice, shiny, undefended, ungarrisoned settlements. So you can get an easy, easy cheat clap. So many pole arms. We're up to 20. This guy's cranking him out now. The fucking bow guy's catching up. Like, can we just go ham with bows? Can I just upgrade one of my prop- like one of these things to get a bowyer? Not this guy, not this guy. Hmm. I might change this. Demolish? Does it demolish the whole building or? Burgage plot level. Oh, I think I can convert it. All right, I'm going to change this and then make another Fletcher and change it from a chicken coop. Because I can chicken coop one of these other places out. Like here. And here. Fuck it. We got plenty of regional wealth. 
So we can egg and then construct this. Make a, a level two burgage. What's our planks on? 62 planks, 61. They're going down. Generic storage full, swap it. Oh, it's just that crap. Shut up and make me planks. Legend says bows are really good. I think most people have come to the uh, realization that bows absolutely shred in this game. So if we just have some polearm guys to kind of like hold them back and then we flank around with our archers and shoot the crap out of them. Now hear me out, a unit of egg throwers. It would actually be good if you could get like rock thrower militia, like slingers kind of. I feel like rock throwing is maybe not that effective. You know, we're not going for Bandalore looters over here. All right, let's hit that fast forward. Uh, also, we got a farm. I'm going to add a plowing station to just slap that on medium and then we can maybe do wheat. Uh, you know what? We can afford to just put a single f uh, family to grow the wheat. Um, but we're going to have to make some production buildings for this. So because we're only capable of making like bread in this place. So fine. So we need a, ah uh, crap, what is it? Uh, communal bakery or whatever it's called. Ah, communal oven, windmill. 93% efficiency. 92% efficiency, 99%, 100% efficiency. Right here. Unacceptable. I want that 100%. Come on. Whatever. Now a little communal oven. Like so. Bam, we got our whole thing for bread making like right there. What we look what's our province looking like? It's still so visible. Break the silhouette a little bit. It's so visible. Nothing will conquer Schlongsberg. Not nothing. Catapults for dead bodies and cabbages. Dude, there's so many good ideas that you could employ for this game. Like so many fun things like that that you could do. I'm gonna have to get one of these families back into smelting. Clay. We should have enough to upgrade the church, actually. Nope. Damn. I really thought we would. There's like a bunch of roof tiles here. Fletcher's still cranking away. 23? It's caught up with the fucking pole arms. Yeah, we, we've got to get... I'm, I'm building a second Fletcher for sure. Let's just, let's change this for a Fletcher. Enables prediction of Warbos. Converts all inhabitants to otters. It, it explains nothing about Warbos. It just apparently works like that. Or shoes could be a good move. We do need shoes. I'm actually going to judgment call on shoes. We're already making a ton of bows. At a good rate, I don't think we're gonna need it. So, is Okoy the manor lord already? I have achieved manor lord status. Look, we have a manor. I am the lord of the manor. See? I can run over to my manor. And I can stand here triumphantly in front of my manor with my funky beard and hat. Hey, come back here! Why are they running? Come back! Hey! I know where you live! Oh shit! Wait, are they running towards that fire? Ah oh, shit! No, not the fucking- Are you kidding me? The storehouse? That's so bad. I, <laughs> I was like, why are you running? <laughs> ah crap, I gotta build a couple more wells too. All right, there's one right in the middle of the town, which is good. I'm going to build one on the outskirts of town here. Just leave it at medium. Exposed socks. Stocks are getting soaked. That's bullshit. I can't do anything about that. My fucking house burned down. Highest priority, obviously. All right, guys, build that back up. That's extremely shitty. 
No, you gotta build that up like now. Wait, do they have to take all the stuff out of it first? No, it's still got everything in storage. Oh, that would have sucked. Oh, that would have sucked so bad. That's gonna hit, hurt my uh, my happiness. <laughs> I was like, the I'm fucking just chilling, and they're running into the distance. I saw a fire in the distance and some smoke. That was like cinematic as hell. Women running from Okoy makes sense. All right. Hey, maybe I like a chase. You know? No, wait, 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 wait. Not okay. No, I meant like playing hard to get, not literally playing hard to get. <laughs> I like a woman who doesn't make it easy. <laughs> oh shit! More people! More people, more people! Alright, we gotta figure out another place to upgrade. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. <laughs> what do you mean, Okoy? Like, Okoy exposed bits and guy <laughs> With one-to-one -one interviews with, with, uh, Okoy's girlfriend. He's an animal. Come on, surely we have enough fucking shit by now. Nine roof tiles? Are you kidding me? Can I just fast forward and get more roof tiles? This is just, just silly. This is very silly. Alright, we'll, we'll get one person on the farmhouse to start doing the, uh... There you go. I don't know why they're hoeing manually with their hands. They should have an ox cart to do this. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna up this to a small stable which they should build pretty quick it's just two planks damn how are we down to 42 planks I think they're making bows too quick I think we're actually too effective now do they need a spare oxen that's what I'm thinking so if I if we upgrade this look now I can hopefully order another ox now we got Another one coming, and I can apply this to the to this place. Look, so I can be like, apply. I am now. They got a dedicated one. Uh, Lawrence, and they're making the windmill. Although it's low priority, we got that clay yet? Ah, there we go. Church, bam! Upgraded church, super high priority. Because this is the only other priority thing that's happening right now. A new family moved in! Oh my god, we're so good! 23 families? What's our war thing like? 25 Polar Militia, 24 Archer Militia. Amazing. Amazing. 49 dudes total. Nice. Right, we're maxed out then. We're cur yeah, because we've got 36 pole arms and 36 bows right now. Can I build a second unit? Yeah, we need more. We literally are down in people and nothing else. That's crazy. Oh, that's so good. Um, I guess there's no reason to start another unit until we hit 36 on all. But I maybe we just pause the crafting of our Fletcher stuff just so I'm it's not to using all of our iron Maybe pause the blacksmith Because we have 36 so it will eventually meet that anyway. I could trade the extra war bows though. We're gonna run out of places to put them because Hmm All right, well we got a bunch of polearm infantry a bunch of archers ready to go Okay, bow maxing, more retinue, amass the army. Uh, so in, to increase our retinue, we would need um, more of uh, this money, which is our personal treasury, which, oh, it's actually worth doing taxes now. We're so happy that I feel like we can actually do taxes and it's worth it. So that'll start taking money out of the regional wealth and putting it into our treasury. 
which we can use to spend on military stuff or invasions and stuff like that. Smithy. Right. There we go. Hey, now we got a cart. Look at that hoe go. Uh, look at that plowing go. Oh, nope, they just. Oh, okay. No, that's not right. I like how they're just pretending that the ox is pulling it with its nuts. And then she's just totally pushing it with her crazy strength. I like the way you push that. <laughs> I like the way you push that cart, lady. Hey, hey, come back here. Look at my shoes. Can't walk away from a man with shoes this long. I know where you live. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> Pretty, come here. I wish to court thee. <laughs> Pretty, stop mowing thine field. I wish to pitch woo. Oh, we gotta... Alright, church is going. Let's bail from making... Pottery. Mass gather clay a little bit. So we got three unassigned families that can get on with building. And we can put them towards something else. Like... More houses? I might be running out of houses. Again. I actually don't know. You got any empty? No, no, there's still some empty houses for sure. There's still a couple of empty houses at least. Yeah, so we have time. Now let's look at what's on the docket. We're good for berries, good for meat, we're good for forestry, woodcutters, mining, good for. We're good for logistics. I'm kind of want to... Oh, you know what? Making... Oh, uh, we don't have it unlocked yet. Armor... We should get basic armor making next, though, because... Gotta start kidding out our boys. I don't quite show the full amassed army. But we'll see them when we get invaded in 189 days. We will see the army. All right, blacksmith and Fletcher's are paused. Cobbler's good. How are we doing on planks? All right, if we, I want to mass produce planks. I want to mass produce planks you, for sure. You always fail to make oh. me smile slightly. <laughs> Please name a slightly chicken after me and then sacrifice it for a bountiful harvest. <laughs> All right, I love you too, Nick. <laughs> Name a chicken after me and then sacrifice it for a bountiful harvest. I wish that was a thing. If this was black and white too, we could absolutely do that. Or at least we could get a chicken, name it whatever you want. Oh, you can name them. Wait. No. That was some lady called Agnes. No! Beatrix Chicken! Can I rename it? Oh, all the animals have names. Christina. Margaret, Els, Bandit Camp! All right, we're going to kill the Bandit Camp. We got plenty of time. We're slaughtering that Bandit Camp right now. All right, it's Bandit Camp slaughtering time. Where is it? 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 It's here, it, which is... Oh, it's so close, dude. Oh, they're dead. They're screwed. Amass the boys. Amass our men. 16, 
All right. Okay, I'm back. All right. The troops are assembled. Look at our retinue, dog. Look at our heavily armored guy. Look at that Chad in the middle with his little pink coat. His man. I gotta say, it must be difficult to wear the amount of armor that he's wearing while holstering a 17-incher. All right, let's send our infantry. Full arms, Schlongerman. Schlongermans. All right, no running. No running in the halls. And then, can I move these guys together as a unit? Uh, missile alert. Soldiers, watch for enemy missiles. Chance to avoid block champs is double, but melee defense is halved. Oh, that's interesting. All right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Oh, this is gonna be such a good fight because they're right there. I'm gonna slaughter them. That you, they messed up. Setting up right next to my my settlement. Oh, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Easily slaughterable peasants. Hold Alt to move together. Uh, hmm, it's not working. Ooh, camera's a little buggy. Dude, Schlongsberg is going excellently. Are we running low on anything? Oh, boots. We got our shoes going, which means... Uh, oh, no. Apparently... Okay, this is fully fulfilled, so all we need is a tavern supply of ale. What's the... I think it's rye... Is rye for fertility? Barley is... No, it's barley for beer um yeah okay we so we just live in an absolute shithole for for making barley because look at this it's like red 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 perfectly green red 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 perfectly green like really are you kidding me oh they're coming to us they're coming to meet us oh uh, you're dead you're, you guys are dead all right let's prep all right infantry down like this uh We'll have them stand ground. Have these guys on push forward. Have archers. Um, they do not need to be on stand your ground. Missile alert. Give ground. Push forward. All right, let's have them in a perfect line, like a uh, little group. Perfect line. Why not? Screw it. Wait, I can't see them. Oh no! All right, scout, 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 scout. I gotta be able to see them to shoot them. Oh, right, they're shooting anyway. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Yes, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yes, dude, let's go. They got some. I don't know. Oh, we're hitting him good. We're hitting him good. We're hitting him good. Fire! Dude, we killed a couple of them. All right, no stand your ground. No stand your ground. Run. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Nice, 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 nice. All right, I'm going to sit them on the flanks. Oh, get, get in there, get in there. Go, 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 go. Get in the retinue. The Schlongerman must kill. All right. I don't know if there's any risk of us shooting our own guys. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Oh, they're running already, dude. Ah, oh, amazing. All right, well, we can send these guys and just disband them right here. And then send our retinue to go and claim the bandit camp. Well done, lads. They're just gonna calmly leave all their gear in the trees and wander back. The men. I know the ruler's army was sighted. 182 days until they hit us, guys. And they are... If this is what they're sending, they're going to get absolutely ruined. There is no way that's going to kill us. I'm confident. 25 and 25. They're, what are they going to do? Alright, I got to change some of these over too. Uh, chickens. And let's upgrade this plot. Highest. How's our timber looking? 56 planks. Come on, that's got to be almost enough. Yeah, we need one more of those and a lot more regular. Okay. Ugh. 
I've just found Okoi is a different person than Koi Fish lol. My brain somehow merged these two. I get that all the time, dude. Like, people have said, like, they thought I was Iron Pineapple because we I've used a lot of the uh, the same music as him. I'm a huge fan of Telefunken. At, like, East Coast, West Coast, all of these, like, amazing tracks. But, um, there's sort of, like, a roster of Dark Souls and Elden Ring and kind of YouTubers that reuse these tracks over a long period of time. Everyone just gets compared to Iron Pineapple because he's just so huge. Like, he's been- he, he makes such banger content that it just sticks with people. And he was, like, one of the first people to use those tracks, so I always get compared to Iron Pineapple. I've, like, co like, Koi Fish as well. I guess, like, Okoi, Koi Fish as well. It's similar. Koi Fish has got a very distinct accent. Yeah, there's also a guy called Simo, and I always get Koi Fish and Simo confused because I swear they have similar accents. Message. All right. Blanc, blanc, treasury 250 treasury all right we can upgrade a retinue let's go it's retinue upgrading time which means we got to get our boys back so double time and then we can we might be able to fully purchase a almost fully complete retinue of 12 guys we'll be able to get at least four dudes for the ah, actually you know what i might restrict it to just two I'm, I'm probably only going to be able to get two extra guys, because I want to be able to keep enough around for mercenaries. I'm a little bit worried about losing dudes when we get attacked, because this it gives you a year to prepare, so they've got to be bringing a lot of guys. You know? And I've never uh, sat through a raid before. A new family's moving in. More guys. All right, what are we low on? Uh, food is decent. Eggs. Bread. It's kind of in the works. The field is in the sewing process progress now. We could just add another group to this. Actually, I think I might pursue trade. I don't know how trade works, though. Does anybody know how trade works before I pursue trade? Because, like, I actually have no idea. I've tried to do it in the past, and I, it just got confusing as hell. Industry. I don't think we need dye. I don't know what dyes are used for right now. Ah, uh, we just got another one? Dude, every family that joins us has, like, two extra troops. Amazing. I might run out of houses though, so I'm gonna build some more actually. Keep ahead of it. Oh wait, Ugh, I want to build this though too. All right, boys, disband. Infantry, retinue, customize. All right, here we go. So I can import them. I could give them all heavy armor, and easily afford it, so that I have five dudes and they're all fully kitted out and plate like this. Or I can buy an extra guy and we can rename. We can name a new guy. Or I could do a bit of both. Basically, you can fully. I could fully outfit my guys in plate, or recruit like two new guys, maybe three, and still be able to afford mercenaries. You can't just buy man. Watch me, new guys. All right, well, let's. All right, new guy. All right, Warhammer, Funny Shield, Piss Yellow Jacket, Fully Piss Yellow Jacket. We're going full piss with this piss boy. And I think I let... All right, cha Chainmail looks pretty good. We're keeping with the cone head theme. Although... I like the big jacket. Something about big jackets. And then we'll give him a pink shield. Why not? Just a holy, oh, that's so pink. They're gonna be distracted by the pinkness of his shield and they will not be able to kill him, you see? What do you guys think? Yes? Also, what do we call him? Uh, he loves getting into arguments with priests. <laughs> Shall I call him Henry of Scallets? <laughs> you guys know the, F, the, uh, the mission I'm talking about. I guess you, it's not really an argument as much as you get drunk with, you argue a little bit, then you get drunk with the guy. 
Yeah, he did love him. Dude, I want I want a sequel to that game so bad. What about Let's get into arguments with priests. How about Redditor Reddit Red Oh my god. Redditor Atheist. Yes? Reddit or atheist loves getting in arguments with priests. That's that fits pretty well. <laughs> Very the redditor. How about Hen Henry Henry the redditor atheist? All right, I like that. Henry the editor. Ed, ed, oh my god, Henry. Oh my god, it didn't save. Henry the. Athe atheist Redditor. Redditor! And then we'll hire a new guy. Who is also wearing armor, apparently. And this guy's gonna be wearing pink. Full pink. And then... Big pink jacket. And... Just for flavor, I'm gonna give him a little shield. And a sword. Alright. Which, all right, charms every woman he meets. Oh my god, this guy fucks. All right, um... Okay, this guy fucks, so... Pippy, huge... Cocking. Um... Boris Toddbringer? Stop, stop asking to name the Boris Toddbringer, uh, Bringer, John. I have an idea. If you guys could see my face right now. All right. Um, what about... What's a good name for a guy who fucks? Huge... Oh, dude. Huge... How about huge... Jack... Jacked... Jacked man. Huge jacked man. Huh? Huge Jackman? Like Hugh Jackman? Charms every woman he meets? Mr. Wang? Johnny Sins. Oh, Johnny Sins is good. Johnny... How do you spell jo That's That's it, right? Johnny... Sins. That's pretty good. Oko's dad? Oh, that's cute. My dad's a handsome fella. Long Rod Von Hugendong. I do like Long Rod Von Hugendong. All right, it's gonna be long, it's gonna be Johnny Sins or Long Rod Von Hugendong because I do like that name. Long Rod Von Hugendong. That's good. Long Rod Von Hugendong. I have to. I love that name. It's a classic, an absolute classic. So we could afford one more guy and still have 104 gold to throw around. And we'll have a, a, a rent. The Schlungerman will be up to nine. Uh, eight guys. Or we could armor like three of them with extra heavy armor. So heavily armor like three of them for 18 each or two or get one extra guy. Na, 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 na. Armor, 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 fart, armor, armor. I'm seeing a lot of armor. All right, let's let's give, give him some armor. So bulk brogan, we will give heavy armor. Hell yeah, bulk brogan. Get it, get it, son. Get it. I'm gonna give him this armor though. Nah, this is more bulk brogan. And then we'll we can upgrade boob. Wait, travel to many sacred sites. Nah, boob's fine. We'll upgrade his stuff. Nice. We'll leave him in this. That's fine. But I'm going to change the helmet to a bassinet. So we got one guy with a bassinet. So now we got one guy with a hound skull, one guy with a bassinet, and one guy with a other bassinet. <laughs> I'm not giving them an open faced helmet. When they have like dope heavy armor, there's no way. Is the background music a medieval version of Land Down Under? Yes, this is currently uh, Land 
Yeah. Doth ye cometh from a land down under? Okay, they're all bassinets. What? No, they're not. This is a fucking hound skull. This is a hound skull. This is a bassinet. The bassinet is this bit. It's it clips on and clips off. That's the whole point of a bassinet. A hound skull is this. Are there any salés? You know what's weird? Apparently it's not pronounced salé despite it being French. It's literally salad. Oh, a hound skull bassinet, right. A hound skull is a bassinet. Fair enough. Adokoi, are there cod pieces? I love cod pieces, dude. There's I went to the Royal Armouries in Leeds in the UK. And, uh, and I always laugh so hard when I see Henry VIII's armor. Dude had a cod piece. Like, it looked like he had a shield on his cock. It's massive. Like, there's a cod piece, and then there's... It, it, there's, like... He renovated an apartment in his crotch area to house his fucking 40-incher, apparently. It's huge. It's hilariously huge. Alright, let's uh, upgrade one more guy's armor. We can just about afford it before we start getting into... We'll have exactly 100 gold to spend on mercs. So let's get... PTSD Ron, maybe, or Boris the Bleach Boy. Boris... I think would be more comfortable wearing heavier armor. Long rod on huge and dog needs to be exposed as much as possible. And then we'll give Boris an upgrade. God, he looks cool. What if we give Boris this little funny hat? He looks like a Mil Milanese god or something. Also, I'm going to make Boris the Bleach Boy have completely bleached white armor. Wait, can I get it brighter than that? No, that's like a green. Yeah, there we go. So Boris the Bleach Boy is the only one wearing white. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Hey, uh, Henry the Atheist Redditor should probably be wearing orange, but there isn't any orange. So we'll just do with what we have. Yeah, our retinue is now up to seven dudes. And a lot of them are heavily armored. Pretty cool. Okay, would you like... Would you like fries or a, a salad with your burger? Shut up, dude. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Ugh. I can't believe I read that. Alright, let's look at our boys. Look at these absolute world-beating chads. Look at these chads, our boys. Oh, boys. These are manly men if I've ever seen them. Incredible. Top dogs. Kings. Alright, we need a little bit more regular wood and we're good. What's full? Generic storage is full here. Uh, that's because that's they're making planks. So that's fine. Wait, 20, we've only got 26 timber? Alright, I'm going to get a third family on the timber just because we've got so many. Let's throw another one on the farmhouse, and we'll leave two to keep doing building, and we'll hit the fast forward. All right, 107. Is this fucking wrecking ball? Yeah, it is. The wrecking ball wrecketh mine shit. In my mind. I don't know this song. I actually don't know this song. The in-game music sounds familiar. It's not the in-game music. I just want to put that out there for... <laughs> I just want to put that out there for clarification. It is thoroughly not the in-game music. I'm playing a playlist of, um... Of, uh... Of Bodcore songs. So they're covers of famous songs in, like, medieval theming. Okay, we do not need two people on the farmers. I'm actually going to put one people in the small stone church because apparently they host sermons. Yeah, okay, so then they're unhappy about the taxation, but we have to have taxation. Oh, we've got 1.1k influence too. Should we claim a region, guys? We could claim, like, this region with influence. I don't know what the point of that is, but we could do it. What do you think? 
Should we take Zhuai? Okay, that's just that's just four vowels for Zhuiao. Uh, Claim the central one. Uh, we could do. You could grow crops exactly. Claim Waldebrand so the enemy can't expand. I could do, and they've also got seasonal stuff here. Let me check the terrain, though. Because I want to... Nah, see, this region isn't fertile at all, guys. Look. It's like dog shit. This is a super... This area is fully green. Like, I can build a, a field, like, here. Or through the trees here, and then put a pathway to my territory or some shit. I think we should go left for crops. Oop. Press claim towards this region. Claiming. Oh, they might contest my claim. They might contest my claim. And then I'll have to fight. Oh, crap. We're up to 26 pole arms, 26 archer militia. Do we not have more storage? More weapons in storage? Like, why? I feel like we've definitely got enough people to start getting more stuff. Alright, time to build more burgages, also. Let's try and keep it in the balls. Just for consistency's sake. Uh, maybe... I get three out of that. These ones are just for land, so screw it. Nice. I love that you can fit little houses wherever you want. Fertility is overrated. Man, that's an insensitive thing to say. Potential women. Something, something. Damn, we got a lot of fucking planks. 81 planks. We're doing something on stone, though. I don't even know what stone is used for. Bodies need burial? Oh, crap. They're technically in our land, right. Um, okay. Well, we need a corpse pit. Where do you guys think we should build a corpse pit? Right outside the manor? So, uh, so I can sit in my manor and watch... Bodies rot? What do you guys think? Yes? Near the well? Plagues? Such filth should not be allowed near the shaft. What a sentence. By the tavern. Guys, I, I'm actually asking. I don't know where to put this. I feel like I'm giving our wiener an STD if I put this here. But... Manor is fine. Should we just put it like here? Like off over in like the corner kinda? Like that? Yeah. Now we have a place to, to dump corpses. A little bit of a thing hanging off for a wang, though. That's why I wanted to keep it in the shaft. Looks like we got something attached to it. It's got a scope. <laughs> it's got a fucking red dot. <laughs> oh, man. It's a red dot site for aiming nuts. All right, I'm done. I'm ending the stream. <laughs> All right. You should get that checked out. You don't, you, you don't have a scope for accuracy, dude? This guy's not tactical at all. This man is positively untactical. Wait. Oh, family members join. Oh, wait. We got another family. And they've moved in, which means more dudes for the army. 27. 
Let's go. We still got 1700. God damn, that is a rich deposit. Wait, uh, one more level two burgage, and I can. Uh, we're a medium village. Or I gotta do it. It's gotta be this one. Upgrade, then we'll move egg somewhere else. Get to level two. Can I put eggs somewhere else? The eggs must continue. I kind of fucked up with these. I should have made them longer. Now that they're just houses, I need them to be like longer so I can actually build egg places in them and stuff. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Nothing. <clears throat> Nothing. Let's expand the living space. Alright. Who buries bodies? Oh, I need to assign somebody to this. Alright, well, let's get rid of that, because I don't know what the negatives hologram. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Villagers require to be buried on hallowed ground of the church, while raiders may be dumped into the corpse pit. Oh, okay. I was worried that I had to build it near the church for a second there. I shoot mine like a blunderbuss. I'm so glad I missed that. I <laughs> missed that comment. Oh, these could probably have eggs, I think. They're long enough. Maybe. Oh, we've almost got Zwiaow. We're gonna have to uh, rename Schlongberg, by the way. I don't know what you guys think we should call it. Apparently, our. Uh, these guys are just decaying or being eaten by wolves because, uh... Oh, wolves would be a really cool part of this game. Imagine there's just wolves roaming around and, like, your guys go off to, like, go into the woods and they run into a, a group of wolves and you can send in troops to go and kill them, like archers and stuff. That'd be great. Or, like, a bear. And, like, you have to summon a, a group of militia to go and fight a bear. That'd be fantastic. Just little things to do in between, like, building a city. That would be really goddamn fun. Roving packs of beast men? Yeah. Oh, we own Zvanj now. Wait, what? Oh, oh, your resources change per region that you go into. Oh, no. That sucks. I was kind of hoping it would just expand our territory. Does that mean I have to build a whole other village in this place? Because I kind of don't want to do that at all. I only wanted to use this place for, like, resources. Mods for this game are going to be great. I think that depends entirely on how moddable it is. Like, I don't even know the engine that this game is built on. Does anybody know? It looks like Unreal 4, because it's beautiful. It's actually so pretty. Unreal, it is Unreal 4, okay. Because it looks, it, it, I was like, it has to be, because it's so pretty. Everything about it, like the volumetric stuff, like the, it's just, everything about it is so pretty. Also, these guys are doing a bad job of cutting logs. They're very slow. I might permanently assign livestock. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get another oxen and permanently assign it to them. Like, right here. All right, super high. Hopefully permanently assigning it will get them to get logs more quickly. Settlement level increased. All right, we're good. Everything's going well. The only downside is taxation right now. All right guys, what do you think? Armor or uh, 
Hmm. Probably armor, right? Stop making uh, gear, actual armor for our guys so to promote them from militia. Either that, or I could go down the route of getting like trapping to get more meat, or forest management for berries, stuff like that. Don't the plank boys use up the logs? Yeah, I guess so. I think armor, right? That feels like a demon. I'm just gonna go armor. Armor time, baby. And we got a new level, higher level house. If I can convert this to something. Brewery extension could be good. Yeah, armor. Taylor's workshop. All right, we're gonna lose an inhabitant, but let's make it armory. Look how many people, how many, we got 88 dudes in this village. 88 people, not dudes. All right, we'll commit livestock to this place permanently. That should hopefully help them get wood. 19, only 19 timber. See, it's going down like super quick. Just in case, yeah, let's bail on the saw pit. Or at least get one of them out of there. Maybe that'll slow it down a little bit, the wood consumption. We could just add another wood cutting thing for this area. Like... A logging camp? Like another logging camp here? Why not? We got so many boys. The men are thirsty, my lord. Family members join. Ah, nice. Yeah, we got an extra four. I don't even know what to do with these guys. I'm actually gonna duplicate on the forester's hut because these guys they do not they barely seem to be doing anything. And then expand this like expand dong wildly. How we doing? Berries still going. What are we doing for food? Got 87 berries, 70 meat, 18 eggs, apples, honey. Ah, uh, we got an armor shop. So they just make helmets out of iron slabs. Nice. They made one so far. Do our guys just wear helmets then? Like, what's the what's the steez for that? I see one there and two helmets there. Are they just gonna have helmets now? Like, I'm assume I'm just gonna assume they're just gonna be wearing armor now. Exciting! I don't call it the way you said 88 man kind of sounded like the start of Ram Ranch thing. <laughs> 88 men in the showers at Manor Lord. In the manners of Schlongsborg. The helmets mu must be phallic. No. Don't ruin helmets. Alright, so we're still making metal. For the bloomery. I think we've got a lot in storage. 41. Construction of the corpse pit is finished. Let's put one. Nah, you know, at this point, there's no corpses in our city anyway. But apparently, they just rotted. I, I don't I don't understand why we even have one if they just disappear And these guys are not doing a good job of this wheat also Only 138 days before we get attacked To wear the full armor, I think only level three homes get them. Um, yeah, maybe. I think you can make other shit, uh, though. It's just a case of, um... Oh, 
huh? Let me check the... This. There it is. Enables blacksmiths to craft male armor, uh, which can be used uh, to equip citizens and burgers plus level 3 and above. Yeah. Twenty-seven timber. How are we just? We're so slow on the timber. It's like insane. Let's get another one going on this side. Kind of want to get attacked now. Oh, can we build our thing yet? How far off this are we? We gotta. We're way down on wood, I think. Oh, only two wood? Apparently the, the double timber thing is working. We got more than enough planks, a good amount of stone. Just gotta wait on that timber to go up. 31. 32. Ah, right, let's go. Commit. Bam. Highest. Let's get that shit built. Gonna take a long time. I think I was gonna do trade. Can I fit a trading post in here? Come on, that would be so perfect. Right in the middle? Damn it. Whatever. I don't think, I don't know how the trading works, so hopefully there's somebody in chat that knows how trading works. Guys, is it corruption for our lord to be using public resources to remodel his house? That feels like corruption. <laughs> okay, it's for the benefit of the town. It's not just for me. You know, there's other reasons. Dude, look at this off-duty guy. It's Boris the Bleach Boy! And PTSD Ron! Bulk Brogan? Boob? Henry the Atheist Redditor? <laughs> Ratman? You can hear them jingling and jangling, dude, when they're off-duty because of their swords and, like, bits of gear. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Some traders will come by. If your place is safe and uh, and buy what you put up, it's almost passive. Oh, cool. So you just kind of like create like a trade stop for people to come to you instead of you going to them. I've seen traders wander through. They like wear backpacks and stuff. It's kind of perfect. Like our city's like got a main road, you know? So they could definitely go into the trade stop on the main road, you know? How's this going? 57... Oh my god. It's gonna take so much building. See, I'm glad I started that early. I wanna rename this zone, too. You have to reset your policies? Damn. That's hardcore. What should we call it, guys? Nutberg. Fucktown. Uh, Funky Town. Or just Farm... Farmville. Something. Weenopolis? <laughs> I like Weenopolis, that's funny. Dick Bolin? Dick and Bolin? Wienershire? <laughs> Wienershire is adorable. Wienershire. If that was pronounced correctly British-wise, it, uh, it would be Wienershire. Uh, Wienershire. So, we'll call that Wiener... 
<laughs> you don't even say Shire. Although they say the Shire in Lord of the Rings, so... We could go by either. Oh, what the fuck? Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? My fuel is like mad low. My food's getting low. I think we're getting too many people. What's my current tannery woodcutters? All right, we're duping our dudes up for that big time. One dude is fine for that. Jesus. All right, it might be a time to invest in... It might be time to invest in charcoal too. If we, the next time we get a level up. Although we're really far away from that though, shit. Damn it. Well, we gotta start wood cutting, hardcore, and making more food because apparently we're running low. How is that not enough? Okay, growing bread is going terribly. They're just not doing a good job. 303 days before it gets... Wait, is it doing fallow for the first year? Do weed. And then fallow. What the hell? Oh, that's bad though. It's mostly fuel that's the problem. Is there an advanced thing for work area? No. There needs to be no work area for that. Limited work area. I might do what I did with the logging camp though and move that. about that that's going down i've got 114 firewood it's going quick like quick quick scary fast yeah my happiness is plummeting too i might call off the taxes for now because i'm earning so little and it's affecting them their happiness a lot oh i can't until it's finished constructing anyway damn it This game reminds me of the farthest frontier, but with more robust combat and not limited to grid placement. Yeah, the smoothness of this game is great. I would consider sending some peasants to forage shrooms since you can't get barley for beer. Those hardworking servants deserve some fun. Okay, so we can't get shrooms, but I could put two people on the foraging hut. It's just that it's almost running out. Like one group is more than capable of getting. I'm gonna take them off clay too, I think. Yeah, we're good on clay. We got like 50 and then... Hmm. Oh my god, please build this. Why is nobody building this? Alright, I'm gonna put that down to very high for a second. Dude, that sucks. That's really rough. We gotta get some way of getting a lot of food and a lot of fuel, like, fast. Especially fuel. I've neglected to get... Uh... Wait, how's their helmet going? Thing coming? Oh, everybody's got armor. We've got so many helmets. We have so many helmets. I'm gonna pause that, actually. Because we have, like, an absolute crap ton. Where would you even store those? Every single house has two helmets in it. Every single house. Well, every single house that has people in it. Alright, eggs. Also. No, ah, dude, I don't have enough regional wealth. Damn it. Come on, bandits. Show up so I can kill you for regional wealth. Right, hopefully we can get some wealth from the trading post also. You already made your manor highest priority, so the woodcutter's backlog. Yeah, 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 I know. I turned it down. I know, I know. I dialed it back. There we go. Just 
put an extra person on that. And then take one off of the Woodcutter's Lodge. That's going up pretty fast, though, I think. And the food is middling. I'm... Oh, man. And we're out of regional wealth, so no more... I can't put down any more eggs or artisan shops or anything. I need more bandits to moiter. We just want bandit to smash. I'll put that back to highest, and then... Hopefully trading post is, is something we can... Raiders are near. 89. 89 turns. We got 111 treasury, too. Oh, more people moved in. Can I see the enemy army, or is there just no... Or is it like bandit raiders? It's not like the enemies coming from that guy. Also, I sent a letter to the to the peasant saying that he was stupid and didn't hear back. Want tips on raiders? Sure, why not? I don't really know what to expect. Call everybody back to the manor, maybe? Alright, timber's going up, good. Fuel's uh, going up nicely. We're up to 30 of each. 30, 30, and 7. Oh, shit. Time for bed, keep hustling, Okoy. Dope. Have a good sleep, dog. Okoy, you should get chocolate to increase efficiency. Yeah, I, I want to, but I don't have it unlocked. I, I will get it as soon as I upgrade my stuff. I wish I could take back the armor making, but that was also really good. I, th I wish I could get rid of this. Foreign suppliers was not useful. It just consumes a shit ton of your, your regional wealth, too. Even if you pause it, it still takes your regional wealth. Oh, we're growing wheat. Maybe that'll offset the food thing. 273 days. We could do an early harvest, but it's only at 19% crop growth. And then we can start making bread. Mass amounts of bread. Obviously, you never heard back. Peasants <laughs> got read, so you probably just burned the letter for kindling or something. What are these moon runes on this archment? They will sprint for your storage building. You need to protect that. Really? So are raiders um, AI like bandits or is that this guy? Like Hildeb Hildebald von Burenut. How we doing? Uh, we're going into winter too, which kind of sucks. Oh shit! All right. Well, we'll take the berries out of the equation because it's a seasonal thing, and hunting can still keep going on. It's getting kind of low though. Shit. Okay, it's being invaded in winter. Oh, that would suck. I don't want to be invaded midwinter. Could really do with these. Oh yeah, I was gonna turn off the taxation to boost happiness, but I'm gonna leave that. Trade for food, set up a trade route. Yeah, I mean it's it's high priority. They're just gonna finish my little building first, so at least that's ready. I was kind of hoping that they would come and attack the manor. You know. Not my storage. It's kind of weak that they go and attack your storage.
I'm curious to know what stuff I'm gonna have to trade to. Oh, look at him build the wall! They built the little gatehouse thing. Jorg. Long Rod Von Huchendong. I love that your uh, retinue pitch in to start building things when it's the manor. Like they help build their own manor. Just start at the balls and make their way up the shaft. Damn it. And then attack the head. Yeah. Damn. Happiness is still pretty high though. Food is not exactly dwindling like we're good. Also, it's a long, like eight months is a good amount of time. Still super happy. Plenty of living space. Four unassigned families. It should be a lot of people building though. Uh, I guess we'll double up on the woodcutters. Dear Lord Lol, what do you mean? You commenting on my town? You commenting on my city of Schlongberg? The mighty Schlongberg? I can't tell if the roof is meant to be like this, or if that's like a bug. Look how many dudes there are here, and ladies. Everybody's pitching in to build the manor. Let's chunk that to fast forward, actually. You gonna stro uh, you gonna stream Thrones of Decay campaigns when it drops, or are you just gonna focus on only Doomstack vids? Uh, I'm gonna do both. I'm going to be doing some uh, Thrones of Decay streams, and I'm also working on a couple of stacks. So I'm going to give this a fat save. We built this city on cock and balls. <laughs> Liter egg Factually very true. Man of Lodge Rent New Doomstack video when? I'm genuinely considered to do that. Uh, imagine if you just pushed that completely, built your um, your expansion building, and then just focused on killing raiders, getting um, uh, the maximum amount of treasury, taxing the crap out of your people, and building like a 22, a 24 man Rent new army, all with super heavy armor and the best possible weapons. I could just call it 22 retinue. Okay, name all the citizens after chat. It still takes so long though. Also, I don't know how to list all of your people. Oh wait, I still own a homeless shelter. Maybe that'll, that'll list everybody. There's quite a lot in here, but it's still the same people. Still so five families, the five families you start with. Alright, we're close. Actually, we're low on timber for this. We haven't got all of the logs, that seems to be what's holding it up. A new family moved in. Alright, that's... So we can't get berries. Tannery... Uh, where are we going on clothes? Where's the show leather? 24 leather, that's definitely going down. Yeah, our fuel's going up massively. We've only got meat and berries though. We're running low on eggs, but I can't buy I can't make more chickens because of the regional wealth issues. And there's not enough uh, bandits for me to kill. Did you get anything for surviving a raid? Like for killing them? I'm curious.
All right. God, 50 days, dude. We've gone from 364 days or whatever down to 60 days. 50 days, I mean. 49 days. It's been saying prepare for the attack for a year. I, oh, man. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intimidated. Hopefully this will be like not completely terrible for us. Also, actually, you know what? We got a little bit of money. I'm gonna kid out one more of our boys. PTSD Ron, I guess. Yeah, heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor, and another heavy armor guy. I am. Oh, that helmet is gonna be a no. Nice. Right, we got 96 to spend on perks, which we should still be able to get a good group. So yeah, for so 90, the green cap. So we could get light mercenary infantry and light mercenary archers, or we could for just 45, we could get heavy mercenary archers and light mercenary archers. I feel like more mercs in both brackets would probably be good. You know? Because we got 31 guys to hold back their entire army. Well, 30 eight guys and then a bunch of archers go for bows probably smart i've heard bows are like crazy good but we've seen them they are very good but they're not like op they're on the realms of balanced i guess you have enough men to hold ground while the bows wither yeah Iron Man in tights? We're all wearing tights. I will solo them. With my funny outfit. Can I get past this? No. Man, I hope they add a... <laughs> Dude, somebody could mod in the ability to attack when you're in this camera. You know? You wear full armors. Man, the graphics are nice. Look at how good this looks. Oh, what? What? Come on. Hey. This is literally my manor, you bitches. Get your fucking cow out of here. Oh, wow. Okay. Alright, that was... Okay. It's almost there. Just two more logs. One, one more log and it's fucking done. Damn, to 220 days, we can harvest our little field. Oh, it's almost done. Alright. That last log coming in. A little bit more building. Hey, look at this big ass tower. Our retinue cap tower. Go to recruit 24 dudes after this. And yeah! Look at this fucking manor. We are now the lord of the manor. Oh, get fucked. I can't even go in my own manor. Awesome. Hey, let me in. Oh, he's like covered in snow. Okay. Because you can just go straight straight through the fucking walls, but not me. All right. But this is cool. This is cool. Looks defensible. So... When you get attacked, can you actually use this to defend? Because it says clearly on the... It provides 10 garrison space, garrison units and villagers shoot projectiles at approaching enemies, right? No. 
Oh man, only 30 days until we get attacked. Oh shit. Well, how long does it take for Mercs to arrive? Is it instant? I'm kind of like, I don't know when to recruit guys. Like we can recruit the Wayward Sons. Or Green Caps. Heavy Merc Archer sounds great. Six armor. Okay, so they have double. But they, but I, I feel like armored archers kind of. What's the point in that? They have the same amount of attack, but they're ranged anyway. They shouldn't be in melee. Oh, the manor is a holdout with archers, so it's best to centralize it around your biggest storehouse. Oh. Oh wait, can you build walls around shit then? Because it said it, it wouldn't let me build outside of the influence. This is... Feel it still. Feel it still, I guess. Which is some... Some song. And then this is the medieval cover. <laughs> song name? Dude, 34 days. I'm gonna give it a save. Man, it's late. This this might be one of my longest streams of all time. I've been streaming for almost seven hours. You're lucky this game is so fun. I mean, the mechanic, the internal mechanics of this game are very fun. Damn. Yeah, it's going good. Look at all these markets, too. It's actually turned into kind of like a real marketplace now. Ooh, ah, this is almost built. I'm definitely going to assign people to the trading post. Alright, who in chat knows how trading works? Because I know dick about trading, and I struggle to figure it out. Not enough wealth to buy a horse. I guess I don't even know if we need a horse. So this is my problem. It just says locked because the trade rule is set to no trade. After paying to establish a trade route, the controlling merchant will regularly visit your region. So you can manually choose to set up a trade route. And you'll only be able to trade... Oh no, you can trade everything. So we have like 115 shoes. And we would have to pay 48 to set up a trade route. Alright. You can set thresholds for when they take excess goods out of your village. Yeah. I can only afford to set up a trade route with basic shit like planks. I have 215 planks though. So maybe that would be a good one to establish a trade route for. Because it only costs 7. And I can export them for 2 gold each. I guess. Establish a trade route for planks, yes. Desired surplus. Lock because it's really so, so I establish a trade. Do I need people here? Should I assign a family? I feel like you need to assign a family to make it work. Military. I won helmet surplus apparently. We'll sign a family. Trader Joe. <laughs> and Trader Joe too. Alright. Got a trader family. No trade. Oh, okay. I see. So you just change these. So I can set it to what? Export? And then I can set that to what? Desired surplus of 100? And then they'll take anything over 100. See? Right? Bullshit. 
but that will stop at 100 though, right? Oops. Alright. Fuck it. We've said it's a trade route for planks. So hopefully that'll bring in some fucking regional wealth. What else? I don't think we have a, an excess of anything. It's a good amount of meat. A couple of eggs. I've heard that uh, if you keep making bows, it gets crazy. So maybe I make bows and... Oh my god, yeah. Okay, I to establish a trader, though, it would be 60. But apparently if you establish a trader for bows, they have an export price of, price of 5, but they cost like nothing to make. So you can just make a surplus of them and then sell them a lot. That's what I heard. Export bows? Yeah. Exactly. That's what I heard the best thing to export is currently. Because they just, they're weird. Let's just start making a surplus of bows then. Let's unpause the Fletcher shop and just keep making them. Also, apparently, actually, I don't have a lot of helmets. So, let's keep making them helmets. And boots are still going. And a couple of extra pole arms, I guess. Why not? Exporting shoes is good as well. How much shoes do we have? Commodities, shoes. 118. Eight? God damn. All right, well, I'm gonna... Oh, root required. Oh, man. So you have to uh, apply it for certain things. All right. Yeah, so root required for commodities and military stuff, but you could do it for like food, materials, it seems like it doesn't require a trade route. But commodities and military do because they sell for so much. Cool, I like this system. Yeah, we could sell fat amounts of shoes. We just need to save up our commodity money. Our uh, regional money. Oh shit, 17 days until we get attacked. Oh boy, oh shit. Yeah, we need some, seriously, need some regional money. Nah, everything needs a trade route. What? You didn't say that, though. Why has it got the drop-down menu and the option if you can't trade it? You have way too much iron to produce iron items. I do. Oh, I've been making a lot of iron, actually. We have... 68 iron slabs and... 75 iron ore. Yeah, we do have a lot. That's good, though. I have this mine. 1570 still to come. We're rich. Oh man, 15 days. Oh boy. Recruit the Mercs is now, but it's monthly. So. I guess uh, I paid, paid the once. I can't afford to hire them for multiple months, though. Unless I get the 45s. It doesn't sound like you need to wait. You just recruit the mercs and they come from the edge of your territory or Let's uh, have the mercs then, fuck it. I want to see them on the field anyway. Alright, army, hire mercs. Alright, so we can get the archers or we can get a mix of... Oh, fuck, these are new. 90 light mercenary archers, light mercenary infantry, and mercenary spearmen. I could buy another retinue if I buy the wayward sons instead of the other guys. Big Archer. Rethink this. No, that's fine. Come on, come away with sons. 36 each? Damn. Where are they anyway? They are really far away. Jesus. 
Okay, hopefully that won't take them 15 days to get here. Crap. Shit, I should have hired them sooner. Alright, fuck it. Hustle. Get, get over here. What do they look like? Let's see. That's a lot of archers. Heavy mercenary archers. Whoa, look at these fucking guys. They got full armor and helmets and everything. And then regular light archers. Yeah, they look significantly less cool. <laughs> a lot of archers, though. Yeah, that might take shit. They might not get here in time. Damn it. It says the re what region they walk in at. Oh, that would have been good to pay attention to. Because we could have pulled them in from the correct side. Damn. Well, I've already hired them now, so I might as well pull the trigger and do some stuff with my the rest of my treasury. Like, either recruiting an extra man-at-arms or upgrading more armor kits. I could basically either buy armor sets for the last two dudes, um, because the rest are wearing armor, or I recruit one extra guy. Save it for another month if you need it. Oh, like if I have to pay for another month. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that makes sense. Next payment in 30 days for 45. I guess if I can't afford it, they might attack me or some shit. And that would suck. This is going to be a big battle, dude. This is actually going to be a pretty big battle. 60... What? 60... Uh, 64 dudes. 60... 71 plus another... 71. Ish. Go, Archers, go! Give him armor? Who? My dudes? Give my dudes armor? They are making armor. Getting armor. Alright, I need to know my surplus of armor. I got 12 helmets, 12 war bows, but 13 pole arms. That's more than I will be able to grind up to get. So I'm going to keep making bows, but I'm going to shut off the blacksmith for weapons and the armor shop for helmets. We got more than enough. 32 and 32. Militia, militia. What exactly makes them militia? Is it just like their rank? Like as they fight, they get more high level and then eventually they're not militia because they're like trained or is it just based entirely on their gear? Do you think that these guys, even if you gave them armor, they'd still just be armored militia? Oh my god, seven turns. How close are we? Oh, they're pretty close. You just gotta get there. Now, oh, shit. I think I stopped them from moving. Seven days. Six days. A bandit camp was sighted. Why with six days to spare would you move an abandoned camp? Oh my, I think they're literally the furthest away they could possibly be. They are. God damn. That's worth killing though. I need that a lot. I need regional wealth really- Wait, 102 regional wealth? Have they been trading? Apparently that earns quite a lot. Because 102 out of nowhere seems like a lot. I can do chickens now. Get my food up. Is good because it's kind of middling out. 23 eggs. One chicken. Two chicken. Right, that should round it out. Sick. How many are there? They're not permanently employed. Yeah, I know. I know they're mercs. I, I know. I understand the, the concept of mercs. Uh, I need to get my guys prepped though, right? Should I bring my militia out, or should I just bring them like a day or so before they get here? Probably a day. 
These guys are gonna be so tired by the time they actually get here. They're at one percent effectiveness right now. If they get hit, they are screwed. Five Dimmerks have less morale. I feel like they should, considering they're fighting for money and want to survive. I feel like I should just hold my position in the center and then push out in a direction that they come from and meet them before they get to my city. I have no idea how many of them there are going to be, though. Four days, ah, uh, jeez. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get over here. Prepare in the woods. North. North! Shoot at will. Instead of shooting a volley, soldiers fire aiming directly at the enemy. Increases accuracy up close, but decreases accuracy at half the maximum range. Oh, so I can get these guys on the flank and then put them on shoot at will. And then they'll just keep firing. That's cool. That's good. So no reason for volley fire when they're not firing at ranged. That'll be a cool thing for Total War as well. Alright, I'm gonna... Call on my boys. Time to summon the boys. Bam. Bam. And... Ba-bam. Go, man, go! Summon the retinue. Oh, they're going... Somewhere? <laughs> what is that? And they're just clipping through the wall a little bit here, but they're trying. Oh, Batra Militia. Some of them have stored their bows inside the manor, I think. Look at all look at these guys! Go, go, go! To the fields! Look at them with their little helmets, dude. They've all got helmets. That's awesome. Nice, nice. You love it. You love to see it. Alright, so... So we'll get... A nice long infantry line. And retinue here. And then... Can I move these? Damn it. Then we'll just have all of the archers in the back. Ready to flank. Heavy archers in the middle. Archer militia on the flanks. Root archers on the other flank. Just two days? Yeah. Spooky, scary. Look at our heavily armored chads, too. Our core retinue. Look at those masks, dog. And the funny hat that, 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 that the one guy has. The clean guy. Dude, I gotta piss so bad. I gotta piss so bad. We're going to war and I need to pee. Get into position. Right, we gotta let these guys fucking rest. 54% effectiveness. Yeah, they're tired. Fucking ran all the way here. These helmets are weird. You forgot to recruit the dragon. So pay so coy, we won't judge you. Every time I go to pee, everybody says pee pee piss boy and did you wash your hands? And gross, you didn't wash your hands. All right, all right. You know what? I'm gonna trust you guys and I'm gonna do a pee. All right, BRB.
All right, we back. We back. I wash my hands. No worries. You'll never know if that's true. All right, time to defend our Hamlet. I think skipping piss breaks is just for YouTube premium users. <laughs> Fastest pisser in the West. That was fast? Dude, I, it's the, the toilet's like two feet away. I just whizzed and fucking gave my fingers a quick rinse. Some uh, hand soap and I'm done. Like, what else do you need? Oh my god, these guys are so tired. How are they at 53% effectiveness? They're here in a day. Like, what's happening? Uh, enemy that's spotted. It's not 18 dudes. There's no way it's 18 guys. There's no way I purchased mercenaries and <laughs> trained a militia and an army of retinues and the schlongermen trained for days to fight off 18 guys with sticks. There's no way. There's no way. You're kidding me. This is a joke. There's no way I'm fucking crying. There's no fucking way. There's no way. I might split my forces. Oh, wait. No. Is that more? Wait. A band of raiders was seen near a new soul. New soul? Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think there's more. I think there's more. Make a short out of this okay moment. <laughs> There's no way. Don't say Raid Shadow Legends. Well, I'm paying. You know what? I'm paying for these guys. Can I fire these guys uh, like a day before I'm supposed to pay them again? Can I like disband them like one day before? Okay, I might send some of my army out to go and attack the brigands on the other side of the map. What do you guys think? <laughs> they were 19 guys, but one died of dysentery. That sounds like one of my videos. 18 men dying of dysentery. I cannot believe there's 18 brigands. How slow do they expect you to expand? Like, I, I created a militia, a force. A literal, actual force to be reckoned with. 32 men strong. And fucking an entire group of Autra militia. I've crafted helmets for them, gear, everything. The fact that they've got a helmet on and like actual pole arms and then they're just wearing like a shirt is hilarious can you auto resolve this one <laughs> i fucking might as well because it's taking a, i i, tr I pre prepped so fucking hard for this and there's 18 dudes there's no way imagine their faces when they see this army waiting for them true true We've, uh, this is this is what I like to call a show of force. I feel like I might have to push into enemy territory though and like actually fight this Hildebolt guy because like what else am I supposed to do now? I guess we just need to keep de developing shit. I think I need charcoal. So I'm like fighting off the fuel deficiency. I don't know if I should just go meet them. They're so slow. They're so unbelievably slow. I might as well just go meet them and kill them and then beeline for fucking Elwall camp. What do you guys think? Should we just march on them? Why is their effectiveness so low? Fatigue? Did did my Schlongerman guys get fatigued walking across the fucking town? Can I put them in a stance to like make them chill? Mm. 
No. They ran? Yeah, but... They ran f across... Like, that's... Yeah, okay, that's like a, a bit of a trek, but... Armor doesn't really weigh that much when it's distributed evenly across your whole body. And... And also... They're in decent shape. Hello, Koi. In fairness, you made one of them a redditor. Okay, I'll, that would be so funny if everybody else is at a hundred, like a hundred percent effectiveness, but he's so unhealthy, and he's such an he's such an atheist redditor that he brings the general effectiveness down to seventy percent. <laughs> Just by being so shitty. Damn, these guys look cool too. I prepped for nothing. The Schlungermen? No, the, Sch the Schlungermen are, uh, is what I called them. Because they are the, the guardians of Schlongberg. And if you look, this is Schlongberg. This brave, brave, masculine settlement full of men and only men <laughs> and few females. Oh man, this whole area is like fucking deforested. Hmm. Might have to get them to chill. We actually got quite a lot of timber at this point. I'm gonna abandon this logging camp. Put in a... Forster's hut. Like, here. Oh my god, what? Oh, right, there's no... Okay, whatever. And then slap that up, get that built, and then have them just for reforest this whole area, I guess? That's... Oh, these are growing. Nice. That's cool. That's cool as hell. Nice. Forest just... Damn, that was fast. Damn! A lot of people are not doing... They got no work. I'm gonna reforest this whole ass read. Dude, we're up to 211 communal wealth. I should have built a fucking trading post so long ago. Wait, I can establish a trade route now for shoes. Establish a trade route. Establish. And then... Uh, export. Wait, have I been importing... Yeah, export. Very right, good. Export planks. That's down to 100, though. So I'm down to 100 planks. I don't think they're in production, though. And then... Actually, are they in production? Yeah, they are. But 100's a good thing to hover around. And then we can put shoes on export and have them cap out at, like, 80? Like, don't take any more than 80. And then we're getting eight per export price. Yeah, and we're creating a monopoly. And then war bows we could do, but I'm gonna make that much lower. I might as well invest. Create a trade route, establish, and then export, but only like fucking 10. We wanna keep it at like 10, then they're selling for five each. Nice, so shoes, bows, and whatever else. And I'll just keep having the Fletcher make stuff. Yeah. What time is it in the UK? It's only it's midnight right now. Dude, I sleep at like two, three in the morning usually. If not later, sometimes. Like especially when I'm playing a game like Man Rolls. If I if it makes you guys feel any better, if I wasn't playing if I wasn't streaming right now, I would be off I would be not streaming and I would just be playing Man Rolls. And or making videos for um Warhammer 3. With my boy Tammy. Tammy and Malachi. Oh wait, I didn't check on the brigands. How far? Oh, they're getting kind of close. All right, you know what? We're moving on them. And we're gonna make sure we're walking. All 
Alright, let's meet him in the field. Like here. Not running. Don't run. No running with scissors. No running. No running. Guys, chill. You got so tired running last time. Chill. And make sure these guys are not running. No, they're not running. Not running. All right. All right. Their effectiveness is getting me weak. So we should we should middle distance meet them in the field, and then absolutely just just kill 18 guys <laughs> we might kill them before they get to us we have so many archers we might just kill them before they engage us in melee they're also brigands so i don't even think they have shields if i'm not mistaken i think they're all just like guys with sticks oh no a couple of them have shields that's cool i wish you could build brigands you know and they just use whatever you've got that'd be good All right, from an economic standpoint, I think we're good. We might be running out of house slots though. Family, oh. Pit, cunts, Conrad, cunts, and Cantina. <laughs> what a family, what a, what, a, what a masculine, cool family. You got less than two days where you gotta pay Mercs again? Next payment in one day. All right. Okay, judgment call. Shall I just disband the mercs? Because I'm going to end up paying them again for a fight I don't need them for. Should I just bail on them? I know I, didn't, I never used them, so I'm basically wasting 45, but I'm about to waste another 45. What do you guys think? Disband? Disband them is smart. Guys, I they're so expensive though. I don't want to pay another for like so just to put it into context, I'm gonna have to pay 45. I have 76 total. And uh I can use the 45 that I would have paid them to buy another retinue guy for the Schlongerman. Alright, you know what? We'll put it up to a vote. Disband or pay for another month. Wait, I put a yes or no for that. Disband, like yes to disband or no to disband? Yes is disband, no is, is leave them and don't disband them. No, it's it's no, it's no for no for keeping them. Just yes for disbanding them. Where I voted wrong, restart. <laughs> disband is a yes. Yes for disband. Make sure you vote right. It's yes for, for get rid of these guys because I'm about to pay a lot of money for them and I don't need them. Yes for disband. Not yes for keeping them. Yes for disband. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna end the poll. God damn it, guys. I, <laughs> I fucked that poll up so bad. <laughs> Alright, we're disbanding them. Fuck these guys. Get out of here. You guys suck. Where did they go? Oh, they just disappeared instantly. Nice. I didn't have to pay for them. Or nothing. 103% effectiveness. I'm a prep so hard for this. Would it be, it'd be cool if you could hunker down in the mine while you're fighting them? I guess you, you technically could, but it would just be like cosmetic. Forward. Just keep them? No. It's not <laughs> democracy in action. Guys, it's not worth keeping them. I'm not about to spend another 45 to keep guys that I don't need at all. Alright, let's stick these guys out front. Retinue. Forward! 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 
alive. All right, line them up in the end of the trees. Put the schlongerm into the side. Infantry straight down the middle. Put the put them on stand your ground. Come on, guys, get in your positions. Let's go. They're coming. I can see them. All right, no need to run now. All right. Make sure they're on friendly fire mode. Friendly fire. Oh! So you can put them on like they accept shooting friendlies so that they can actually fire more freely. I mean, this is aesthetically the coolest shit ever. Men! I need to just deselect them. Men! They're coming in over the field. Do your country proud. These damn brigands, fire! Ah, uh, this guy got 18. We got 32 dudes firing right now. We should kill them before a lot of them get here. One of them's dead. Ooh, bunch more are dead. Retreat, 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 retreat. Retreat, retreat. Guys! Oh my god. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Guys, retreat. Retreat. What kind of democracy is this anyways? No, hold fire. Don't don't shoot yet. Oh, they're already gone. Jesus Christ. What kind of raid was that? What kind of raid? Was that? <laughs> it's nothing. That was just nothing. Oh, they're still shooting. Wait. Wait. Where are they going? Are they just ignoring me and going... Are they just... Wait, it's just in combat. Are they actually... Are they disbanded or... Are they going for my shit? I'm gonna keep an eye on them here. I am... Paranoid because they don't they look like they're going for something Good thing you caught them early <laughs> just barely one <laughs> Run for the hills lads we was doomed from the start Imagine if they made a fucking beeline for my village just like slaughtering peasants though Can you imagine I'd be so pissed <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, fuck. Right, we got more dudes to kill. Oh, that's just an undefended bandit camp. That's empty. Alright, we'll just send a retinue there and disband everybody else. Is it safe? It's probably safe. Yeah, fuck it. Alright. Back to work, boys. Our brave retinue are going to march across our territory to go... go other side of the map. Five bucks on the Schlonners. Five bucks? Oh, I missed a bunch of donuts. Fuck. 100 day music with a 2 dollar donut. What kind of democracy is this anyways? I just missed that completely. This is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship, sir. Thank you for the donut. They wreck for the five euro donut. Five bucks on the Schlongers. I love the Schlongers. I'm, I'm definitely going to bank on treasury and not... Because we're getting plenty of regional wealth at this point. We're actually getting a good amount of income, or at least some, you know, from from selling the occasional whatever. It's definitely keeping our stocks down though, like 95, 122. I might start producing more planks just because we can sell them. And then we're selling shoes. I think it's capped out though. That's why you gotta have lots of stuff in production, I guess. No, we still got 122 shoes. No, they're they're exported. Follow merchant. That's like a fucking earthquake. Oh! Hey, look at this guy! Look at this looking this little guy. Yeah, what a cool little effect. I don't go get better get better get more units so you can have another sweaty battle like that again. <laughs> it's so easy. I can't believe. 
I got so worried and worked up over that, and then it was just 18 dudes. That was, like, as easy as a brigand raid. Like, I can't believe how you have this much time to develop your city and shit. Like, I might as well start developing level 3 cities and shit. I'm gonna have to import beer. I just realized. I should probably try to import beer. Or crops, so I can just make the beer. Yeah, it looks like you can't import beer. Ale? Nope, you can. Ale. 192 for an ale route? Wow. Never mind. Jesus. There's not barley. Yeah, technically we could build next door, but it's... I don't have any people here. So I don't know. I can't manually send villagers here. So I don't really get how you're supposed to immigrate. I know that you're supposed to set up a pack station. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region of your command, right? So do I just send like a family here by building... What, like a settler's camp? Place it on an empty claim territory in order to settle it. Grants base starting supplies and five starting families. Oh, crap. Damn. All right. Well, I can set up here near these berries and stuff. Not enough goods. I need 250 fucking treasury. Wow. Oh, my God. Yikes. All right. Well, we can't do that. There's no way. This is going well, though. 163 days and we can harvest our barley. That's like the only fucking thing we can make. We could just make really ineffective crap. Hmm. Oh, this is all of our guys coming back. Conrad chair swing. That was somebody in chat. Trader Joe 2. Oh, a trader came with. One of our militia is a traitor. Alright, how are our boys doing? They're making their way. This has such powerfully cinematic vibes. Look at that for a fucking... Dude, every single... I swear, every single visual thing like this is wallpaper worthy. This looks like a fucking screenshot from Kingdom Come Deliverance, and that game is like super high fidelity environments and stuff. God, this game is pretty. The lad's going on a walk. A big ass walk. We're going on a bandit claiming trip. I feel like I'm sort of confident that these guys by themselves would have a good chance of taking on, you know, a ton of infantry, like 18 brigands by themselves. Alright, I'm a little stumped on how we can get beer then. Because we don't have 250 fucking treasury. We definitely don't have 250 treasury. The only way to get treasury is by taxing your guys and blah 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 blah, right? Should I just increase my taxes like a total douche? They're pretty happy. All right, I'm going to tweak taxes just a little bit. Maybe not 20%, but like 15%. Because why not? Maybe bad barley field is still worth it. What's the best case scenario we can get for barley? Like barley, like here. If we put it right here near the manor. It's yellow. Yellow has got to be like 50%. So if we put like a little barley field here, maybe? Soon. Soon. We should have started it months ago, though, if we were going to do this. Like a field like this. 1.4 Morgans. So that, one Morgan. Perfect. Field size. Yeah, that's fine. But what can I make this? What? Just grayed out. 
Why? Why? What the hell? Probably need a farm first. I don't think that's true. I've definitely built stuff before farmhouses. Maybe it's too close to the manor. Or, oh wait! Ah, oh, god damn it! Son of a bitch! It's too bad you can't like till the land and make it like good for or something. It's all. Probably need a farm for us, but it's all tip explaining why would be neat. Yes, any amount of information for why you might, why you can't do something is is always appreciated in a game. Because you have to like, I hate when you have to track down why you can't do something, and it's not just immediately apparent, or at least something that you can find out. It's just like if you don't know, then you'll never know, unless you have somebody to tell you. F man, we're hitting a wall. This is the problem of starting in a region that doesn't have good good growing. It really kind of fucks you a little bit. My old my first campaign kind of ran into the ground because I just couldn't do any farming. And I had like no meat, no berries. Neither of them were valuable. Or like a rich deposit. How many poor people have you accidentally killed so far? I feel like that's something you... How would you even do that in this game? I've intentionally killed a lot. We almost there? Nope. Man, these guys are taking a long time. Fucking hoofing it. I feel like they should reduce the price for starting a new commune type thing in another region. Cause 250, 250 treasury is so much. You do not get that much. When you put shit like, when you tax your people or whatever, you really, it's difficult to get a lot of it. They really don't like that I have that. <laughs> they really don't like being taxed. We have to wrap this up soon, dogs. It's getting late. It's getting late, late. I definitely will continue the adventures of Manor, like, Manor Lords with our township, though. Develop this out. All right, we got a message. All right, what if I make put this in my treasury, not in my town? Right, two eighty nine. All right, I could afford it. Is that worth it though? It's probably definitely worth it, right? That's a lot of retinue upgrades, though. That's a whole heap in helping of retinue upgrades. All right, this is decision time. Do I make? Do I spend two hundred and fifty? my 289 treasury to build to build this building to build a settler's camp like right on the edge the cusp do it i'm a bust let's go i did i guess you get five new families too so you could just set up like a basic little thing you know leave the get a settler's camp leave them homeless build a couple of food things or whatever but focus almost exclusively on farming Adokoi, did you get access to Thrones of Decay? Yeah, I did. I am playing it currently and recording some stuff. And I cannot give any embargo stuff or give any information on the DLC whatsoever. But it's pretty obvious that everybody has access. When the Tamer can stream, as soon as I am currently, as soon the second I am able. Oh, this is such a big decision. Whatever, we can always get more treasury. Uh, uh. Town farming village. Oh! Oh, you can give them more to start different things. A mining village, a forest village, farming village, 
That's really cool. That's actually dope, because you could... Like, I need this for farming. Like, I literally need this to be a farming village, but it's not... You can't really choose. That would be cool. That would, that, that's actually a really good feature. I hope... Hmm. Modest. What do you guys think? You get 20 firewood, 20 bread, 20 stone, 10 tools, costs us 250. Bruh, build beer city. Bam. Alright, Wienershire has been settled. Where are my people? They're here right now. Alright. Well, this needs building. Into a worker camp. Step one. And then we need a... Oh man, there's so much to do again. I just... I don't need you people for anything other than like two things. But I gotta give them all these... These things to keep them alive? Stupid. Granary. Damn it, yeah, I need a granary. Alright, let's make a tiny little... Alright, like this. Then... No. You can see where we're going with this. Too big. Right, and then ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da ba ba ba. All right, this is where we'll we will. This is where we will lay our seed in the earth. This is where we will put our seed into the earth. Right here, where where we will seed the <laughs> the commune. So field big, yeah, big old motherfucking field gone. 2.3 Morgans might be a bit much, but whatever. And bam. And then farmhouse. Actually, that's a little bit expensive on the front. Let's make sure we get this established first. I'll probably do this next time though. This will be a good start. We establish Wiener Tower. <laughs> we establish our Wiener fields, and then plant tons of barley, and maybe we can make a flax field too. And that'll be our whole thing. Barley. And then fallow. Very high priority. Uh, transporting wood. Yeah. True. Alright, and then we can just be like storehouse. Granary. Fucking all the basic crap. Oh crap, one of these first. And then what else would we need? Wood cutters lodge. Dude, you need so much crap. Alright, well I don't need planks. I don't need a forester's hut. I need a forager's hut. So, there's so much, dude. I need to, like, these guys need to stay alive though, look. They've got, like, exposed goods. And they're all homeless or whatever, which isn't a big deal. But I don't think I'll be able to... I don't think I'll need to build houses, because I don't give a shit about, like, leveling up this... Although, we will need a heavy plow. So I think I have to. God damn it. God, that's so much work. That's so much work just to get barley, all because we can't grow it in our fucking town area, because it's it's bad, f like, soil. Whatever. Gameplay is gameplay. How old are you making a hopscotch from Rhodes? <laughs> I'm almost 30. <laughs> Tell me that that's, it's not funny drawing a wiener, dude. You never grow out, 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 outgrow drawing wieners, okay? Also, this is Wienershire. What else am I going to draw? This is the way to do it. Also, I need to connect my fields. Alright. Anyway, we'll save it. We have conquered and destroyed and uh, fought off a brave, bravely fought off an invasion. A massive, massive invasion of six guys. I, mean, I think 18 guys in total. You know, like, pretty, I mean, that's dangerous. That's 18 guys. You know, we may have also recruited like 80 dudes that we didn't need and bolstered our forces. 
just up to really unnecessary proportions um, a little bit, but uh, it's going well. And if we actually get, also we might, I think next time we should just straight up like attack or lay claim to one of this guy's territories to get him to like send armies of mercs at us. Cause that dude can field an actual army. So we'll end up doing some real battles. Seven hours, damn. Yeah, good, good stream. Almost eight hours, dude. Seven hours and thirty-eight minutes. Good long stream. This I knew this was going to be a long one just because of the nature of this game. Although it probably would have been a lot shorter, or we would have made a lot more progress if we hadn't fucked up making three separate villages first. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for the donos. Thanks for all the good stuff. But uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this game. Can't give any reviews on it, but you know, you can make an informed decision by my takes on it through playing it, I guess. Um, it wouldn't be a far cry to say that watching this, you might get the impression that it was it's super, super good and that I enjoyed it a lot. But who knows? That would be a review. Um, that can't give those no sir, re at, at all, at all, you know. GG, I shall hold the fort here in Schlongberg. Yes. Hold down the fort, boys. We, we will we'll be back to the lands of Schlongberg and Wiener Shire. <laughs> we can just conquer this whole whole map under the, the giant shaft of our spears and the nuts of our shields. And 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 whatever else. Thanks for the stream it was fun. Yeah, thanks for thanks for thanks for watching guys. But yeah, uh, Warhammer 3 stuff soon. I'm going to be making my, new, my first Doomstack videos in a long time. A hot minute. Actually, like eight months. Almost nine months since I've made a Doomstack video. It was 19 laborers. So, you know, I mean, CA has kind of been on the back burner and everything happened, but I watched the entire stream. Thank you, John. My ride or die. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, though. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next stream. Well, also join the Discord. I'm not going to plug anything else. <laughs>